And happy holidays to everyone. And once again, it's the day after Christmas on Craig Live here at exactly 635 up on the mountain and across the nation for different time zones. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm glad I'm down here. It's been a rough weekend. It was a wonderful Christmas, right? Right. We got more presents than, than anybody. I mean, seriously, it was it was staggering because your, your boss, Steve, sent you a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, five five different presents. That was including, almost... including a bunch of stuff that infers the fact that you're an old radio guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, he obviously was impressed when he was here. Right. You know, did a show with us uh, with, uh, you know, our friend from Redbone. But uh, obviously, it's all good. Obviously, uh, impressed by the radio things, he sent me a book on broadcasting, hardcover book, mm -hmm. and he sent me a DVD uh, on that guy that does documentaries. Ken, what's his name? Ken Burns. Ken Burns on the history of radio. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but but and he sent me a carpet cleaner for the house. Yeah. How about which that? I know a lot of people would be like, eh, "It's an appliance," but I'm super excited about it. I and love we've got like him that. set up on Facebook because he's going to start doing. Broadcast for where you work, which is the Animal Veterinary College. Animal Behavior College. Animal Behavior College. Well, I don't work there, but I get messed up all the time. <laughs> uh, so, like, we're trying to get him friends because he's new. He's never been on Facebook before. No. And uh, you have to have a certain number of friends to broadcast which on is uh, malarkey Facebook Live. Because they don't tell you that before you buy a Facebook portal. Do you remember his username? Everybody needs to friend him. I think he's just Stephen Applebaum. Stephen Applebaum? Yes. Spell it. Stephen S T E V E N, and last name is Applebaum. A P P E L, B A U M. The, the biggest the biggest mistake people do is they spell it apple like the fruit. Mm -hmm. It's it's not. It's A P P E L B A U M. And everybody needs to follow him, whether you know him or not, because it'll be of interest. And kind of tied in with us in a way. <laughs> Tiffany works there. She's the head honcho there. But I'm uh, not the head honcho. <laughs> well, in a, in a way, in a way. We gotta be careful how we say because he'll probably be watching the broadcast. But send him friends so he can get going on Facebook Live, help the guy out. You saw him here that night with uh, Pat Vegas from Redbone and uh, get him going on Facebook. But it, it's been a rough weekend for me because even though we had the greatest Christmas ever and presents that were wonderful, we'll get into what Tiffany and I got each other later on. Uh, but I woke up sicker than a dog on Christmas Day. It's like, Merry Christmas. Oh, okay. Uh, luckily, it's not a respiratory thing because, you know, I have COPD and stuff and I'm oxygen. It wasn't that at all. It was some kind of infection uh, and blockage from the navel down. Like, what do you call it? A uterine infection? A urinary tract infection. Urinary tract you infection. You don't have a uterus. Oh, well. <laughs> Last I checked. I might. I don't know. But, like, it's been an increasing amount of pain. It was like somebody kicked you in the stomach. And I'm still going through it. I didn't know if I could even get down here <laughs> because it's it's a long, what is it, like 20, 25 steps down here to the lower portion of the house or a three-level uh, compound here. But I made it down here, and, and we're going to do the show. And it's been a lot of pain, but I'll get through it. It's getting better. It just, you know, I was blocked on both ends of my body and, and still have it unblocked. All the fluids have been put in my body. I don't know where it's going. It's, it's, so if it, if it breaks medical. loose in the studio here, look out and get a life preserver because it's right. seriously bad. But tell everybody what we're doing here tonight because this is a very special show. We have a certain number of shows. We have Craig Live, which you're watching tonight, but it's going to be a little different. We'll explain it in a minute. Uh, Craig Live is three hours of music and pop culture guests from all the worlds of pop culture, driving movies, old TV, radio, all that kind of stuff. And then we do the WLUV shows, which is part of a, a thing that we call retro media shows, right. which is either WLUV broadcast did 42 years ago in an AM FM radio station back in Cornfield, and uh, also uh, album profiles of old vinyl and eight tracks and cassettes and, and all that kind of stuff. And now I have a reel to reel. Yeah. Tiffany gave me a reel to reel. Uh, which song. I have no idea how to operate. There was so. a bunch of tapes we have from Leafo Radio Productions when I was a partner with my friend John Lee and shows that we did for WIUP that we can now play an interview with Ginger Alden, mm -hmm. Elvis' his fiance, who was there when he died. Can you do me a favor? Can we test it with something that's not important? Yeah. Before before we put something you, like that? You didn't know how to, you, you were trying it because it's an old original that was from a radio station. Right. And you didn't know how to run it, so you got a hold of Ghosty. Yeah, well, Ghosty and I were texting about other stuff, and I was like, I'm trying to figure out how to work this damn thing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just want to make sure that it maybe functions, because I bought it off of eBay. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I used to work with those. I just remember that the shiny side of the tape goes towards the 
the, the playhead no. and the doll side. And I was like, I didn't even realize there was differences on the side of the tape. I don't. I, I, I suppose have no idea what I'm you doing. know. WF, you may not use a reel, reel as much, but WIUV did, and I was splicing them and editing. Oh, good! You know, you assembly can, edit. You can do that with this one because I have no idea what I'm. But doing. it's really cool because it's in a case. It looks like a spy. It looks deck. like something from Get Smart. From Get Smart, it's in a real heavy duty suitcase, if you right. will, yeah. and you got to unlock it with the key and everything. Yeah. But what is different about tonight? Oh, we also do cook show shows as well. Right. Okay, so those are all the kinds of shows we do. But Craig Live is usually with a guest. We have no guests tonight. We're going to be out for three hours or more because it goes that way. It's going to be very different. you got to be really dedicated to listen to the show. But a lot of people like hearing it because it's part of respect for what we do for these people. And you got to know, and a lot of people say that they didn't know somebody passed away until they heard our show because our show is way more extensive than Journey Classic movies and other people. Right. So um, what we're doing tonight is something that we do every year on the last show of the year. Now, now this year is a little bit unusual <clears throat> I have a voice. <clears throat> in the fact that um, the last show of the year actually fell the day after Christmas. Yeah. So normally there are, we have like a Christmas show and then we have an end of the year show. Uh, but this year, just the way that the calendar fell, our this tonight is our last show of 2020. It is. It's um, our New Year's show, which, well. which good riddance, because we're done with 2020. Yeah, I think everybody um, is. But uh, so, you know, Christmas was yesterday, but tonight, uh, December 26th, is the last show of 2020. When we come back, the next show we come back will be January 2nd. Um, so tonight is going to be what we call our final farewell show. And uh, we do a couple of things during tonight's show. First of all, we take a look back on uh, the guests that we've had join us over the past 12 months. Um, and that's a great thing. That's a happy thing. Well, you did a great job um, getting guests this year. Then, you know, you never know who's coming on. Yeah. People you never think you'd ever find. We found people that, that people haven't heard from in years. Right. And we, we found legendary people, just all kinds of people. So we do that, um, and then uh, we also kind of like celebrate the new year, which we do with playing a, a certain song yeah. whenever we can find it. Um, and then the last part of the show, which is the part that you that Terry was mentioning, you have to have some dedication to yeah. listen to, is it's not for everybody. We compile a list of every single person from the world of pop culture as best we can every single person from the world of pop culture who passed away and left us in the year of 2020. And the thing that's unique about our list is that it's not just the big names in acting that you know of. Um, it's going to encompass everybody. Uh, Media whether, is mainly whether, mainstream, let's face it. They whether, don't include people we do. Right. It's going to include whether big or small, A-listers or B-listers, uh, whether they're an actor, director, or writer, or a cinematographer, a dancer, a choreographer, makeup a conductor, artist, a makeup right. artist, a stuntman, a special effects person, um, anybody who could have been perceived as being in the world of uh, pop culture. Yeah. I don't think we have any... Uh, pets this year, but even in the past, we've had famous pets like Grumpy Cat, yeah. and um, I think we had uh, we did last year. We had the Bushes Baked Beans dog, um, and, and things like that. We kind of so. started out watching Turner Classic movies. They do a little thing, but their their videos or tribute videos exclude some really important people. Not even all B movie people, but even mainstream big people that you would not expect. Right. And their video is like four or five minutes. Our show goes three hours or longer. And you're seeing like little newspaper articles and stuff here and there. More people are paying attention to that. But ours is, I'm telling you straight out, I don't like to brag or anything. I'll brag for you. It's you. You do this. It's your job. And it's the most extensive, complete list available. And of course, even with us, we can miss some. So if you're watching us, we are on Facebook tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the Terry Tiffany Dufo, D U F O E, Facebook account. I don't know if you've got it over on the. I do. It's cult. shared. I All share right, it's on the Cult Radio fan page too. Cult Radio Go Go on Facebook on that fan page as well. If you know of anybody we forgot, put them in the comments. Right. Help us out, and if I we mean, see I it, we'll mention it. I don't have a final tally because I didn't put it back yeah. into Excel when I was done with the list. I didn't. I mean, I I update the list as of as recently as like maybe 30 minutes before the show. It take a long time um, to do this. So uh, I didn't put it back in Excel to check it, but the last time I checked, 
it was 1,355 names. Yeah. Um, and if and, you know and, of anybody that we didn't mention because they passed between the time that you last updated the list to right. now, yeah. please put it in the comments. And I added some after that. So I'm sure we're right around probably about 1,400 names. So it will take us a couple of hours to read through our final farewells list. Um, but we think it's important for a couple of reasons, not only to to give tribute to and memory to these people from the world of pop culture who we've lost over the year. Um, including cult radio guests. Including, including cult personal radio friends guests. that we've worked with. But the other thing is, is that like Terry mentioned, it, it, you hear about them here and there as the year passes. You don't really ever see them or hear about them in one compiled um Format, so you don't realize over the, the the span of the last twelve months, and you forget how much how much we've lost, who we've yeah. lost. Um, it brings so, focus to it. Yeah. So it, it, tonight's show is rough, and it it takes a couple of hours to get through it. But um, if you are a fan of, of pop culture and you want to pay tribute to these people, we encourage you to stay tuned and listen to our final it's, farewell. It's like segment. an audio memorial, you know. Yeah. I won't even say funerals. It's like an audio memorial. And of course, at, at the end, we've got a special tribute to somebody that made us part of who we are. Right. Uh, in fact, two people. My, my career was guided by two Joes. That's all I'll say about a special tribute to one of those Joes. Yeah. We'll mention both. We do have a ghostie on the other side tonight. Yes, which I appreciate uh, very much. Talking about, his, talking about the new year. So We're still kicking. That. Ghosty's still kicking. Yeah. And we'll try really hard to stay off this list we do. Yeah. Um, and even and even somebody that, that wrote something for a special tribute to someone we work with, uh, he's going through stage three cancer and chemotherapy, right. and he needs to fight because we've lost too many of our people, as you'll find out this year. Yeah. So that's going to be our show tonight. A little bit different tonight. We're not doing having a guest on tonight. It's just going to be our final farewell show um, and kind of our year in review uh, for 2020, and then uh, we'll wrap this year up. And then the next time you hear our voices, which will be uh, Saturday, January 2nd, we'll be coming back with a retro media edition of the show. So it'll be a two hour show. And then, of course, don't forget, we already have guests lined up for January. So January 9th, our guest is going to be actress Krista Erickson. Um, and then January, I think it's 23rd, 16. Yeah, 23rd. Uh, I know it's the week after the 16th. January 23rd, we're going to be joined by uh, Johnny Lee. And I'd Country like to, singer Johnny Lee. I'd like to get a cook show, New Year's show, but I don't know. We don't have time. That's a busy schedule. No. We need to try. She does the holidays. She's busy. Anderson Cooper can be on CNN. <laughs> cook show can do. She's busy. Yeah, she's busy. <laughs> so, uh, all right, you want to go to a Yeah, I'll let song? you intro the song, okay? Okay, well. Uh, there's not too many New Year's songs There's out not there. a lot of New Year's songs out there, and this is a guilty pleasure for Terry and I because we You have to go upstairs. You might have to need it. Uh, we both love songs. ABBA. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, luckily, you know, it's been a rough year. It's been a really rough year. Luckily, we are almost done with it. And we can say, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you as yeah. 2020 leaves. I never heard that split you part. I've heard, don't let the door hit you. Yeah. I like that. That's from Kook Show. Oh, it would she, be. She told me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we, this is our, our end of the year show. So, we want to celebrate the fact that. A new year is coming, hopefully with new hope, um, and hopefully this time next year we'll all be in a much better place. Hopefully by this time next year everybody's had a gesture. Yeah. You have to take this shot. Yeah. Trust it. It's science. It isn't some conspiracy thing. You need to take it. So we did find what might be the only New Year song in existence. And uh, that's Happy New Year by ABBA. But we wanted to play this to celebrate the fact that, you know, 2020 is almost out of here. The new year is almost here, hopefully full of hope and good tidings. And once again, if you're on Facebook, you're not going to hear the music because Facebook doesn't allow it. You only right. will hear it on the radio. We suggest you tune in the radio stream in different many places you can and watch the video on Facebook right. in studio camera. So uh, we wanted to play this so that all of us here at Cry can wish you all of you out there, all of our listeners, Happy New Year, and uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with more Crag Live in just a few minutes. If you wanted to, you could cue go see segment two. It's upstairs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Go see's upstairs. Go see's upstairs. Yes. I got to wow. bring him downstairs. Yeah.
See, those of you on Facebook can hear our witty comments behind the scenes like you just heard. Well, they also heard at the start of the show that I forgot all the files upstairs. Yeah. So they started laughing. Right and you started the Facebook broadcast a few seconds late, but that's all right. I didn't. No, pop, uh, Popcorn was already playing before you started. Oh, well, they don't hear it. They didn't know that. They Shh. wouldn't hear the song anyway, don't tell would them. I feel a little better, so hopefully I won't pass out during the show. Make sure you got enough cues now, Sophie. It's yeah, it'll just play all the. Not cold, are you? You're not cold, are you? Huh? You're not cold, are you? Oh no, I'm fine. So far. <sighs> Song's ending. I know. Let it play. See if you can look up and see what the coronavirus death toll is as of uh, from when it started to now globally. Or we could ask that call. We're going to do, uh, you're going to do ghosty next? We could, yeah. Before you start getting into Yeah, the... yeah. Luckily, we have all these people. They really should get together and get something. They, they recorded four songs that nobody's ever seen. That's got to come out, but I just hope they get together and do something together rather than just that digital thing.
big message up there. Sai Bob says, Happy New Year, Tiffany and Terry. Can I ask why the Facebook image of you guys is reversed? Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Because my settings reverted. That's why. Yeah. Turn it around. Time is backwards. What? You can't read backwards? If you're a Twin Peaks fan, you could read backwards. <laughs> yeah, he talked backwards. And I don't know if he likes Twin Peaks. Well, you should if you like Dark Shadows because... According to Ghosty. You, you, could, you could do parallel time travel again, kind of. <laughs> They put some thinking there into that go. portal. That was good. They let you reverse that, it. Is that better? Is that better? There you go. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> I was wondering why I could see myself. Usually I'm hidden by the comments. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, two very important Dark Shadows people this year, too, that passed away. But you could trick people out by reversing it while it's live. You just hit there and set the button. <laughs> I thought it looked different, but I didn't look at the uh, TV, so I didn't see the time. Make sure you have your song. Cybub says, much better. Thank you. Oh, Ghosty got it to work. He's watching the feed. Hi, oh, very Ghosty. very good. Cybob <laughs> says he watched Twin Peaks, but he was not a major fan. It's, it's a little different. <laughs> I watched it because Ghosty made references that he thought it was like the New Age Dark Shadows. And in a way it was. I didn't really see any supernatural you at first. You have to watch kind of, it long enough. Uh, the, the Showtime one is crazier. Yeah, I mean, they, you got to stick they, with it. They were it. getting weirder as they went on. All right, uh, here we go. They were talking about uh, Ghosty being in the room here on the Facebook thing. And I was very proud of him because, you know, a lot of his fans are listening to the show on WFDU. They're very hardcore classic rock and roll, you know, pop stuff and classic mm -hmm. rock and everything. All the oldies and everything goes up to a certain age, a uh, certain era. He doesn't go beyond it. He's very, very true. It. But he was excited. Ghosty was excited about the fact that Abba recorded some new songs. And, of course, you get your naysayers. Like, oh, that's all, like, happy Poppy stuff and Ghosty defended Abba. Good for yes, him. Yes, it is. Like happy he said, it makes stuff. him happy. It makes well, him happy. He, I remember when we watched that uh, because we're we're big Abba fans. Yes. And because of that, we've also become big fans of Mamma Mia, the, yeah. the two movies, and Amanda Seyfried. Oh, and Amanda Seyfried. <laughs> we watched uh, the behind the scenes clips uh, from the Mamma Mia, and she said something that's probably the most accurate statement I've ever heard. That if you if you listen to ABBA, and I'm not saying just listen to like one of their songs on the radio, I really like pull out an ABBA album and listen to the whole album and go in there with no preconceived notions. ABBA's like a drug. It like is. it just makes you happy. You could be in the worst mood and if you play like an ABBA album before you know it, involuntarily, you're kind of grooving and bopping. They tried to say it. a lot of groups were the next Beatles, the Raspberries, this and that, but ABBA really achieved that popularity the Beatles did, seriously. If you want to tell me I'm wrong and give me stats and stuff, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, one of the most influential bands in, in pop history, for sure. And they have puppets of themselves. So there's All that, that video they did, yeah. it was for the anniversary of, of the, uh, the the pop music festival that, that they debuted top, in. Top of the Pops. Top of, no, it's not Top of the Pops. That was a series. It was, I forget what it's called. Uh, Some oh, festival they have. I know what Don't you're about. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I gotta show my shirt. It's shirt of the day has become as important as David Lynch doing the numbers. <laughs> we gonna do David Lynch with the numbers? Yeah, we'll do David Lynch. Might as well do it before we start into the stuff. But let me show you real quick. Bishops, 
I have no idea what that yeah. is. It's, it's, it uh, sounds like a church. It's a restaurant that's no longer there that I grew up with and went to all the time. It was my go-to place. It was a buffet. It was the best buffet I ever saw. Far better than anything in Vegas. But it was a restaurant my family always went to. And I'm getting these old rock for t-shirts of, of businesses and stuff I grew up with. $30 a piece. Very expensive. Well, they know that you can't get them anywhere else. Yeah. So, you know. We got some special uh, Christmas presents Tiffany had made of uh, the logos of our four stations you will talk to you about later on. Nice wall hanging tapestry. It's got Craig and Tag and Porn Halloween had, Radio. And, we had a really good Christmas. Radio. You had, you had a, a retro slash Craig in Craig Tag WLUV Christmas. Tiffany made me a WLUV shirt. <laughs> there was never a WLUV shirt. Right. So and she made one. I had a uh, kitchen upgrade slash Twin Peaks Christmas. Yes. Yes. I got. We got some Twin Peaks stuff. Maybe Twin we can. Peaks I'll up. probably can't show. Them. But I no, definitely we don't want to get too. I want to see to see the Twin. Tell well, him real quick. He saw got. a couple of the things because I yeah. posted the picture. I it, Terry got me a, a custom handmade wood uh, pin of David Lynch's face, which has like, it's crazy. You can tell it's him because it has his hair. The detail on it is impeccable. Yeah. He got me Twin Peaks socks, like Chevron socks, like our carpet. Uh, but what I didn't post online is that uh, he also got me a uh, desk standing, it was about, eh, about that big, you know, you maybe, show down, no, maybe about later. 12 inches of uh, a Venus de Milo. I want to get the full size statues. We're doing the, the Black Lodge down here. But it's like a thousand bucks, okay? So I got the little tiny statue. Right. It was thirty-five. And that's it's made the, by it's artists. In the Black Lodge, yeah. right? Which is what we're trying to do with the studio. Venus de Milo. And then it could either be for Twin Peaks or uh, Frankie Avalon. The yeah. Venus, if you will. Yeah. Um, and then he got me, um, uh, which I didn't even know these existed, to be honest. But he got me a pair of chevron patterned Converse. Like actual Converse tennis shoes with the chevron pattern on them. So those and, are really cool. And you've got cool. Twin Peaks socks to go along with it. Yeah, I already mentioned those. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. So, so, you know, that definitely was uh, yeah. Twin Peaks stuff. It was, a, sure. it was a Twin Peaks Christmas. And the chevron shoes were expensive, like 60 well, bucks. Well, Converse are expensive. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So we're going to do, we'll do David Lynch's uh, weather report. And, and, numbers. and numbers. And then uh, we'll go to Ghosty on the other side. This is quite popular on the show. It, it's become a staple. Yeah. We do it like every other It's week. like shirt of the day and, <laughs> and David Lynch's number and uh, weather of the day. All right. Let's see. You got to stall. I got to look it up. Okay. So everybody, let's type it out phonetically. Or just type two letters. I remember back in the day I had, uh, probably guys probably guys don't know what it is, web TV. And to get to the URLs, it was the first, first thing to bring the internet to the television. You had to type everything with the remote control. And everybody bitched about it. Now everybody's having to do it now. With many of things, we have to type out, including the, the PA devices and everything. Okay. All right, here we go. This is David Lynch's weather report. I'm Watch gonna, the screen. I'm going to turn it up on the TV so you should be able to hear it on uh, the One of the things Facebook well. doesn't strip the audio on. I can't play any songs on here. Right. They strip it off. I need three hands right now. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Good morning. It's December 26, 2020, and it's a Saturday here in L.A. Another clear morning, very still right now, 46 degrees Fahrenheit, around 8 Celsius. Today, I was thinking about the countdown to 2021. Today is December 26. So we have 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Five days after today. Should be going up to around 69 degrees Fahrenheit this afternoon, 21 Celsius. And it looks like we're going to be lucky again and have those beautiful blue skies and golden sunshine all along the way. Everyone, have a great day. 
Now for the David Lynch numbers. Good morning. It's December 20... I don't know what happened there. There's a lag. Hold on. We get that with the wonderful Spectrum service we have. All right. Hold on a second. All right. All right. Here we go. Numbers. Here we go for today's number. It's December 26, 2020. <laughs> Ten balls. Each ball has a number. Numbers one through ten. Swirl the numbers. Pick a number. Today's number is six. Today's number is six. I can do visual aid for the Facebook feed, but you know, I can't I, show my hands on the audio. Feed. I once said, and yeah. I still maintain, that I would listen to David Lynch read the dictionary. If like, David I don't care. Lynch was just sitting there reading a book to himself, yes, I'd watch it. I'd watch, watch it. anything he does. He's, he's awesome and hilarious. And now you know, I mean, he's reflecting on the year, the, the end of the year, too. Yeah. So, um, so uh, Cy Bob had made a, a observation, which I think is probably true, is that if ABBA had released their songs from the get-go as show yeah. tunes, you know, they would be so famous and people would not stop talking about them. But because they released them as quote-unquote pop songs, yeah. now, you know, all of these hardcore like musicologists and rock purists mm -hmm. They don't like them. You'll never hear the end of them, which I think is true. Uh, of which they said, believe it or not, and it, it proves Cy Bob to be right. Uh, the two guys from ABBA who was involved with Mamma Mia said they made more money off of Mamma Mia than they did off of the group ABBA. So there you go. Yep, I can believe it. Uh, and Ghosty had asked if we saw the 12 Days of Twin Peaks Christmas yet? We I have, have and you have. Though, I then. have not. I oh, waited okay. for you. We'll show it tonight. And then we didn't get around to it. We, I was can, like, we can show that. No. How long is it? We have to keep yeah, going. Yeah, we, we got to get going because this <laughs> is very lengthy what we do with the names. Terry's been very revved up since we got up. I'm like, focus. Well, I took a purpose. <laughs> so I had you to get down here. Uh, and Ghosty says David Lynch clearly has a lot of time on his hands. He does. So. And he continues to wear his hat so he looks like the guy with the yellow raincoat from the monkey thing. The uh, what, What's the monkey? Curious George. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Cy Bob said Ghosty said that about Abba, not him. Oh. Sorry. It's my mistake. Yeah. I don't want to misquote. Two completely different Two people. Two completely different people. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of Ghosty, uh, let's do Ghosty on the other side. We're going to do him a little bit early tonight. Good. So uh, we're going to do that because he's, other than when you talk about Christmas, Ghosty is a more positive person. <laughs> just not when you talk about Except Christmas. about Christmas. Um, and we, of course, uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, we're going to be getting into our final farewell segment here probably probably by 7.30 tonight. And it's emotional and it's real and we don't do it for show. And you have to just bear with me when we do get emotional because it really... It really touches us. I mean, we don't have kings and queens and royalty, and, you know, Princess Diana kind of stuff. They all had in England. The, the celebrities is, is really our royalty, you know? Right. So uh, starting by 7.30 p.m. tonight, uh, we'll go from 7.30, I would imagine, until 9.30, because there's, like I said, about 1,400 names Probably on to 10 or 10.30. Um, we'll be doing our final farewell segment. But in we the speak meantime, in LA time. before that, right now, yeah. I think it is time for Ghosty on the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll be right back with more Cry Live in just a few minutes. You only hear this on the radio stream. Amen. So you have your song. We'll start with a tribute to John Slayer.
Did you check back on all the past messages? Because it was one we first started. Checking. What? Check back on all the past messages there at the portal. Because I was, already did, and that's when I read it wrong. All right, because there was one from probably TM or something. I don't know. No. Okay. Well, Ghosty isn't very optimistic. Look at this segment. He's right about everything. This is totally going into my head draw. It's my the other segment. We we tune into each Except other. Except he's being negative. Not really. Yeah, he's like, nothing's going to change. Well, it's not. It's being telling the truth. You got to tell the truth. And I don't want to use the, the word fake news, but you know you gotta you gotta be straight out with people. Yeah, but you gotta be optimistic a little bit too. A little bit, but you can't be too optimistic because this is like the worst thing that's ever happened to the world. So true. Wow. Good for him.
you know, I don't, I don't know if he admits to this, but I heard a little bit of his father coming out. I mean, Ghosty could have taken over. Is that what you heard? I, I heard every, the preaching every, and the guidance and, and, and a the of, philosophy. A couple of seconds into it, I was like, Ghosty sounds like Carlos. Well, yeah, that's a given. <laughs> I'm saying that if he, he, you know, if the music industry with playing the, the songs on WFTU, whatever, gets slow, mm -hmm. he could start taking the pulpit. And then he could uh, maneuver that into acting like Marjo Gordner. <laughs> And, and wind up a big, you know, that, box office Hollywood star. That could be Ghosty's glory years. Yeah. Who knows? Or if he doesn't wind up being a preacher, he could be a politician uh, and, and hopefully a better one. Ghosty for president 2024. That's what I say. But that, that was well thought out. That was very philosophical. Well, I was laughing because people on Facebook were hearing. And our, as our always, discussion. the cadence of his voice, I think, matches Casey Kasem. He reminds me of Casey voice. Kasem. Yeah. Uh, people on who are watching the Facebook live feed were hearing our discussion on the break. And I was saying, because my lead into the segment yeah. was I was saying that we wanted to play Ghosty before we get into the final farewells because Ghosty, other than when it comes to Christmas, is rather optimistic. Yeah. And then he gets into the segment and he starts talking about how, no, he doesn't want to see the new year. Nothing's going to change. And I'm like, well, I guess he wasn't optimistic. <laughs> well, you were, you were like saying he's being negative. No, he's telling the truth. And that's what you need to do nowadays. You need to tell the truth. You need to be blunt make people understand because there, there is so much this fake news even though i'm not a donald trump fan there is and people misconstrue everything and it's that whole mental thing where they change things in their mind what do you call that again mandela effect yeah the Mandela yeah. Effect. and and, and you got to be straightforward but after listening to the end of of uh the segment like i understand what he meant though is it's just that don't rush through things because like he even said in in uh uh, the comment right now that he's just trying to learn to appreciate even the small stuff. You have to, because you know something? I mean, 2020 is shit. I don't want it to stick around, but, but I do agree with him yeah. that you have to learn to stop and appreciate and the small things. And appreciating the small things is what is the secret of life. Yeah. It is the secret of life. Home is, is what you make it. it. It's all that. And if you don't have a nice girlfriend or a wife or you're, you're not able to, to be with your family or any of that stuff, you know, there's other things that, that are blessings in your life. And I don't want to come off like a preacher either. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, you got you got to really appreciate those things, those little things that didn't. There's so many things that, that I thought was stupid as a kid I really appreciate. Yeah. Now, like for that. Like, for example, yeah, he drives me crazy. And he's nothing but trouble. But seeing Imhotep have his first Christmas yesterday, there he was, was no. He was so happy. There was no more joy than that. He was so excited because we buy our cats Christmas presents. You guys two hundred dollars worth of presents, and for the, they the even cats. they even get a Christmas stocking yes. that's filled with little little trinkets and toys and stuff. And he was so excited; he was flying through the air, yeah. playing. And he, I bought these little. They're called catnip balls, and they're like they're like balls, like cat balls that they play with, but they're pressed catnip. And they're hard, and it's hell when you got a hardwood floor because they're loud as hell when they roll. He was drooling. He was so excited. And then uh, Fritz, who's, thir who's what, seven years old now, yeah. going on eight, he was playing like a kitten. It's those little things. And the only one know? that didn't play was Wicked Kitty because she's retired. She's, she's, like, like, yeah. she's like Marlena Dietrich. I used she's to like, do that. <laughs> but they're all doing good. I'm, yeah. I'm grateful for that. Too. Yeah. Okay. So uh, before we get into doing our reading the final farewells list. Oh, I want to mention this, too. Uh, we were going to stop at Christmas night. But we've decided to extend relaying the Christmas at the drive-in server. Because remember, I told you guys the separate server on Craig. You're going to be hearing it on Craig until Monday. So if you want to tune into Craig and hear Christmas at the drive-in, or you can listen to the Christmas at the drive-in server, it stops on Craig on Monday, this Monday, continues until then, 24-7. But it'll be up on the Christmas at the drive-in server. We're at that uh, secret URL I put on Facebook. It's also in the uh, Christmas radio app on Roku that we put up and it'll be up there a few days later till January something. We don't know because the server's going to be taken down. You know? Right. We, we get a new server every year just to do the Christmas thing. Right. And, you know, it has its own location and it feeds to Right. So uh, before we get into uh, doing the final farewell segment, reading the list of, of celebrities from the world of pop culture. This is a nice match. You can't hear, hear a song. You want to hear a song? You had to listen to the radio feed. Uh, we wanted to take a, a minute to, uh, and actually we'll do a moment of silence first, but um, 
and, and we'll do this in two segments. So the, the first thing that we wanted to talk about, just follow along with me. So the first thing we wanted to talk about was um, all of the, the people, all of the lives that we've lost in 2020 due to COVID-19. Um, and whether they were celebrities or not. And some were. Some were. Um, but whether they were celebrities or not, or whether they were, you know, uh, your local grocer, your neighbor, your grandma, your grandpa, your, your sister, your brother, um, they were still people and they were still important. And um, I don't think anybody could have expected uh, for us to be in the midst and we're still in it, in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. Yes, they have a vaccine now, but it's going to take a long time for that to get out. Uh, they're saying probably not everybody, because you got to remember how many people we have, not only in this country, but in the world. Uh, we're not looking at being vaccinated, you know, right away. It's going to take time for it to be distributed. They have to inoculate the world. And everybody has to get the vaccine twice. You have to get two shots. So. If, if it's Pfizer. If it's Pfizer. Um, the so. other ones don't. Yeah, we are still in we are still in the thick of this. We encourage people to still be cautious, stay at home if you can, wear a mask. Um, but uh, in the interim, you know, we lost a lot. We lost a lot of people this year, loved ones. Everybody's a loved one to somebody. Um, so we just wanted to, and this is going to seem long because it's on the radio, and five seconds of silence on the radio seems like a long time. Uh, but we wanted to just do uh, six, uh, do 60 seconds, a minute of silence uh, for all of the lives that we lost due to COVID-19, famous or not, in 2020. So uh, let's just do 60 seconds and then we'll come right back. Um, and then to kind of go along with that, um, we have often talked about, uh, you know, Terry was even talking about tonight about, you know, uh, royalty, you know, people in England have their kings and their queens. Um, and then in the U.S., we don't really have that. We have politicians, we have celebrities. And ironically over there, and even Scott Thompson, the kids in the hall told me even Canada, their celebrities are not as big a deal over there as right, they are here. Right, right. Um, but we do, what we do have here is we have heroes. Yeah. And uh, we have, you know, of course, everybody, when I say say that word, they think of, yeah, we have superheroes. We have Captain America and we have Wonder Woman, who's on everybody's brain right now because Wonder Woman 84 just came out. But no, I'm talking about your everyday heroes. And uh, this year specifically, uh, these are the people that that stepped up uh, and and were heroes to not only the people that un unfortunately we've lost, but also luckily the people that we still have. I'm talking about your frontline workers. Um, well, um, some of them have died because some of, of them have their died service. because of their service. I, I mean, normally in in America and the U.S., we talk about heroes as being your your policemen and your firemen. And I'm not taking anything away from them, uh, but especially in 2020, 
uh, when we're talking about frontline workers who are not only like your delivery men who brought you supplies when fast you were in lockdown, workers, fast workers. food workers who, who still work to feed you because a lot of people, you know, for us, it was fine. I was like, I'll just cook dinner. But a lot of people don't cook. They yeah. had no way or no means. Or, Darcy, we're talking about you. <laughs> or if you're elderly, a lot of that's what people don't realize, too. A lot of elderly people don't cook for themselves because yeah. they can't. Um, so, you know, we're talking about your delivery people. We're talking about your, your restaurant people. Uh, and fast food people. We're talking about your doctors and your nurses um, who not only tended to, for, and they were working like 16 hour days, who not only tended to the people who were sick with COVID and hopefully recovering, but also had the heartbreaking job of tending to the people who were dying and died with it to the point to where they were even setting up their phone and their iPads so that people that had COVID who were in the hospital who couldn't see anybody would get on FaceTime to be able to say goodbye to their families. Yeah, we couldn't do it person. So um, we wanted to take a moment to uh, recognize and to pay tribute to all of our frontline workers from 2021 who are our personal everyday heroes. For those of you on Facebook, we're playing David Bowie heroes. You can't hear the audio on Facebook. You can't do music, so we got to listen to the radio. Feed. A big long message here. Sure has bumped up over there, so it's big. I think that's as big as it gets. All right. I wanted to mention, too, that even in a way, the people that don't work those frontline jobs mm -hmm. are, are heroes to the people that died because it's so unfortunate that they had to give their life. But this really was a war. 
It, it was a biological war. I do believe it was started by somebody. Somebody was either stupid and did it by accident, let it spread and get out, or somebody did it on purpose. We'll find out someday, but it was a war, a global war. It was the worst thing that ever happened to the earth since, who knows, since, you know, the, the, the loss of the dinosaurs with everything, you know, whatever you compare to a lot of things. But those people that, that died, even though they may not have been frontline workers, you know, we, we learn things and, and because of that and studying the people that died and everything got to the the uh, injection that we're now all going to be getting. So they're all heroes in a way because it was a war. It really was. It was a war. And it, was, it was on purpose. It didn't just happen. And, you know, I don't want to get into conspiracy theories, but I, I believe that. And they're all heroes, you know? Absolutely. And a lot of these celebrities that died, they didn't say, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them died from COVID if they're not telling you. You know, a lot of them, it's the first thing you check. Every time you hear somebody die, oh, I wonder if it's COVID. And a lot of them have, hasn't said, like even with our, our, our boss at Random Magazine we wrote for, she never said it was COVID, but she said he had underlying illnesses. So that could be code for COVID because she didn't want to say. I think a lot of people died from COVID, they're not saying. Right. So. Okay. We wanted to do the images of everybody, but did not have time. There was fourteen hundred names. 1400 <laughs> it, was, it, it would have been almost impossible because then I would have had to have tried to do that and read the list at the same time, and it would have just been fourteen hundred photos. Yeah, it's been a lot. And that's the biggest you can make there, right? Yes. All right. All right. Let me pull up the list here. I'm surprised it pulls up on the phone so big. Make sure you have your drink. You always wind up losing your voice during this. And for those of you that are watching that this is not your cup of tea, we understand. It is something that's not for everybody. But it's important because we respect the people of, of the contributed pop culture so much. And a lot of them have been guests on this show. Or guests on Coasty's show and other people's shows. So. And then after this, we will read the list of guests that joined us in 2020. Yeah. We, we go we from misery sure we to don't, happy. Don't forget that. Yeah. So. Um, We're not worried about time. We'll probably go over, but bear with us, and hopefully you can stay tuned, stay with us. You got that special tribute to Joe Kane coming up too at the end. It's a nice article. It's written by John Hub. Came out just in time. Uh, we knew about it. He involved us and involved uh, Nancy, uh, Joe's widow. Okay. At this time, Colt Radio would like to take a few hours to pay remembrance to the celebrities from the world of pop culture, wide and far, that we've lost during the year of 2020. We're gonna start by uh, picking up from where we left off last year. There was a couple that we lost in December of 2019 that happened after our final farewell show of 2019. So we wanted to make sure to mention them as well. Yeah. December 2019, um, who we did not list, we had Garrett List, American trombonist, vocalist, and composer, Neil Pierce, American columnist and author on urban affairs, John Rothschild, American writer, Jack Sheldon, American trumpeter from the Merv Griffin Show, and singer of I'm Just a Bill, and the voice actor from Schoolhouse Rock. Anthony Rubicello, American actor from The Sopranos, Be Cool, and Uptown Girls. Izzy Slapowitz, American professional wrestler, manager, and commentator from the ICW. Michael Trickless, American film and television producer. Carla Kahlo, Italian actress from Captain Falcon, $1,000 on the Black. Sebastian Ferret. Mexican actor uh, from Amar de Nuevo and El Señor de los Cielos. Neil Innes, English comedian from Monty Python, musician from The Ruddles, uh, Bonzo Dog Duda Band and writer. Norma Tenega, American musician, singer, songwriter, and artist. Marie Devereaux, English actress. Jack Gaffin, Czechoslovak born American film producer and director responsible for The Strange One and Something Wild, also co-founder of the Hollywood Theater Row, 
Sid Mead, American concept artist for Blade Runner, Aliens, and Tron. Elizabeth Sellers, Scottish actress of the Barefoot Contessa, 55 Days at Peking, and the Webster Boy. Vic Juris, American jazz guitarist. Martin West, American actor, Assault on Precinct 13, Freckles, and As the World Turns. All right, so now we're going to start with the uh, January 2020 names, and we'll go throughout the year. I wanted to mention, too, that they have just recently, we knew, uh, admitted that COVID was, it didn't really start officially until March, but more than likely those ones at the end there could possibly have been, too, because it, it's been with us since last year. Yeah. They think it's been since March before that. Joan Benson, American keyboard player. Marty Greb, American musician from the Buckinghams. Tommy Hancock, American musician. John Baldessari, American conceptual artist. Lorraine Chandler, American singer and songwriter. Veronica Fitz, German actress from The Vulture Wally, The Sepser Inn, and O oh, This Bavaria. Elizabeth Rapineau, French film director and screenwriter. Derek Acora, English self styled spiritual medium and television personality from Most Haunted and Ghost Towns. Christopher Beanie, English actor. Upstairs, Downstairs, In Loving Memory, and Last of the Summer Wine. Robert Blanche, American actor from Leverage and Grimm. Monica Echevera, Chilean journalist, writer, and actress. Ken Fusion, American journalist from the Baltimore Sun and the Des Moines Register. Penny Morrill, British actress. Bernard Ryan Jr., American writer. Bo Winberg, Swedish singer and guitarist. Guy Arnold, English writer and explorer. Emmanuel Baroque, Soviet born American violinist from Boston Symphony Orchestra, Boston Pops, Dallas Symphony Orchestra, uh, who is also a teacher and concert master. Karoloy Gestezi, Hungarian actor from A Kind of America, The District, and Children of Glory. Junko Hirotani, Japanese singer. Tom Long, American-born Australian actor from Two Hands, The Dish, and The Postcard Bandit. Lorenzo, Lorenza Mazzetti, Italian film director from Together, a novelist. Walter Learning, Canadian actor, director, and producer, founder of Theatre New Brunswick. Stephen Clements, British radio personality from BBC Radio. Jacques, Jacques Desange, French hairdresser. Silvio Horta, American film and television writer of Ugly Betty, Jake 2.0, and Urban Legend. Neil Peart, Canadian Hall of Fame drummer and lyricist from Rush. Ron Rogers, American cartoonist. Elizabeth Wurzel, American author of Prozac Nation. Ed Kuki Burns, American actor, 77 Sunset Strip, Greece. And of course, recording, recording artist for Kuki Kuki, Lend Me Your Comb. One that we met. Buck Henry, American actor, screenwriter for The Graduate and Get Smart and director of Heaven Can Wait. Did a lot for SNL too. Bill Ray, American photojournalist for Life. Tom Alexander, Scottish musician of the Alexander Brothers. Michael Allison, American composer and musician. Bobby Comstock, American pop singer. Lano Coon, American screenwriter of The Love Boat, Highway to Heaven, and Insight. Ivan Passer, Czech film director for Born to Win, Cutter's Way, Silver Bears, and screenwriter. 
Phyllis Rappaport, American pianist. Mike Resnick, American science fiction writer of the goddess of Ganymede, stalking the unicorn and Krenyaga. Yuji Yamaguchi, Japanese anime director of the Severing Crime Edge and Fate Stay Night and Angel Links. Bryce Armstrong, American voice actor for Dragon Ball Z, Case Closed, and Barney and Friends. Nita Arnerich, Serbian actress from Shaft in Africa, The End of War, and Venom. Wolfgang Donner, German jazz pianist and composer. Michael Green, American actor of the Dakotas to live and die in LA. Patrick Jordan, English actor of The Angry Hills, The Marked One, and Star Wars. Mark Morgan, Belgian singer-songwriter. Michael Poslans, Canadian writer and activist. Alana Filippi, French singer and songwriter. Stan Kirsch, American actor from Highlander, the series. La Parca II, Mexican professional wrestler from the AAA. Norma Michaels, American actress from The King of Queens, Mind of Mencia and Easy A. Edward Pinkowski, American writer, journalist, and historian. Steve Stiles, American cartoonist and writer. William Boguer, American actor from War Games, Small Wonder, and The Greatest American Hero. Tony Garnett, British film producer from Earth Girls Are Easy. Robert Heinick, American designer and writer. Jaime Umberto Hermosillo, Mexican film director. David Scott Milton, American author and playwright. Hilda Sims, English folk musician and poet. Steve Martin Caro, American singer of The Left Bank. Jack Kehoe, American actor from Serpico, The Sting, and The Untouchables. Chris Darrow, American musician from the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Alan Patillo, British television director from Supercar, Thunderbirds, and writer and editor for All Quiet on the Western Front. Derek Falds, British actor from Yes Minister, Heartbeat, and East of Sudan. Bobby Kay, Canadian professional wrestler and promoter. Jason Burke, Canadian composer and music educator and recipient of the Jules Lieger Prize for New Chamber Music in 1995. Urs Egger, Swiss film director from Children of the Open Road and Operan Ball. Steve Gillespie, Canadian professional wrestler. David Olney, American singer-songwriter. Jack Van Imp, American televangelist. Charles Alverson, American screenwriter of The Jabberwocky. Bill Greenwood, American film, I'm sorry, American television reporter for ABC News. Chisako Hara, Japanese actress. Jimmy Heath, American jazz saxophonist from the Heath Brothers. Marilyn Lanfear, American sculptor and performance artist. Jean London, American children's television presenter from WCAU, WABD, and NBC. Robert Parker, American R&B singer, responsible for the song Barefootin. Nita Kesse, American operatic mezzo-soprano. Wolfgang J. Fuchs, German author, historian, and comic book translator. Kit Hood, British-born Canadian television producer from Degrassi. Bill Kaiserman, American fashion designer. Joe Shishido, Japanese actor for Youth of the Beast, Branded to Kill, A Tale of Sorrow and Sadness. Paul Addison, British author and historian. Norman Amadio, Canadian jazz pianist and band leader. 
Terry Jones, Welsh comic actor, screenwriter, and film director from Monty Python. Maritzel Negre, Spanish singer of Peaches and Herb. Sonny Grosso, American born, American born uh, police detective, actor, and television producer for The French Connection and Night Heat. Robert Harper, American actor, from Frank's Place, Once Upon a Time in America, and Twins. Marsha Kramer, American actress from Modern Family. Jim Lehrer, American journalist for PBS NewsHour. Michelle McDonald, American model and beauty pageant contestant and Miss America 1971. Barbara Remington, American artist and illustrator. John Fry, American journalist. Margot Lyon, American theater producer of Hairspray. Justice Payne, American professional wrestler. Joe Payne, American heavy metal bassist and guitarist from Divine Heresy and Nile. Sean Reinhardt, American drummer from Cynic and Death and Aeon Spoke. Wes Wilson, American psychedelic poster artist responsible for some of the artwork for Jefferson Airplane, Grateful Dead, and Bill Graham. Antonia Apodaca, American musician and songwriter. Meredith Ether Etherington Smith, British fashion journalist. Lorenzo Ghirlieri, American sculptor. Nina Griscom, American model, television host, and columnist. Anne Cole, Swedish actress. Bob Markell, American television producer uh, who is involved with the Defenders and NYPD and art director for 12 Angry Men. Narcisco Perigi, Italian singer and actor. Monique Van Voorhen, Belgian born American actress who is in projects like Tarzan and the She-Devil and Happy Anniversary, Fearless Frank, and she was also a dancer. Lucy Jarvis, American television producer for Family Reunion. Bob Shane, American singer and guitarist from the Kingston Trio. Kobe Bryant, basketball player from the Los Angeles Lakers. Jack Burns, American comedian and actor from the Andy Griffith Show and screenwriter for The Muppet Show. And also Fridays. And Fridays, yeah. The host of Fridays. Norbert Moutier, French film director, Dinosaur from the Deep. Reed Mullen, American rock drummer from Corrosion of Conformity and Teenage Time Killers. Jason Poland, American artist and illustrator. Julia Breck, British actress. Lowry Burgess, American artist. Marge Doucet, American actress from Guiding Light. MacArthur and the Facts of Life. Lucian Barberin, American jazz tram trombonist. Harry and Frank, Harriet Frank Jr., American screenwriter from HUD, Norma Ray and the Carey Treatment. Harry Harrison, American radio personality from WMCA, WABC and WCBS. Nicholas Parsons, British actor from Four Feather Falls, radio and television presenter from Just a Minute and Sale of the Century. Yoshinaga Fujita, Japanese novelist and screenwriter from Adrift in Tokyo. Fred Silverman, American Hall of Fame television programmer from CBS, ABC, and NBC. Johnny Carson's show is very important to that show, too. Tian Shengren, Chinese actor from Warm Spring. Luis D. Clement Hoff, American artist. Delphine Forrest, French actress. Mary Higgins Clark, American author from A Stranger is Watching, A Cry in the Night and Remember Me. Andre Melly, English actress from The Brides of Dracula. Peter Andorai, Hungarian actor from My Father's Happy Years. George Blondheim, Canadian pianist and composer. 
Leela Garrett, American television writer for Bewitched and Baby I'm Back. Andy Gill, English post-punk guitarist Gang of, for Gang of Four and record producer. Luciano Ricciri, Italian production designer for A Special Day. Peter Serkin, American classical pianist and Grammy winner. Howard E. Smither, American musicologist. Charles Wood, British screenwriter for The Knack and How to Get It, Help and Iris. Johnny Lee Davenport, American actor from The Fugitive, Joy and Work in Progress. Ivan Kral, Czech American musician and songwriter for Ask the Angels, Pumping My Heart and Dancing Barefoot. Love Lady Powell, American actress from I Never Sang for My Father, The Possession of Joel Delaney and The Happy Hooker. John Grant, Scottish science fiction writer. Douglas Knapp, American cinematographer and camera operator known for Assault on Precinct 13th and Star Trek Voyager. Gene Reynolds, American actor um, and television producer for MASH and Lou Grant. Roy Walton, English card magician. Eugene Witkowski, Russian fantasy writer. Bill Britton, American actor who played Bozo the Clown. Andrew, Andrew Brow, New Zealand musician and songwriter from the Straight Jacket Fits. Jose Luis Cuerda, Spanish film director from Butterfly's Tongue and producer of The Others and screenwriter. Terry Hands, British theater director from the Royal Shakespeare Company. Volker David Kirschner, German violinist and American composer. Nadia Lutfi, Egyptian actress from The Night of Counting Years and Saladin the Victorious. Bonnie McLean, American psychedelic poster artist for, uh, for various bands. Alice Mayhew, American book editor and publisher from Simon & Schuster. Jane Milnor, American playwright, television writer and producer from Martin, Newhart and the Hughleys. Gianni Minervini, Italian film producer for Berlinger, I Love You and Where's the Cone. William Oxley, English poet and philosopher. Buddy Cage, American pedal steel guitarist for the new writers of the Purple Sage and Great Speckled Bird. Diane Kale here, Canadian filmmaker and director. Kevin Conway, American actor from Gettysburg, 13 Days and Oz. Kirk Douglas, American actor from Spartacus, Paths of Glory and Seven Days in May. One of the great old actors. F.X. Feeney, American screenwriter from Frankenstein Un Unbound and film director. Erwin Creeman, American artist. Beverly Pepper, American sculptor. Raphael Coleman, British actor from Nanny McPhee, It's Alive and the Fourth Kind. Roger Kahn, American author from The Voice of Summer. Earl Kemp, American publisher and editor. Peter Rockwell, American sculptor. Nello Santi, American, er, Italian conductor. Orson Bean, American actor from Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, being John Malkovich, and game show panelist from To Tell the Truth. Big hit on Johnny Carson, he was one of my favorites. He was one I didn't even know was still around. Yeah. You'll find stuff like that. Let's excuse us because the phone is occasionally interfering you get that noise pick up in the microphone. She trying to keep the phone away from the mic. Ronnie Drayton, American guitarist. James McGarrell, American painter. Anne E. Todd, American actress. Steve Weber, American folk singer, songwriter, and guitarist for the Holy Modal Rounders and the Fugs. Robert Conrad. American actor for Hawaiian Eye, The Wild Wild West, and Ba Ba Black Sheep. Somebody very important called radio for sure, Wild Wild West. It was a great show, and he was great on it. And I'll try to 
I'm trying to watch the comments while I do this too. Yeah. Um, but uh, like Gosi had mentioned, Bob Shane was the last member of the Kingston Trio. Yes, very and, nice. Uh, Cy Bob mentioned that Nicholas Parsons was in a Doctor Who episode back in 1989. So. I, I appreciate the comments, guys. If you can, you know, anything that we don't, please put it up there. Victor Gorlick, American comic book editor from Archie Comics. Paula Kelly, American actress from Night Court, Santa Barbara, and Soylent Green. Ron McLarty, American author, narrator, and actor from Spencer for Hire, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and Champs. Sorrel Hayes, American pianist and composer. Lyle Mays, American jazz pianist and composer. Marge Redman, American actress from The Flying Nun, The Fortune Cookie, and Family Plot. Paul English, American drummer for Willie Nelson. Jamie Gilson, American author. Ron Hadrick, Australian cricketer and actor from The Stranger, Dot and Santa Claus, and Quigley Down Under. American writer David Stout. German film director Joseph Vilsmeyer from Stalingrad, Brother of Sleep, and Comedian Hormonists. Janine, I'm sorry, Jeannie Beeman, American choreographer. Mike Lilly, American banjo player and singer. Hamish Milne, English pianist. Cheryl Wheeler Dixon, American stunt woman from Back to the Future Part Two, Thor, and They Live. These are names I can never hear in uh, mainstream media. Buzzy Linhart, American folk rock singer and songwriter. Rafael Romero Merchant, Spanish film director for Dead Men Don't Count, Sartana Kills Them All, an actor from Mare Nostrum. Yoshisada Sakaguchi, Japanese voice actor from Rain the Conqueror, The Wolf Brigade, and Appleseed. Lynn Cohen, American actress from Sex and the City, Munich, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Esther Scott, American actress from Boys in the Hood, Dream Girls, and Heart of Dixie. John Shrapnel, English actor from Gladiator, Troy, and 101 Dalmatians. A.E. Hotchner, American editor and novelist, co-founder of Newman's Own. Ron Thompson, American blues guitarist from uh, the John Lee Hooker Band. Zoe Caldwell, Amer Australian actress from Masterclass, Lilo and Stitch, and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. Pearl Carr, English singer from the Pearl Carr and Teddy Johnson group. Frances Cuca, British actress from Scrooge, The Watcher in the Woods, and Snow White, A Tale of Terror. Clyde Davenport, American old-time fiddler and banjo player. Jason Davis, American actor from Recess, Beverly Hills Ninja, and Mafia. Corinne LaHaye, French actress from Now Where Did the Seventh Company Get To? Kelly Nakahara, American actress I'm sorry, Kelly Nakahara, American actress from MASH, Clue, and Three Ninjas Kickback. Janet Dubois, American actress from Good Times and the PJs and singer who sang the Jeffersons theme. Henry Gray, American Hall of Fame blues pianist and singer. Charles Portis, American author of True Grit, Norwood, and Gringos. James G. Spady, American writer, historian, and journalist. Andrew Weatherall, English music producer and uh, musician. Sonia Zeman, German actress of The Black Forest Girl, The Hel Heat is Green, and The Bridge at Remagen. Flavio Bucci, Italian actor from Suspiria and Last Stop on the Night Train. Philippe Fourquet, French actor, Bob Petty, American television reporter and news anchor from WLS. Robert Covert, American composer from The Winds of War and Remembrance, Kolchak the Night Stalker, and of course, Dark Shadows. Show wouldn't have been the same without his music. Probably my favorite composer of all time, you know, right up there with John Williams and everything to me. 
Anne Griffel Coney, American author and illustrator. Jack Youngerman, American artist. Zoe Gale, South African born American actress and singer. Claudette Nevins, American actress from Sleeping with the Enemy and Tough Turk. Elise Weinberg, Canadian American singer songwriter. Nick Cutie, American comic book artist for E Man. Du Yulu, Chinese actor. Hisashi Kasuta, Japanese voice actor for Astro Boy, Astro Ganger, and Grazar X. Boris Leskin, Russian actor from Heavenly Swallows, Vampire's Kiss, and Men in Black. Vangelis Ploys, Greek actor from The Auntie from Chicago, A Hero in His Slippers, and The Countess of Corfu. Mike Hughes, American Daredevil and Flat Earth Conspiracy Theorist. Kazuhiko Kishino, Japanese voice actor. Simon War, British broadcaster from BBC and actor from That'll Teach Them. Linda Wolf, American journalist and author from Wasted the Preppy Murder. Russ Cochran, American comic book publisher. Bob Andelman, American journalist, author, and talk show host. Diana Sarah Carey, American actress from The Darling of New York, Captain January, and The Family Secret. Ben Cooper, American actor from Johnny Guitar, Gunfight at Comanche Creek, and Rebel in Town. Clive Cussler, American adventure novelist from Raise the Titanic and Sahara, an underwater explorer. David Roback, American guitarist from Mazzy Star and Rain Parade. Peter Schmick, American pianist and composer. Tom Watkins, English music manager of the Pet Shop Boys. Susan Beaumont, English film actress. Lee Philip Bell, American television producer of The Bold and the Beautiful and The Young and the Restless. Kazuhisa Hashimoto, Japanese video game programmer and creator of the Konami Code. Eduardo Bort, Spanish guitarist. Betsy Byers, American author for Summer of the Swans. Nick Apollo Forti, American musician and actor. Michael Medwin, English actor from Shoestring and Scrooge. R.D. Call, American actor from Young Guns 2, Into the Wild and Easy Streets. Eugene Donarski, American actor from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Lillian Offit, American blues and R&B singer. Joyce Gordon, American actress and pitch woman. Bill Smith, American jazz clarinist and composer. Dieter Laser, German actor from The Human Centipede. Elizabeth Nelson Adams, American artist and poet. James Lipton, American television host from Inside the Actor's Studio, writer, writer and actor as well. Yeah. Barbara Neely, American author for Blanche on the Lamb. Tim Skelly, American video game designer and programmer. Roscoe Bourne, American actor from One Life to Live, Santa Barbara and Young and the Restless. I think he got some new messages, I'm not sure. Nope. Okay. Wendell Gohler, American journalist. James Otis, American actor from Star Trek Deep Space Nine and The Black Dahlia. Nicholas Tucci, American actor from Your Next. David Wise, American television writer from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and The Transformers. Barbara Martin, American singer of The Supremes. Frank McLaughlin, American comics artist. Rip Oliver, American professional wrestler. Ralph Angel, American writer. David Paul, American actor from The Barbarians, Double Trouble, and Twin Sitters. Eleanor Ross, American operatic soprano. Danny Tidwell, American dancer and reality television contestant. McCoy Tyner, American jazz pianist. 
um, Martin Crowley, American playwright for The Boys in the Band, Jim Owen, American country singer-songwriter, Laura Smith, Canadian folk singer-songwriter, Max von Sydow, Swedish-born French actor from The Seventh Seal, The Exorcist, Exorcist, Hell and the Conqueror. Dynamic performance in The Exorcist. Alan Bellman, American comic book artist from Captain America. Daniel S. Greenberg, American journalist. Gary B. Cribb, Kibb, American cinematographer for Escape from L.A., Robocop 3, and They Live. Keith Olson, American record producer, sound engineer, and musician. Eric Taylor, American folk singer-songwriter. Robert Langbaum, American author. Mal Sharp, American television and radio personality. Paul Corda, British musician, songwriter, and actor. Charles Werrenen, American composer. Don Burroughs, Australian jazz musician. Danny Ray Thompson, American jazz musician. Arch Deal, American television reporter from WFLA. Tamaki Nakash Naka Nakanishi, Japanese voice artist. Phil Phillips, American singer and songwriter for Sea of Love. Roy Hud, English actor from The Blood Beast, Terror, Up the Chastity Belt, and Coronation Street. Jeremy Mayer, English music documentary filmmaker. Sergio Basi, Italian folk singer songwriter. Stuart Whitman, American actor for The Mark, The Comancheros, and Those Magnificent Men and Their Flying Machines. He did a, a great horror movie, too. I can't think of the name of it, but he was a great actor. Gerald Friedman, American theater director. Lyle Wagner, American actor from The Carol Burnett Show, Wonder Woman, and Love Me Deadly. Ray Downs, Canadian jazz pianist. Roman Arambula, Mexican comic book and storyboard artist. Oliver Lee Pitts, American journalist. Nazareno Zamperla, Italian actor from Samson and the Slave Queen, A Pistol for Ringo and Three Tough Guys. Kenny Rogers, American Hall of Fame singer for The Gambler, Just Dropped In, Islands in the Stream, songwriter and actor. Starting out with the first edition. And then going solo. Giovanni Romanini, Italian comics artist and cartoonist. Richard S. Klein, American television producer and director. Ray Mantilla, American percussionist. Hiroshi Masuoka, Japanese voice actor. Mariko Miyagi, Japanese actress from Panda and the Magic Serpent. Dean Borg, American journalist. Julie Felix, American British folk singer. Mike Longo, American jazz pianist. Carmen Di Marina, Spanish actress and television personality. Richard Merrick, American editor. Eric Weisberg, American folk musician. Lucia Bossi, Italian actress for The Story of a Love Affair, and she was also Miss Italia from 1947. David Collings, British actor from Scrooge, 39 Steps, and The Invisible Woman. Alfio Contini, Italian cinematographer. William Dufres, American voice actor from uh, Bob the Builder. Melinda O'Fee, American actress from Days of Our Lives, The Invisible Man, A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Alan Finder, American journalist from the New York Times. Stuart Gordon, American film director from Reanimator, From Beyond, Dragon, and more. Reanimator is probably the best thing that uh, came out of Charlie Band's group. Great series, Jeffrey Combs. But without Jeffrey, without Stuart Gordon, there wouldn't be a Jeffrey Combs. Yeah. Um, well, let me check the messages real quick. 
they scrolled, so I have to get up. Yeah. They have to get up and touch the screen to scroll up and down like an iPad. Tim Richburg says that WWE's Luke Harper died today. Oh. And, uh... He was great. Tim says Stuart Whitman was in Demonoid, Messenger of Death, and Night of the Leapist. Yes, absolutely. And Cy Bob says David Collins was in three different Doctor Who episodes, as well as playing Gold in the UK series Sapphire and Steel. Thank you once again, you guys. Anything you contribute, this is a great thing that you do this. Loring Mandel, American playwright and screenwriter. Terrence McNally, American uh, American playwright for Ragtime, Kiss of the Spider Woman, Love, 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 Valor, and Compassion. Bill Rieflin, American rock drummer from Ministry, The Revolting Cox, and King Crimson. Edward Tarr, American trumpeter, Grammy Award winner. Mark Bloom, American actor from Crocodile Dundee, Mozart in the Jungle, and Desperately Seeking Susan. Richard Reeves, American writer. Garrett T. Sato, American actor from Hawaii Five-O, The Wolverine, and Midway. Constantine Draganescu, Romanian actor from Dark Angel, The Ascent, Every Day God Kisses Us on the Mouth, and The Japanese Dog. Neil Landon, English singer from The, uh, the Flower Pot Men and Fat Mattress. Bill Martin, Scottish songwriter, known for Puppet on a String, Congratulations, and Back Home. Frank Pietri, American jazz dance instructor and choreographer. Hamish Wilson, Scottish actor from Doctor Who and radio producer. Bob Andy, Jamaican reggae singer of The Paragons. Bob and Marsha, and also songwriter and actor for The Mighty Quinn. John Callahan, American actor of All My Children, Falcon Crest, and Days of Our Lives. Matthew Faber, American actor, Welcome to the Dollhouse, The Paul Bearer, and Natural Born Killers. Jan Howard, American country singer and songwriter, uh, known for the one, the one You Slip Around With, For Loving You, and Evil on Your Mind. David Schramm, American actor from Wings, Johnny Handsome, and Kennedy. William Wolf, American author and theater critic. Beryl Bernay, American television host and journalist. Joe Diffie, American country singer songwriter, known for Third Rock from the Sun, Home, and Pickup Man. Maria Mercator, American news producer from CBS 60 Minutes and CBS Sunday Morning. Alan Merrill, American musician from The Arrows and songwriter of I Love Rock and Roll. Joe Quinlan, American writer and journalist. Don Campbell, American dancer and choreographer. Tommy DePaola, American writer and illustrator for Striga Nona, 26 Fairmont Avenue, and television personality. Hilary Dreyer, English act actress from Witchfinder General, Cry of the Banshee, and Wuthering Heights. Vincent Marzello, American actor from The Witches, Never Say Never Again, and Bob the Builder. Wallace Roney, American jazz trumpeter. Bill Withers, American Hall of Fame singer and songwriter, known for Lean on Me, Ain't No Sunshine, and Lovely Day. That one got a lot of attention. I was surprised that it did, but a lot of people commented on it. It was so great. Julie Bennett, American actress from What's Up, Tiger Lily, um, and was also the voice, uh, one of the voices from the Yogi Bear show. Cindy Bear. So Cindy Bear. She yeah. was the sole survivor from the Yogi Bear show. Christina, American singer for Disco Clone. Is that is that all there is? Okay, bear with us, guys. We're only three months in. For those of you who don't know what's going on, uh, just tell them what we do real quickly. I was trying to catch my breath. <laughs> oh, okay, no, let me talk. We're doing the names of people that contributed to pop culture throughout the years. All media, uh, movies, TV, books, music, people that passed away in 2020. 
<laughs> All right. Um, now we're into April of 2020. Just so you guys know, there might be some that are out of order at the end, but for the most part, we're kind of going chronologically. And we have categories for, for other, like, guests. And... Right. David Driscoll, American visual artist and academic. Irving Greenfield, American author. Gerard Manoni, French sculptor. Ellis Marsalis Jr., American jazz pianist. Roger Marshall, English screenwriter. Ron Matlock, American singer and songwriter. Bucky Pizzarelli, American jazz guitarist. Dieter Reith, German pianist and organist. Yvonne Shalowski, Swedish actress. Adam Schlesinger, American musician from Fountains of Wayne and Ivy and songwriter of That Thing You Do. John Tideman, English radio producer and theater director. Mike Appleton, British television producer from The Old Grey Whistle Test. Patricia Bosworth, American actress and author from The Nun Story. Juan Jimenez, Argentine comic book artist from Heavy Metal. Ron Graham, English-Australian actor from Home and Away and Waterloo Station. Eddie Large, British comedian. Claudio Spies, Chilean-born American composer. Marguerite Lescoupe, Canadian writer. Hans Meyer, South African actor. Marcel Ransom Hervé, French actress from Now Where Did the Seventh Company Get To? Tim Robinson, English writer and cartographer. Joel Shatsky, American writer and literary professor. Barry Allen, Canadian rock musician and record producer. Jay Benedict, American actor from Foils, War, Double Team, and The Dark Knight Rises. Violet Brand, English author. Timothy Brown, American singer and actor from MASH. Boris Compton, American actor from The Edge of Night, Gomer Pyle, USMC, and the FBI. Patrick Frankfurt, French drummer and singer from The Gibson Brothers. Alex Harvey, American singer, songwriter, and actress from Gettysburg, an actor, sorry, from Gettysburg, Fire Down Below, and The Rainmaker. Vincent Leonetti, from America, an American violinist and conductor. Olin Montgomery, American actor from Stranger Things and pop artist. Susanna Rammel, Swedish actress. Victor Scrib Scribineski, American photographer. English actress Honor Blackman from The Avengers, Goldfinger, and Jason and the Argonauts. Shirley Douglas, Canadian actress from Wind at My Bath. Lolita, Barney's Great Adventure, and also a civil rights activist. American actress Lee Ferrero, Fierro from Jaws. Daniel Green, American artist. George Ogilvy, Australian theater and film director um, from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Pat Capone, Canadian writer and mental health advocate. James Drury, American actor from the Virginian, Forbidden Planet, and The Young Warriors. Armando Francioli, Italian actor from The Pharaoh's Woman, The Opium Den, and Hawk of the Caribbean. Vic Henley, American comedian. Jean Little, Canadian writer, Mind for Keeps, from Anna and Orphan at My Door. Mary McPartland, Irish singer, musician, and producer. Yvonne Sherwell, American actress and dancer. Betty Bennett, American jazz and big band singer. Jean Laurent Cochet, French stage director and actor. Faith Dane, American actress from Gypsy. Hutch Davey, American pianist, arranger and composer. Eddie Davis, American musician and band leader. Claire DeLuca, French actress and theater director. Yeah, we need to take a break because we go to stage in years or something. Steve Farmer, American musician. 
from the Amboy Dukes and songwriter, A Journey to the Center of the Mind. Alan Garfield, American actor from The Conversation, Nashville and Beverly Hills Cop 2. John Prine, American singer-songwriter, uh, known for Sandstone and Angel from Montgomery. Herb Stemple, American game show contestant from 21 and whistleblower in the 1950s quiz show scandals. Gislin Tremblay, Canadian actor from the Plough family and the Revenge of the Woman in Black. Hal Wilner, American music producer from Saturday Night Live. Tom Blackwell, American artist. Carl Dobkins Jr., American singer from My Heart is an Open Book. Peter Eklund, American jazz cornist. Madeline Fisher, Swiss-born Italian actress from The Day the Sky Exploded. Rick May, Canadian-American voice actor from Team Fortress and Star Fox. Frank, w Frank J. Brown, American visual artist. Malcolm Dixon, English actor from Time Bandits, Return of the Jedi, and Flash Gordon. Saibov says, Honor Blackman also appeared in an episode of Doctor Who in 1986. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Andy Gonzalez, American jazz and Latin dance bassist. Ernst George Schill, German <clears throat> actor from Alarm in the Circus and The Shield and the Sword. Jean-Pierre St. Louis, Canadian film director and videographer for Requiem for a Handsome Bastard and Whoever Dies, Dies in Pain. American television writer and producer Saul Turtletaub from That Girl, Sanford and Son, and What's Happening. Bruce Biley, American filmmaker, Castro Street. Big George Brock, American blues harmonicist and singer. Sybil Jeffries, American house and R&B singer. It's going to be all right. Tejo Khan, American professional wrestler. Jaime Merritt, American jazz bassist from the Jazz Messengers. Francis Rousseau, Swiss film director for The Big Night. Diane Rodriguez, American actress from Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and La Bamba. Wrestlers are somebody else who gets ignored everywhere else but not here. Carlo <clears throat> Sabatini, Italian, <clears throat> Italian <clears throat> actor from Strangled Lives <clears throat> and voice actor. Paul Haddad, English-born Canadian actor from Babar, John Callahan's Quads, Quads and Resident Evil 2. Wynn Handman, American Artistic Director from the American Theater, American Place Theater. Margot Hartman, American actress from The Curse of the Living Corpse, Violent Midnight, and Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. Um, Maurice Barrier, French actor and comedian from The Tall Blonde Man with One Black Shoe and Lake Compreres. Tim Brooke Taylor, English comedian for The Goodies and panelist from I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue. Danny Goldman, American actor who uh, was in Young Frankenstein, MASH, and voiced some of the Smurfs. Yeah, great scene in Young Frankenstein. Joe Pettacino, American professional wrestling ring announcer from the WCW. American film director, producer, and screenwriter Joel M. Reed from the GI Executioner, Blood Sucking Freaks, and Night of the Zombies. And either love him or not, uh, Blood Sucking Freaks, I thought, was a humorous film. <laughs> That's my macabre sense of humor. I know we had somebody with Cult Radio that debated me on that. It's not around anymore, but you know, he, he deserves respect because he, he definitely brought something forth that was eyebrow-raising which we need in the uh, cult genre. Milton Schaefer, American composer. Pierre Ebert, Canadian actor from Life After Love. Karen Harper, American author. I want to mention too, before I forget, Joel M. Reed did die of COVID. He did. And he was in a convalescence home, a nursing home of some type. And he was afraid he was going to catch it. And he was pleading for people. I don't know why he couldn't get out. Laws of California is, is they can't hold you at an institution against your will, except for a 24-7 hold if the police think you're going to commit suicide or whatever. 
But he was begging for people to get him out of there because he was afraid he's going to catch COVID. And he did. And he died there because of it. Ann Sullivan, American animator for The Lion King, The Little Mermaid, and Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Mario Donatone, Italian actor from Phenomena, The Godfather Part 3, John Wick, Chapter 2. Kenny Young, American songwriter known for Under the Boardwalk. Sean Arnold, English actor from Grange Hill. Eddie Cooley, American songwriter for Fever and singer of Priscilla. Alan Davio, American cinematographer, known for E.T. the Extraterrestrial, The Color Purple, Empire of the Sun. Brian Dennehy, American actor known for First Blood, Tommy Boy, and Cocoon. Lee Gates, American blues guitarist, singer, and songwriter. Henry Grimes, American jazz musician. Lee Konitz, American jazz composer and alto saxophonist. Gary McSpaden, American gospel singer for the from the Imperials and Gather Vocal Band. Bruce Myers, British actor from The Invariable Lightness of Being and Let There Be Light. John Fall, American photographer. Joseph Adler, American theater and film director known for Scream Baby Scream. Rosemary DeAngelis, American actress, known for Law and Order, uh, Frequency, and The Juror. Andrew J. Fennedy, American screenwriter, producer, and actor. Howard Finkel, American Hall of Fame professional wrestling ring announcer from the WWE. One of my favorites. He was, he was right up there with, with for me with Gino Orlando. Jack Wallace, American actor from Death Wish, Evil Heart, and Boogie Nights. Barney Ailes, American record label executive from Motown. Deirdre Bear, American writer and biographer. Sergio Fantoni, Italian actor from Von Ryan's Express, Esther and the King, and The Man Address. Giuseppe Logan, American jazz musician. Arlene Saunders, American operatic soprano. Matthew Seligman, English New Wave bassist from the Soft Boys and Thompson Twins. Robin Seymour, American disc jockey from CKLW WKNR and television host from Swingin' Time and Teen Town. Gene Shea, American disc jockey from WXPN. William Foley, American painter. Jack Lotz, American professional wrestler and a wrestling referee from the WWF and stuntman from The Siege and Raging Bull. Jacques Rosny, French actor from The Tenet. Robert Kimmel Smith, American author. Peter Beard, American photographer. Claude Lafortune, Canadian television presenter, sculpture, and costume designer. Robert Loomis, American book editor. Philippe Nahon, French actor from High Tension and I Stand Alone. Delphine Serena, French actress from The Liars, On Guard, and Tangai. Ian Whitcomb, English singer, songwriter, You Turn Me On, known for the song You Turn Me On, and also an author. H.G. Carrillo, American writer and academic. Claude Everd, French actor from Circus Angel and If the Sun Never Returns. Tom Lester, American actor from Benji, Gordy, and Green Acres. One of my absolute favorites. We tried so hard to get him on the show. He, he was so, so great. Uh, I believe there's two messages to it. I think it's Roe a little bit. Too. Yeah, uh, I saw him. Uh, uh, I just want to make sure you saw him. Yeah, do when he can. Uh, Ghosty was saying that he was crushed when Honor Blackman died, that he yeah. loved her. Um, no. There was another the, the, message. The James Bond thing alone. There was another message that was mentioning something else, but I, I don't want to say that one yet because we haven't gotten All to right. that person Just on the list. Try to remember it. Once again, we appreciate it very much. Um, Gabriel Reitz, Mexican film director for Paper Flowers, Broken Flag, and A Sweet Scent of Death. Jerry Bishop, American announcer from Judge Judy. Dmitry Diachenko, American actor from The Chernobyl Diaries. Spider-Man, Shattered Dimensions, and The Genius Club. Tina Gerode, American artist. 
Derek Jones, American Rock Guitarist, Falling in Reverse. Norm Nielsen, American Magician. Jacques Pellin, French Jazz Guitarist. Joel Rogosin, American Television Producer for the Virginian, Ironside, and Magnum PI. Florian Schneider, German Electronic Musician from Kraftwerk. Anne Williams, British Writer. Bootsy Barnes, American Jazz Saxophonist. American Pornographic Film Actress, Samantha Fox. English Playwright, Terrence Frisbee from There's a Girl in My Soup. Louise Hash, Canadian writer from the Arc uh, known for Arcadian literature. Shirley Knight, American actress from The Dark at the Top of the Stairs, Sweet Bird of Youth, and As Good as It Gets. Zoe Del Nutter, American dancer, model, and philanthropist. Bruce Allpress, New Zealand actor, came uh, from Came a Hot Friday, The Lord of the Rings. The Two Towers, The Water Horse, Legend of the Deep. Akira Kume, Japanese actor from The Insect Woman. Torosan, Sunrise and Sunset and The Resurrection of the Golden Wolf. Hamilton Bohannon, American percussionist, songwriter and record producer. Phil Broadhurst, New Zealand jazz musician, composer and radio presenter. David Daniels, American conductor and author. Grandma Lee, American stand-up comedian. Richard Haik, American radio journalist from w WNYC. Joseph S. Pulver Sr., American writer. Alan Abel, American percussionist and music ed educator. India Adams, American singer and actress. Robert Mandel, American conductor. Robert Meese, American poet. Rosemary Wright, English pianist. Big Al Carson, American blues singer. Aaron Hernan, a Mexican actor. Peter H. Hunt, American theater, film, and television director from Give Em Hell, Harry. Ray Rep, American singer and songwriter. Claudio Ricci, Italian film director. Paul J. Smith, American artist and curator and director of the Museum of Arts and Design. Bernard Gersten, American theatrical producer. Young Jesse, American R&B singer from The Flares and The Coasters. Troy Sneed, American gospel singer. Jill Gascoigne, British actress from The Gentle Touch, Cats, Eyes, and the one, the one in line. Bob Lewis, Bobby Lewis, American singer for Tossin and Turnin. John Lafia, American screen, screenwriter from Child's Play. Martin Lovett, English cellist from the Amadeus Quartet. Wally K. Daly, English writer. Michael Keenan, American actor from Picket Fences. Sam Lloyd, American actor from Scrubs, Galaxy Quest, and a musician from the group The Blanks. May, uh, we're getting into the May 2020 now. And we want to mention, too, uh, if you listen to the, the radio network, the audio stream for the radio, uh, we have a, a music bed behind us that loops. It's like two or three, maybe four songs. It keeps repeating behind us. It kind of like adds to it that Facebook we can't do the song. So. Facebook with no music and the radio stream with music behind us. Although it's just a loop. Beth Ashley, American author and columnist. Els Blanger, German born American music editor from the Goonies, known for the Goonies, Star Trek, For the Voyage Home, and The Color Purple. Anne Heaton, British ballet dancer. Will Theunison, Dutch jazz rock guitarist. Sue Bruce Smith, British film producer. Richie Cole, American jazz saxophonist and composer. Luis Del Sarte, American artist. Katie Groves, American singer songwriter. Samuel Roger Horcho, American theater producer, known for Crazy For You. Gil Schwartz, American humor com 
columnist from Fortune Esquire, also was an author and television executive for CBS. Gilbert Sigrist, French p uh, pianist. Jan Orloff Strandberg, Swedish actress, known for Wild Birds and Last Pair Out. Rosalind Elias, American operatic mezzo-soprano. John Erickson, German-born American actor, known for Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, The Seven Faces of Dr. Lau, and Honey West. Great, great stuff. Dave Greenfield, English keyboardist from The Stranglers. Frederick C. Tillis, American jazz saxophonist and composer. Aldir Blank, Brazilian songwriter. Norma Doggett, American actress from Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Jean Erdman, American dancer and choreographer. Michael McClure, American poet and writer. Lauren Monroe, Canadian-born American cellist. Sweet P. Atkinson, American singer. Sonny Cox, American saxophonist and basketball coach. Michael Friedman, American author and poet. Alfred Uganda Roberts, American percussionist, uh, known for Professor Longhair and for Dr. John. Mimo Seppe, Italian comedian. Crystal Trump Bond, American dancer, choreographer, and author. Barry Farber, American Hall of Fame radio talk show host, linguist, and author. Brian Howe, English rock singer from Bad Company. Leslie Pope, American set director from Seabiscuit, Django Unchained, and The Avengers Endgame. Martin Spellman, American child actor. Daniel Couchy, French film actor and producer. Andre Harrell, American record producer and founder of Uptown Records. Natalia Harris, American model. Richard Sala, American cartoonist. Carolyn Welsh, American figure skater. Mark Barkin, American songwriter, for known for Pretty Flamingo, She's a Fool, and the Tra La La song from Banana Splits. Really? Wow. Roy Horn, German-American magician from Siegfried and Roy. That was one we knew was coming, but it still is, is sad. I mean, they, he really made a breakthrough in magic. American broadcaster David Nakdeman. Arthur Dignam, Australian actor from The Devil's Playground, Summer of Secrets and Strange Behavior. Carlos Jose, Brazilian singer-songwriter. American Hall of Fame rock and roll singer Little Richard, known for Tutti Frutti, Long Tall Sally, Lucille, pianist and songwriter. As I'm getting emotional, he would just say, shut up. <laughs> he was so legendary. First Chuck Berry and then him. I mean, all the old masters are gone as far as music. Winona Littleheart, American professional wrestler and ballet. Gino Silva, American actor from Scarface, Amistad, and Key West. Ron Ziskin, American film and television producer from American Gladiators and Stealing Sinatra. Aldo Vazzi, Italian jazz trumpeter. David Correa, Brazilian singer-songwriter. Martin Pascal, Canadian-born American comic book writer, known for Superman, and screenwriter known for Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Betty Wright, American soul and R&B singer for, known for Clean Up Woman. I love that song. Alberto Carpani, Italian singer. Moon Martin, American singer-songwriter uh, known for Bad Case of Loving You. Jean Nichol, Canadian singer. Zay N. Smith, American journalist from the Chicago Sun-Times. American actor Jerry Stiller known for Seinfeld, The King of Queens, and the comedian team Stiller and Mira. Married forever. I mean, they started out and he had Sullivan show and stayed married until, well, she passed first and then he passed second. Yeah. George Akiyama, Japanese manga artist. Frank Bull, American cartoonist. Renee Claude, Canadian actress known for It's Your Turn, 
He Shoots, He Scores. Carolyn Reedy, American publisher and CEO of Simon & Schuster. Anthony Bailey, English writer and art historian. Rolf Hutchhuff, German author and playwright uh, known for The Deputy. Derek Lawson, English record producer uh, known for Deep Purple. Mexican singer Yoshio. Joey Giambra, American jazz musician, playwright and actor. Angelo Le Ferris, Italian operatic tenure. Ronald Ludington, American figure skater, Olympic bronze medalist from 1960. Jorge Santana, Mexican guitarist. Herbert Blendinger, Austrian composer and violist. Easy Obazo, Italian composer, pian uh, pianist and conductor. Danny DiMarchi, Canadian multi-instrumentalist. You're doing quite well, these names. Some of these names are hard to... Known for Alias, um, the Killer Bee, Killer Bee and the Cranberries. Phil May, English singer from The Pretty Things. American actor Fred Willard, uh, known for Best in Show, Fernwood Tonight, and Modern Family. And of course, he was a comedian as well. He was great. Monique Mercure, Canadian actress from Naked Lunch, The Red Violin, J.A. Martin Photographer. Pilar Pellicure, a Mexican actress from The Life of Augustine, Laura, Day of the Evil Gun, and La Choca. Lynn Shelton, American film and television director from Hump Day, Your Sister's Sister, and Fresh Off the Boat. Don Trenner, American jazz pianist. John Whiteley, Scottish child actor from The Kidnappers, The Spanish Gardener, and Historian. Colin Franklin, English writer and bibliographer. Shad Gaspard, American professional wrestler from the WWE and actor from Get Hard and from Dust Till Dawn, the series. Hans Joachim Gelberg, German writer and publisher. Lucky Peterson, American blues singer, keyboardist and guitarist. Sean Kyla, English rock musician from Ducks Deluxe and singer-songwriter. Ronald T. Farrar, American journalist and academic. Ray Johnson, Canadian painter. American actor Ken Osmond from Leave It to Beaver and the new Leave It to Beaver. Eddie Haskell. Michelle Rosignol, Canadian actress from Once Upon a Time in the East and Beyond 40. Susan Rothenberg, American painter. Willie Kay, American singer and ukulele player. Richard Honest Kawik, Honest Gaywix, American artist. Neil Howlett, English operatic baritone. Andre Cartier, Canadian actor from Bound for Glory. Heather Chasen, British actress from Cat Run and Les Miserables. Denise Cronenberg, Canadian costume designer from The Fly, A History of Violence and Crash. Rob Foreman Dew, American writer. Jimmy Cobb, American jazz drummer from the Miles Davis Quintet. John Lonegard, American photographer. Al Rex, American bassist from Bill Haley and his Comets. William J. Small, American journalist, president of NBC News from 79 to 82. Bucky Baxter, American guitarist for Bob Dylan, Steve Earle, and Ryan Adams. Richard Hurd, American actor from T.J. Hooker, All the President's Men, The China Syndrome, and Star Trek Voyager. Anthony James, American actor from In the Heat of the Night, High Plains Drifter, and Gunsmoke. Tony Shannell, Scannell, Irish actor from Flash Gordon and The Bill. Jonathan Whitehead, English musician and composer. Peggy Pope, American actress from Nine to Five, Calucci's Department and The Last Starfighter. Nicholas Rinaldi, American poet and author. Guy Vitos, French actor from Sweet and Sour, Pardon Mon Affair. Brendan Boyer, Irish singer known for The Hucklebuck. 
Claude Heater, American opera singer. Bob Kulik, American guitarist for Wasp and Lou Reed and record producer for Kiss. Lenny Newhouse, American saxophonist and film composer from Unforgiven, The Bridges of Madison County and Space Cowboys. Jeannie Lamb, Scottish jazz singer. Alfred Coleridge, Austrian writer, poet, and philosopher. Eric Shrews, Dutch cartoonist. Joe Yaninas, American cartoonist, illustrator, and graphic editor. Michael Anglis, British actor from Boys in the Back Stuff, The Livery Yards, Thomas and Friends. Don Weller, English jazz saxophonist. Danny Havoc, American professional wrestler. Dan Van Hoosen, from, uh, German actor from Fellini's Casanova, Salon Kitty, and Nosferatu the Vampire. You're listening to the Final Farewell Show, uh, bringing you the names of people that have died in 2020. It had something to do with pop culture. I'm Cult Radio Go Go Craig across all the networks and on Facebook Live. Brad Swindle says, I loved Michael McClure's book with, well, okay. Let's just do this. I love Michael McClure's book with Free Wheel and Frank, Secretary of the Angels, a story of being with the clubs in the early days, incredible poetry and imagery. And the, I love. Can you really read that from over there? I love Sean Tyler, the Tyler game. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate all your comments. Like I said, can I can't. I can read over here. I can't use your the, mic. The text. You can't use my mic. Your mic doesn't like me. I sound like I'm on top and of you it. You know, your mic with my mic, and we switched mics because this one works better for me. And that one works better for you. <laughs> yeah. But the messages on on the portal thing on the screen, even though the screen's big, it's very small. Yeah. I can see it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a couple of songs. All right, yeah, we'll take a break. Take a little break. Stick with us. It's very we're, unusual. Radio is not something everybody does. We're, we're about half, We're about halfway through. Yeah, halfway through paying tribute to people uh, that had something to do with entertainment in uh, the terrible year of 2020. It's just it's just been a nightmare. But well, you said you didn't think that there was as many celebrities this year as there was during that one search. I don't know. Um, there is. There is, but it's, there was less cult radio guests yeah. and there was less, I think, big A-listers like Kirk Douglas. I mean, the pandemic's not over and it's really hard for celebrities because they're almost pushed or compelled or, or managers are on them to get out there and then because TV is back in production and there's been a lot of them that follow the guidelines and they wound up with COVID because <laughs> you can't, you know, it's, it's so hard to stop the spread. And because of feeling compelled to have to go back to work and everything, a lot of them are wound up getting it to where they wouldn't have if they wouldn't have gone back yet. But it's got to be hard for celebrities because they got to feel they got to get out there and do the thing. Ghosty talked about last week about celebrities that are doing things on the internet to try to make money, but they need to make money too. And it's really hard for them to know that it's dangerous for them to have to go back to production. And a lot of productions have started again. Yeah. All right. We're going to go to a couple of songs, um, take a little break, and then we'll come back and finish up. We're, like I said, about halfway through the list of our final farewells for 2020. So Stick with us. If you like anything we do here and you like the people we cover and this and that, and there's a lot of people that we mentioned. It wouldn't be a part call radio, but more so would be. Uh, this is a great respect for them. It's kind of like a gathering of everybody in like a memorial. You know, when a lot of times they gather together, they, they do speeches and remembrances and stuff. Maybe a little less, not like a funeral, but more like a memorial service. It's weird because that screen is white, but the way it appears on portal looks almost like blue and white, like clouds. It's because of the um, the the way that it hits the TV. You know how when you shoot a computer screen, mm -hmm. you see those lines. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like that. Kind of neat though. I'm gonna go get more drink. I'm gonna have to have a voice by the end of the show. Yeah, it's hard. It's a lot of talking. But you know, this is our thing. We've done this for a long time.
You're watching in studio cam feed for the Craig Live Show on Facebook. And you don't hear the music, but you see the in-studio camera for the studio here. Well, I hear the music, as always, we tell you to tune into the radio stream. Available everywhere. Personal PA devices like Amazon Alexa and uh, TuneIn and uh, MyTuner Radio and Radio.net and various places. And also on our website, CraigRadio.com or CultRadioGoGo.com. This show will be available as a podcast, as it always is, to where it will be available on demand after uh, Saturday. I hate it when Tiffany leaves because then I get a close up of the camera. Bottles people is a face tracking camera. Uh, it's a Facebook portal device. And it zooms in on me when she leaves, and that's not good for anybody. I have a face for radio. I'm actually getting a Facebook portal for the living room now that sets on top of the TV. That's why I mentioned on the uh, feed there that we're, you know, used to be wrist radios with Dick Tracy. Now we're talking to people on the TV because you can make, you know, calls to people, video calls. And it does Zoom and Skype and also uh, Facebook calls. And the cool thing about it is it puts a browser on your TV. The only other streaming device that puts a browser on a TV is, is the Amazon, not the Amazon. Uh, well, yeah, it's the Amazon uh, Fire TV. But, but the, the portal device, the Facebook device for your TV that's now on sale for $129, it was $150, uh, sets in your TV. You can do video calls. You do what we're doing here. It can get Amazon Music. Uh, it can get YouTube. It has a browser. You can just surf the web and, and do internet websites. It also uh, can see your, your ring doorbell if you have one. We will be able to see the cat room and people at the front door and everything all on the TV set. We have the actual kind of iPad-like device in the studio, but upstairs we're getting one for the TV. Even the portal that we have in the studio is, is on sale. It's like, God, it's like $100 less than we pay. But they're fun. Showed our, uh, you can't see it on camera, but we got Garlou, uh, an old Mark's toy that brought out in the 60s that I grew up with. Used to have it as a kid, got back again. Tiffany found me one in mint condition, but we didn't have the medallion. She found me the medallion that were hanging around his neck. Now he's complete, except for the little paper plate that you cut off the box that came in. We didn't have the, the box for Garlou, but we got a mint condition Garlou, and she found the medallion now. Well, it's a big difference. We have a studio door open. It's cold in here. It's like 40 degrees outside. Still waiting for snow, though. No snow yet. All my ailments are, are taking toll on me because I'm having a lot of pain sitting here, but I got to get through this. People on Facebook doesn't understand that don't know what we're doing. They're like, why is this sitting there? They're playing music on the radio. Facebook won't let us play stupid music. Why don't you tell everybody what you got for Christmas? Like, what did I get you? I don't want to talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're talking. I got our commercial quality deep fryer because mm -hmm. I love grease, okay? Like onion rings and everything. And I got you an Instapot, 
I got you know, Chevron shoes, ice Chevron cream socks. Maker. Got ice cream maker, old fashioned ice cream maker. Cream maker. Got the David Lynch pen. Snow cone maker. But well, Prince figures. The uh, three Prince Funko Pops. I didn't know they had any. Prince Purple Rain, uh, Around the World in a Day, and Third Eye Girl. And I mentioned they're, they're actual size. Prince was short. Right. <laughs> like, like that. <coughs> <coughs> and of course, your beat is to my own. My voice is going too. You can hear it. <coughs> I'm not even talking. Got a great tribute to Joe Kane coming up at the end. Did you message John? Let him know you might want to tell him like just about what we're getting ready to say. John lives in Ireland, so his time shift is, is incredible. John Huff, who's a writer who wrote uh, a lot of great TV shows back in the day, including episodes for Kolchak the Night Stalker, Chips with Eric Estrada, other shows like that. <laughs> He may have done a Wonder Woman too. We did a lot of classic TV. He worked a lot with Universal. He's fighting cancer. We're wishing the best for him. But he wrote a nice article on Joe Kane. John actually made a movie and his star with Ray Wise. You can see things in a camera like me playing with my oxygen hose. It's annoying. It's I itches. saw, I'll try to get this in in 20 seconds. I saw a post by Chuck Negron of Three Dog Night right. on Facebook, and he's on oxygen. He's he on has, oxygen, too? He has COPD, and he's on oxygen. And he put a post up there because he put a photo and a video of wishing a Christmas greetings. And somebody went, went up there and was like, Chuck, what's up with the with the hose? And he, in a nice way, set them straight. And he's like... You know, I have COPD. We don't like it when people He's like, I have COPD. It. I have a hose. He's like, but I'm trying to normalize people wearing an oxygen hose. Everybody thinks that if you're wearing an oxygen hose, you're next to death. Yeah. And he's like, that's not right. He goes, I've been living with this for years. And he goes, this actually keeps me alive. So yeah. it's nothing wrong with wearing a hose. Well, it was like when the Glow Girls came here. They were they were nice. They didn't say anything. But I was like, well, I'm not going to die while right. you're here. here so, we you have know. Time. He was around for all these years. We didn't know who he was, and Neural introduced him to us. I love him. I love Leonard Cohen, though. Leonard Cohen. What a great... And then when he passed away, we always play his, his Time to Say Goodbye in the background here. And, and when he died that year, that was rough. We were playing a song he went to. So. All right. We're going to uh, continue with this list. Are you refreshed? I got more to drink, but I was telling Terry on the on the during the break, I was like, Yeah, you guys can listen from the beginning of the show to the end of the show and yeah. hear my voice slowly go away. I start sounding more and more like a man. I can drink I all I want. I start sounding more and more like Susan Tyrell. Oh. <laughs> I can drink all I want because you know, I don't the, the and once again with the gold girls, they complain too about how far away the bathroom is from the studio. I have to worry about that because it's too hard for me to get up and down the stairs. It's a real thing to get me down here. I mean, I walk on my own, but it's it's rough. And I don't want to go to the bathroom. I don't have to worry about it because part of my ailment of the, you know, infection I've got down there is I haven't peed for like three days. I don't even know where it's going. <laughs> so, uh, you know. All right. Uh, but it's kind of nice not having to go pee all the time. Like, I don't know how long that's going to last. Watch out when it breaks loose. I know. When it breaks loose, get a rat. <laughs> All right, uh, we will end up going overtime tonight. Uh, I'm glad that everybody's season. with us. Ghosty and Tim Richberg was with us, and mm -hmm. Cy Bob. Cy Bob, Rod. Um, our show's supposed to be over at 9:30, but we're only about halfway through our final farewells list. So. Well, I'm not inter interrupting you so much. So I'm, I know we're trying to get. I like to say a lot, and you got to keep to it. Right. Well, or you can interrupt me so I can take a break. I do that too. <laughs> it's fine too. Um, Some right. of those are, are hard, like, you know, anybody from Dark Shadows and, you know, all that. All right, so uh, we're going to we continue on. We have a big one on, coming up from Dark Shadows, yeah. Continue on with our final farewells list for 2020. At this time, Craig would like to, Colt Radio would like to give tribute to those from the world of pop culture that we've lost during the year of 2020. 
Jean Michelle Cadio, French writer and journalist. Silver Donald Cameron, Canadian journalist and author. Garth Dolly, Canadian journalist. Joey Image, American drummer from the Misfits. Marion Zarzexna, American pianist. Werner Baum, German singer and musician. Inga Edwards, Swedish actress. Roberto Garasso, Italian writer and journalist. Mary Pat Gleason, American actress from Guiding Light, A Cinderella Story, and Mom. Gaynell Hodge, American doo-wop singer, pianist, and songwriter of Earth Angel. Hector Suarez, Mexican actor from National Mechanics and Comedian. Chris Trousdale, American actor and singer from Dream Street. Bruce J. Friedman, American author and screenwriter of films like Splash, Dr. Detroit, and Stir Crazy. Hector Ortega, Mexican actor. Midge Ware, American actress from Gunslinger the Phil, and The Phil Silver Show. Marcello Abado, Italian pianist and composer. Dulce Nunes, Brazilian artist, composer, singer, and music producer. Steve Priest, British bassist and singer from The Suite. Andre Champagne, Canadian actress. Kristen Linklater, Scottish actress, acting and vocal coach. Marie Overly, American choreographer, dancer, and writer. Dan Danglo, American cartoonist of Felix the Cat. Alan Evans, American record producer and musicologist. Corey Fisher, American actor from MASH, Brewster McLeod, McCabe and Mrs. Miller. Malcolm Terrace, English actor from When the Boat Comes In, Coronation Street and the Plague Dogs. Frank Bay, American blues singer. Hubert Gagnon, Canadian actor from Nick and Pick and voice dubber of Homer Simpson. Floyd Lee, American blues musician from Music Under New York. Alan Metter, American film director of Back to School and Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Maggie Fitzgibbon, Australian actress from Sunstruck. James Han, American country music singer songwriter. Fabrizio Mioni, Italian actor from Roland the Mighty and Hercules. Uta Pilling, German musician, songwriter, and painter. Bonnie Pointer, American singer from the Pointer Sisters. Paul Chapman, Welsh rock guitarist from UFO and Lone Star. Paul Domes, Spanish singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Michael Drosnan, American author and journalist. Gigi Marja, Romanian American singer. Jas Waters, American television writer of This Is Us and Kidding. Jesse Blackadder, Australian novelist, screenwriter, and journalist. Rosita Fornes, Cuban American actress from musical The Romance and The Unknown Mariachi. William Hale, American film and television director from Gunfight in Abilene, Red Alert, and Murder in Texas. Mr. Wrestling II, American professional wrestler from the GCW and Mid South. Dennis O'Neill, American comic book writer of Batman, Iron Man, and editor of Marvel Comics. Stella Pevsner, American author. Rosa Marie Sarda, Spanish actress. Ellie Stone, American singer and actress. Mel Winkler, American voice actor of Crash Bandicoot and actor from films like Devil in a Blue Dress. Ricky Valance, Welsh singer known for Tell Laura I Love Her. Luther Price, American experimental filmmaker and visual artist. Lucy Scarborough, American classical pianist and teacher. Keith Tippett, British jazz pianist of King Crimson and Centipede. Wolfram Lorenzen, German pianist. Yuji Adachi, Japanese guitarist and songwriter. John Benfield, British actor, for, known for Prime Suspect, Speed Racer, and Cassandra's Dream. Knut Bowen, Norwegian film director. American artist Joan Hill. 
American novelist Charles Webb, known for The Graduate, Louis John Carlino, American screenwriter from I Never Promised You a Rose Garden and director of The Great Centini, Victor Feldbrill, Canadian conductor and violinist, Dan Foster, American radio broadcaster, Hugh Fraser, Canadian jazz musician, Klaus Biederstadt, German actor from The Great Temptation and Don't Worry About Your Mother-in-Law, Galina Dashivikaya, Russian actress from July Rain and An Incident That No One Noticed, Nicholas Joel, French opera director and GM of the Paris Opera, Ellington Jordan, American songwriter of I'd Rather Go Blind, Dame Vera Lynn, British singer known for songs like We'll, ne we'll Meet Again and The White Cliffs of Dover. Great opera, Gaunt's high voice, maybe not opera, but great, great singer. Svetlana Efremova, Russian ballerina and teacher. Sir Ian Holm, <clears throat> English actor from Alien, Chariots, Chariots of Fire and The Lord of the Rings. Harry Smith, British journalist. Philip Latham, British actor from The Troubleshooters, Dracula, Prince of Darkness, and Ring of Spies. Etienne Pierre, Belgian film director from Bridge to the Sun and When Eight Bells Toll. Joan Paul Verdia, French singer. Steve Bing, American entertainment executive from Shangri-La Entertainment and screenwriter and film producer of Kangaroo Jack and Rules Don't Apply. American film director Joel Schumacher from The Lost Boys, Falling Down, Batman Forever, and the list goes on. Ryan Anthony, American trumpeter from Canadian Brass and the Dallas Symphony Orchestra. Harry Bosch, American actor from Falcon Crest. Nikolai Fedichev, Russian ballet dancer and teacher. Michael Falzon, Australian. Australian musical actor and producer, Ralph Dunnigan, American cartoonist of Grin and Barrett and the Middletons, Jane Parker Smith, British classical organist, Susanna Amaral, Brazilian film director and screenwriter, Marga Richter, American composer, Joe Sinat, American Hall of Fame comic book artist known for Thor, the Fantastic Four and the Avengers, Kelly Asbury, American animator and film director, known for Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, Shrek 2, and Nomeo and Juliet. Stuart Kornfeld, American film producer of Zoolander, Dodgeball, and Tropic Thunder. Arnie Ginsberg, American disc jockey from WMEX. Milton Glaser, American graphic designer and creator of the I Heart New York slogan and co-founder of New York Magazine. Tammy Lynn, American soul singer. Taryn Power, American actress from The Count of Monte Cristo, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger and Eating. Pete Carr, American guitarist from Lee Blank and Carr and Muscle Shoals Rhythm Section. Freddie Cole, American jazz singer and pianist. Julian Curry, English actor from Rum Hole of the Bailey Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow and Escape to Victory. Tom Finn, American musician from The Left Bank. Luciano Rodinella, Italian singer and actor. Rodolfo Anaya, American author. Kim Bridgeford, American poet and professor. Simon H. Fell, English bassist and composer. Jim Holloway, American artist from Dungeons and Dragons. Dame Ingrid Roscow, English writer for Lord Lieutenant and Lord Lieutenant of West Workshire, Yorkshire. Johnny Mandel, American composer, uh, known for Suicide is Painless and The Shadow of Your Smile. Benny Mardones, American singer-songwriter, known for Into the Night. Ken Shady, Australian screenwriter, known for Crocodile Dundee. American soul singer Willie Wright. American Hall of Fame professional wrestler Tim Brooks. American actor Dan Hicks from Evil Dead 2 and Dark Man. Henry Martin, American cartoonist. 
American actor, film director, and writer Carl Reiner, known for the Dick Van Dyke Show, Ocean's Eleven, and The Jerk. And Good Morning America. Or not Good Morning America. What's the show? Good Morning World. Good Morning World, yes. Max Crook, American keyboardist and songwriter of Runaway. Hugh Downs, American broadcaster and television host of 2020, Today, and Concentration. Matthias Call, German percussionist and composer. Lynn Maoyu, Chinese actress from A Dream of Red Mansions. Jean-Pierre Maumann, French writer. American musician Joe Pennington. Paul Sabin, Algerian-born French film director. Christian Garrison, American author and filmmaker. Nikolai Kapustin, Russian composer and pianist. Hiro Kiwata, Japanese manga artist known for Eight Man. Tilo Bruckner, German actor known from known for The Never Ending Story. Kevin Rafferty, American film director of The Atomic Cafe and Blood in the Face. Ronald L. Schwari, American film and television producer of Ordinary People and Batteries Not Included. Billy Tang, Hong Kong film director known for Dr. Lamb and Those Were the Days. Mike Walling, English comic actor and screenwriter. Earl Cameron, Bermudian born British actor known for Doctor Who, Pool of London and The Interpreter. Laurie Craner, Austrian composer. Ronnie and Donnie Gallian, American sideshow attractions and documentary subjects who were the world's oldest conjoined twins. I was gonna say, how, how could two together, but that's why, conjoined. American actress Brandis Kemp, known for Fridays, Aftermath, and Hexed. Two people from Fridays this year. The announcer and one of the, the main players. Mary Twyla, Twala, South African actress, known for life above all and beat the drum. Nick Cordero, Canadian actor and singer for known for Bullets Over Broadway. Cleveland Eaton, American jazz bassist. Bettina Joal, German born American screenwriter. Albert Palacio, Canadian actor known for the kidnapping of the president blacklist and Punisher war zone. Rosario Blafari, Argentine actress known for Poor Butterfly, I, The Worst of All, and Rapato. American Hall of Fame country singer, songwriter, and musician Charlie Daniels, known for The Devil Went Down to Georgia and Uneasy Rider. I want to hear him so bad. Italian film composer Ennio Marconi, known for The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Once Upon a Time in the West, and The Hateful Eight. Joe Picaro, American percussionist from The Wrecking Crew. George Boyd, Canadian playwright and news anchor for CBC News World. Elizabeth Harrower, Australian novelist from down, known for Down in the City and The Watchtower. Henry Critchell, German composer and pianist. Jay Severin, American radio talk show host from WORWTKK and Blaze Media. Jimmy Johnson, Nigerian actor known for The Village Headmaster. Naya Rivera, American actress known for Glee, The Royal Family, Step and Step Up. Brad Watson, American author and academic. Johnny Beatty, Scottish actor known for River City and comedian, known for Scotch and Rye and Rap C. Nesbitt. Jean-Francois Giraud, French actor known for Violet Nozier and A Simple Story. Gabriella Tucci, Italian operatic soprano. Eddie Gale, American jazz trumpeter. Dick Williams, American magician. Jane Gardner, American journalist and news presenter. Mary Miller, English actor actress known for Crown Court and EastEnders. Rich Prisky, Canadian bassist. Rod Bernard, American singer, known for This Should Go On Forever. Raimundo Capitillo, Mexican actor. Joanna Cole, children's American children's writer, known for the Magic School Bus series. 
Judy Dibel, English singer-songwriter. American actress Kelly Preston, known for Jerry Maguire Twins and Sky High. Wife of John Travolta. Kenneth Church, American jockey. Barry Cook, British abstract artist. Daniel David Moses, Canadian poet and playwright. Galen Gorg, American actress and dancer, known for Robocop 2, Mantis, and Point Break. Dinah Hins, German actress and voice actress. Igor Chernik, Russian cinematographer, known for The Diamond Arm and Private Detective. Victoria Rodriguez, Spanish actress. Maurice Rovis, Scottish actor, known for Oh, What a Lovely War and Last of the Mohicans. Ken Shin, Canadian punk rock vocalist from SNFU. Christopher Dickey, American journalist, news editor from the Daily Beast and uh, author. Patrick Ellis, American radio host. Jamie Oldacre, American drummer from uh, The Tractors and from work with Eric Clapton. Jonathan Oppenheim, American film editor known for Paris is Burning. Phyllis Somerville, American actress from The Big C, Little Children, and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Bridget Berlin, American artist. English author Joseph Cox. French ballet dancer Zizi Jean-Marie. Shirley Love, American broadcaster from WOAY-TV. Charles Bukiko, Kenyan actor and comedian known for The Captain of Nakara. American photographer Pam Francis, American writer and academic Robert Helenga, French composer David Gisi, American director and cinematographer Paul Keener, American sculptor and artist Keith Saunier, actress Sonia Darren, American actress from Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, Bury Me Dead, and Federal Agent at Large, American writer Lorenzo Malong, Emmett Rhodes, American singer and songwriter and musician from The Palace Guard and The Merry-Go-Round. American editor Robert Bob Martin. Dobby Dobson, Jamaican reggae singer and record producer. Dean Ng, American author. Alice Kohler, American author and academic. Annie Ross, British American jazz singer known for Lambert Hendricks and Ross and the songwriter of the song Twisted, also was an actress in Spider-Man 3. Michelle Senlis, French songwriter and lyricist. Susan Sizemore, American novelist. Tim Smith, English singer-songwriter from uh, Cardiacs and the Sea Nymphs. Hassan Brajani, Swedish actor. Sergio Ricardo, Brazilian film director from The Night of the Scarecrow and composer of Black God and White Devil. Jacqueline Scott, American actress from Macabre, Duel, and The Fugitive. Dominique Sonic, French singer. Claude Beausoleil, Canadian writer and poet. Beau Black, American festival director from, of Somerset and a Playboy cover girl. Roberto Draghetti, Italian voice actor. Nikolai Lomov, Russian-born American pianist. John Machisek, American journalist from the Times Union. American entertainer and television personality Regis Philbin from the Joey Bishop Show, live with Regis and Kathy Lee and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I was there watching the Joey Bishop Show. I knew him from way back and people just mostly know him from Regis and Kathy Lee and Million Dollar Pyramid. But, oh my God, such a humble guy and so much fun. I, I couldn't even believe he worked as long as he did. He worked till he died. Barry St. John, Scottish singer uh, known for Come Away Melinda. Charlie Balducci, American reality TV personality. Peter Green, English Hall of Fame blues rock singer and songwriter known for Black Magic Woman and guitarist having worked with Fleetwood Mac and the Peter Green Splinter Group. C.P. Lee, English musician. Helen Jones Woods, American trombonist. Edmund Anson, American television executive and co-founder of Sunbeam Television. 
Dame Olivia de Havilland, French-British American actress known for Gone with the Wind, The Adventures of Robin Hood, and To Each His Own. Like I said, when we, we lose a classic Hollywood actor or actress, that's a real piece of our, our life and our soul. It's just amazing that they were still around. She lived to be a very long I think that said age. 104. 104 or something like that. Yeah, wow. Bill English, American computer engineer and co-developer of the computer mouse. Yay. <laughs> well, he was <laughs> important because without him, we couldn't be doing crap. We couldn't move the computer around. I mean, that's, that's what moved your cursor. Robert Smith, Canadian actor. Gianrico Tedeschi, Italian actor. <clears throat> Known for Susanna Whipped, Susanna Whipped Cream, and Dr. Jekyll Likes Them Hot. Daphne Athos, American author. Bent Fabric, Danish pianist and composer of Alley Cat. Reese Schoenfeld, American television executive, president of CNN, and founder of the Food Network. Malik B., American rapper from The Roots. Giorgio Todd, Italian writer. Randy Barlow, American country singer. Mark Rocco, English professional wrestler. Lionel Rocheman, French actor, musician, and writer from I Don't Know Much, But I'll Say Everything. Bill Mack, American country music disc jockey from WBAP and songwriter of Blue and Drinking Champagne. Sir Alan Parker, English film director, known for Midnight Express, Pink Floyd's The Wall, and Mississippi Burning. Jose Vicente Anaya, Mexican writer, poet, and cultural journalist. Pablo Aranda, Spanish writer. Leonardo Bagaglia, Italian theater actor, director, and writer. American actor Wilford Brimley, known for The Natural, The Thing, and Cocoon, and he was also a singer. And he made uh, oatmeal, Great oatmeal popular all yes. over again. <laughs> Julio Diamante, Spanish film director from The Art of Living. Sally, Sally Jacobs, British stage designer. Tom Pollock, American studio executive for Universal Pictures and the Montecito Picture Company and film producer of the film Hitchcock. Rini Santoni, American actor from Dirty Harry, Enter Laughing in 28 Days. Jerry Chipman, American actor from 21 Grams and nonprofit executive spokesperson for the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Leon Fleischer, American pianist. Larry Novak, American jazz pianist. Leslie Randall, English actor known for Billy Lyre, Emmerdale, and Goal. Goldie Alexander, Australian author. Billy Goldenberg, American composer known for Kojak. Rhoda played again, Sam, and also a songwriter. Shirley Ann Grau, American writer. Sean Martin, American born Canadian cartoonist, known for Doc and Radar, Raider. Inez Rivenadera, Riven, I think that's how you say it, Rivenadera, Spanish operatic mezzo soprano. Michael Peter Smith, American songwriter of The Dutchman. Isabel Weingarten, French actress for, known for Four Nights of a Dreamer, The State of Things, and The Satin Slipper. Brent Carver, Canadian actor known for Kiss of the Spider Woman, Parade, and The Event. Tony Costanza, American metal drummer from Machine Head and Crowbar. Pat O'Day, American broadcaster from KJR. Pete Hamill, American journalist from the New York Post and the New York Daily News. Chip White, American jazz drummer. Wayne Fontana, English singer known for The Game of Love. Nikolai Vanderheide, Dutch film director known uh, for To Grab the Ring and Love Comes Quietly and Help the Doctor is Drowning. Beverly Jackson, American writer and journalist. Vern Rumsey, American bassist from, known from, uh, known about Known for Unwound, Fits of Depression, and Household Gods. Tony Charmoli, American dancer and choreographer. Ronnie Goodman, American cartoonist and street artist. Eric Grunberg, Austrian-born British violinist and teacher. Fred Stillcroft, German actor known for Cross of Iron. Mark Wirtz, French musician and record producer. Salome Bay, American-born Canadian singer. 
Chica Xavier, Brazilian actress. Kenneth Bernard, American playwright. Martin Birch, British music producer and engineer known for working with Deep Purple, White Snake, and Iron Maiden. Anna Maria Bottini, Italian actress known for The Leopard and Angels of Darkness. Jeff Jacobson, American photographer. American professional wrestler Kamala. Right, he was one of my favorites during the heyday of WWF on USA Network. He came out as an African native and headhunter, and he was great. American composer Dwayne Tatro. Uh, known for Dan August, The Manhunter, and The Love Boat. Italian actress Franca Villari. French comic book writer Laurent Vicomte. American painter Frank Wright. American actor Raymond Allen, known for Sanford and Son, Good Times, and Starsky and Hutch. Silvana Bozzi, Italian actress, known for The Talented Mr. Ripley. Mordecai and Bread and Tulips, Pierre de Sais, de Cazis, French actor known for The Shameless Old Lady and The Wing of the Thigh, The Wing or the Thigh, Mike Finley, American poet, um, Tetsuya Watari, Japanese actor, George Christie, American columnist for The Hollywood Reporter and The Beverly Hills Courier, and actor from Die Hard. Belle Duberry, French singer, German actress Annalise Kaplan, Egyptian-born French cartoonist and illustrator Edmund Kiraz, American computer scientist and inventor Russell Kirsch, uh, known for being the inventor of the Pixel and the developer of the image scanner. So you wouldn't see that picture up there. That's true. Yes. American singer Trini Lopez. Oh, God, he was great. Um, known for the song If I Had a Hammer and yeah. Lemon Tree and also was an actor on The Dirty Dozen. Paul Melba, English comedian and impressionist. Sumner Redstone, American media executive for CBS, Viacom, and National Amusements. American model and actress Mary Hartline. Mexican actress Monica Miguel. American actor Ash Christian from The Good Wife, filmmaker and producer. Canadian actor Michael Dumont from Chocolate Eclair, Without Her, and Café de Flore. Steve Grossman, American jazz saxophonist. Lorraine Thompson, Canadian dancer and television host. Howell Binkley, American lighting designer from Hamilton, Jersey Boys, and In the Heights. Julianne Bream, English classical guitarist and lutenist. American photographer Dan Budnick, American disc jockey Sonny Fox from Sirius XM, WKIS, and WJMK, American actress Linda, Linda Manns from Days of Heaven and Out of the Blue, <clears throat> English rock bassist Pete Way from UFO and Wasted, Richard Gwynn, Canadian author, journalist, and historian, Hervé Blanc, French actor, Nikolai Gubenko, Russian actor, director, and screenwriter. Deidre Le Fay, English writer and biographer. American professional wrestler Xavier. English actor Ben Cross from Chariots of Fire, Star Trek, First Night, and The New Dark Shadows. I think there's probably less controversy with Ben Cross, he was Dan Curtis's last choice to play Barnabas, and he really, to me, was the only one that was fitting to carry on the legacy. All the people they've had since then, Johnny Depp and whoever it was, did that Fox show and everything. He was so great, and his daughter is still up on Facebook. She's very devoted to the fans, and, and we tried so hard to get him on. I was surprised to see he wound up doing a little interview segment for that documentary on Dan Curtis. But... Ben Cross, to me, was a big, big loss. Of course, not as much of a loss as Jonathan Pritt, but right up there. And, and almost felt like, you know, you were losing Barnabas all over again. At least the actor that played him. So Neural had said, Olivia de Havilland loved her so much. Yeah. Bent, uh, Rod said, Bent Fabric forgot he passed. What a cool name for a musician. 
Ellie Cat was a great song. And, uh, great, when, when instrumentals used to be cool. Neural says Julian Bream. That was huge. Yeah. Ben Cross had that dignity. He did. He had the, had the dignity, the, the classic, like, British, you know, romance. Christopher Lee the kind of The romance like, yeah. of being a vampire. Yes, yes. Like, now it's all monsters and monstrosities and like transformations and and it's there's no class to it anymore if that makes sense i think ben cross has cancer right i believe so uh he kind of worked up to the end too he never really he never really went into the convention thing they didn't really get anybody from the uh that that series you know from no. the revival Show might have been they successful. Might, I think they might have got Gulf Barbara War. Steele a couple of times. Uh, Barbara Steele, yeah, he can't was, forget. Well, was, luckily, she's still around. But that show would, show would have been successful was being interrupted by the Gulf War so many times. Right. But it, it was a great effort by Dan Curtis and definitely part of the legacy. We have a whole series on DVD. Uh, it's also Tom on Prime, Prime in Tom case Prime. you guys want to see it. Um, Steve Gulley, American bluegrass singer and songwriter. Roger Quigley, English singer and songwriter. Jack Sherman, American guitarist from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hal Singer, American saxophonist. Randall Craig Fleischer, American conductor for Anchorage Symphony Orchestra. Um, and Neural had said it's, oh no, I'm sorry, Cy Bob said it's all tricks now. Ben Cross used an old thing called acting. Yes, don't have that anymore. There's still, there's still even controversy over that. The, the purists, a lot of them didn't like that show. But it's kind of hard not to like that show with Dan Curtis being so involved. Right. I mean, he wasn't involved in the atrocities that came after. Todd Nance, American drummer for Widespread Panic. Frankie Benali, American drummer for Quiet Riot, Wasp, and Heavy Bones. Justin Towns Earl, American singer and songwriter. Brian Lee. American blues musician, Ron Tudor, Australian music producer, producer and label owner of Fable Records, Walter Lohr, American guitarist of the Heartbreakers, Ula Pia, English, um, sorry, Danish singer, Alan Rich, American actor from Serpico, Quiz Show, and Amistad, DJ Rogers, American soul singer and producer, Steve Sample Sr., American band leader and arranger. Augusto Caminito, Italian film director, producer, and screenwriter for Vampire in Venice Hallelujah for, and Hallelujah for Django. Benny Chan, Hong Kong film director. Rolf Goes, Swedish comic creator and cover artist. English jazz saxophonist Peter King. Actress Lori Nelson. Uh, American actress from Revenge of the Creature, How to Marry a Millionaire, and I Died a Thousand Times. I was very happy that Ghosty got her on. She, By the time that we approached her, she would already was too sick, but she offered to do it in, in email Q&A, but I couldn't do that because of her audio, but I was glad that she got on Ghosty's show. She was beautiful. American jazz drummer Charlie Persip, American author Gail Sheehy, French composer and musician Mick Hart, uh, French composer and musician George Boeuf, who was known for uh, working with a group of different uh, other composers. He was kind of like a collaborator. Austri Australian folk musician Mick Hart. Scottish singer Jerry McGee from Brighton Rock. Japanese jazz trumpeter and flugel flugelhornist Itaro Oki. American writer Max Evans, American animator Joe Ruby, and television producer who was responsible for shows like Scooby Doo, Dino Mutt, Dog Wonder, Alvin and Alvin and the Chipmunks. British singer and actress Joyce Wright, Hong Kong comics artist Lee Y. Chun, English novelist and playwright Eugene McCabe, American journalist and author William Nykirk. American actor Chadwick Boseman, known for Black Panther, 42, and Get On Up. We really appreciate his talent. You know. 
he was he was excellent. Way too young. Way too young. This is amazing. It was so shocking. David. Same with James Brown. Yeah. David S. Cass Sr., American film director, uh, known for Avenging Angel, at Desolation Canyon, and Thicker Than Water. Randall Keenan, American writer from A Visitation of Spirits. Shiro Kishibi, Japanese actor. Uli Stein, German cartoonist. Manuel Valdez, Mexican comedian and actor from A Thousand and One Nights, Tom Thumb, and Little Red Riding Hood. Russian actor Vladimir Andreev, American actress and dancer Virginia Bosler from Oklahoma, Brigadoon, and Out of This World. Rick Drazen, American bodybuilder and professional wrestler. Jacques Gallipo, Canadian actor from The, the Picks, Bingo, and Blacklist. British actress Anne Lynn from Flame in the Streets and A Shot in the Dark. Mexican actor actress Cecilia Romo, Gerilyn Lee Brandelis, American rock and roller, rock and roll tour director who worked with the Grateful Dead, photographer and author, Canadian voice actor Norm Spencer, known for working on X-Men, Rescue Heroes, and The Silver Surfer, American author Shanna Hogan, Diane Kursky, American actress and director, Russian actor Boris Kloyev, uh, known for D'Artagnan and the Three Musketeers and the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Francois Lalande, Algerian-born French actor. Um, American DJ Eric Murillo. American animator and screenwriter Sue C. Nichols, known for The Lion King, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and Aladdin. John Shrapnel, British-born New Zealand journalist, actor, and singer. Jean-Francois Perron, French actor. American composer Bill Purcell, known for Our Winter Love. Gianni Serra, Italian film director and screenwriter. Biro Unel, Turkish-born German actor, known for Head On, Transylvania, and Enemy at the Gates. Belgian actress Annie Cordy, Andrzej Goronski, Polish actor. Gary Peacock, American jazz double bassist. Canadian singer Lucille Starr, known for Cajun Love. Rodney Litchfield, English actor, known for Early Doors, Coronation Street, and Testimony. Jerry Menzel, Czech director, actor, and screenwriter. Bridget Peskin, French author and screenwriter. Malka Rabowska, Polish-born French actress. Tan, Tam Ping Man, Hong Kong actor known for Exiled Wild City and House of Wolves. AIG Wright, English-born American band director. Joan Blackman, English actress from Britain, known for Bridget Jones's Diary. Nancy Dean, American filmmaker. Kevin Dobson, American actor from Kojak, Knott's Landing, and Midway. Bob Fujitani, American comics artist of Flash Gordon and Rick Kirby. And the co-creator of Solar. Anita Lindholm, Lindblom, Swedish singer and actress. Bruce Williamson, American singer known for The Temptations. Russian actor Sergei Koltikov, Mexican actor Xavier Ortiz, American folk artist Louis Pershing, British actor Tony Tanner, known for Stop the World, I Want to Get Off, and theater director of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Ronald Bell, American saxophonist from Cool in the Gang, and songwriter of Ladies' Night and Celebration, Sid McRae, American singer from Bad Brains, Caroline Chomian, French film director and producer. Dame Diana Rigg, oh. English actress known for the Avengers on Her Majesty's Secret Service and Game of Thrones. She was so beloved by everybody. It was so hard to believe. I, I, I'm not a Game of Thrones person. 
But to find out that at her age, she was still in a hit show. Such an incredible loss. And of course, being in a James Bond film early on, you know, it's the only thing that made that movie great. And George Lazenby, I like, but she made it magic and was Mrs. James Bond. And, and what an incredible loss. Yeah, someone earlier had said that between Dame Diana Rigg and Honor Blackman. Yeah, that... two of the greatest British actresses ever. And, and both from James Bond, too. Yeah. Very... I, I tried so hard to get her. It's hard to contact British people. We've had some, but but God, to know that she was still working in Game of Thrones, yeah. just amazing. Her daughter is, is just on Facebook, and she talks very nicely about her. She looks a lot like her. Neural says, Diana Rigg, Cy, so awesome. And Cy Bob says, Diana Rigg was in Doctor Who in 2013. Yes. Barry Scott, American actor from Ernest Goes to Jail and The Expert and voiceover mm -hmm. artist for Impact Wrestling. <coughs> Roger Carroll, French actor. Toots Hibbert, Jamaican singer. Annette Johns, German opera singer and director. Reggie Johnson, American jazz double bassist. Christian Manon, French composer. Joaquin Carbonell, Spanish singer, songwriter, and poet. Barbara Jefford, British actress known for Ulysses, Philomena, and The Ninth Gate. Edna Wright, American R&B singer, known for Honeycone. Lillian Brown, American media producer and makeup artist who did who worked with Dwight D. Eisenhower, Bill Clinton, and Martin Luther King Jr. American songwriter Al Kasha, known for Operation Heartbreak, The Morning After, and We May, we May Never Love Like This Again. Peter Starkey, Australian rock guitarist from Skyhooks, Jojo Zepp, and the Falcons. American playwright Steve Carver, known for Eden, Nevis Mountain, Nevis Mountain Dew, and Dame Lorraine. Roy C., American Southern Soul singer and songwriter. Terry Goodkind, American author. Winston Groom, American novelist of Forrest Gump. Joaquin Kuner, German film director and screenwriter. Lee Kerslake, English drum, drummer who worked with Uriah Heep, uh, Toe Fat, and Ozzy Osbourne. English playwright Mary O'Malley. American cinematographer Michael Chap Chapman, known for Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, The Fugitive, and a film director um, as well. Caroline Mortimer, British actress, known for The Death of Adolf Hitler. Alan Tompkins, British art director who worked on The Empire Strikes Back, Saving Private Ryan, and Batman Begins. Tommy DeVito, American Hall of Fame musician and singer from The Four Seasons. Roy Head, American singer known for Treat Her Right. Ira Sullivan, American jazz trumpeter. A lot of singers from classic pop this year. Michael Gwizdek, American uh, German actor and film director. Dudley Riggs, American improvisational comedian. American Hall of Fame professional wrestler, road warrior animal. American artist, Eric Bransby. French actress, Juliette Greco, uh, known for The Sun Also Rises, Phantom of the Louvre, and The Night of the Generals. Guitar Crusher, American blues singer and guitarist. W.S. Holland, American drummer from the Tennessee Three. Robert Bechtel, American painter. Jeannie Valerie, French actress. Jimmy Winston, English musician from Small Faces and actor who appeared in Doctor Who. Kevin Burns, American film and television producer responsible for Ancient Aliens, Lost in Space, and Poseidon. Yuko Takuchi, Japanese actress from Ring, Miss Sherlock, and Flash Forward. Kasai Tomito, Japanese actor. Gene Corman, American film producer and agent known for Giant Leeches and Blood Beast. And of course, relative, his famous relative, Roger Corman. And Gene's brother, wasn't it? I believe, yeah. I believe so, yeah. yeah. Jackie, uh, Roger's brother is Gene. Jackie Dennis, uh, Scottish singer. Ronald Forfar, English actor. American singer and songwriter Mac Davis, 
known for Baby Don't Get Hooked on Me, and It's Hard to Be Humble. Tough, tough one. And him and, and another one I'm going to mention, too, right close together, same genre, each other shows. It was really hard for that era of music for me because that was a great, great era for me. Rocco Prestia, American bassist from Tower of Power. Helen Reddy, Australian-American singer known for I Am Woman and that's, Delta Dawn. That's what I'm talking about. Simon Ein, French actor from Another Man, Another Chance. And Frank Windsor, English actor from Z Cars and Softly Softly in East Enders. Of course, Matt Davis, too, wrote In the Ghetto. Yes. I want to mention that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, Neural, <coughs> sorry. Neural said, uh, Betchel, I didn't hear about that. He taught at the college I went to. Uh, he was a famous photorealist. Oh, really? All right, guys, stick with us. We're 75% done. And once again, we really, really appreciate all your comments because this, this helps. It helps me to know there's somebody there, too, because, like I said, this is not a show for everybody, and it's for the, the real devoted fan of these people and, and pop culture in general. Mar it is a gathering and a memorial. Murray Shisco, American playwright. Edward S. Feldman, American film producer, uh, known for Witness, The Truman Show, and The Golden Child. Bette Green, American novelist. Um, Thomas Jefferson Bird, American actor from Clockers, Bullworth, and Ray. Armelia McQueen, American actress known for Adventures in Wonderland, Ain't Misbehaven, and Ghost. Jean-Marc Avocat, French actor. Clark Middleton, American actor from Sin City, Snowpiercer, and Twin Peaks. Uh, Twin Peaks, The Return. Beatrice Arnoff. French actress and singer, Margaret Nolan, English actress from Goldfinger, Carry On at Your Convenience and A Hard Day's Night. Volker Bonet, German actor, Herbert, Herbert Feuerstein, German comedian and journalist, Uzumu Matsumoto, Japanese manga artist, Johnny Nash, American singer songwriter for uh, known for I Can See Clearly Now, Hold Me Tight, and Tears on My Pillow. Another one of my favorites. I love I Can See Clearly Now. Tommy Rawl, American actor from Kiss Me Kate, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, and World in My Corner. Dutch born American Hall of Fame musician Eddie Van Halen from Van Halen. That one's hard because. I'm not really a, a rock guy too much in that era, but <laughs> we we got to know him personally in person and hung out with him. And we told all those stories before he was he was so nice. My first meeting with Eddie Van Halen, I can tell the whole story, but he knew I was staring at him, but I was staring at him as he walked into the restaurant where we had a rap party for a movie that we were involved with. He knew I was staring at him, and he probably figured that the best way to <laughs> counteract me and stare at him, because I thought he was a street person. He was not dressed up. He had just grungy clothes on, and he walks up, puts his hand in mine, and says, Hello, I'm Eddie Van Halen. And yeah. I'm like, Tiffany, it's Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> he was really nice. And he was going to go to the strip club with us after the, yeah. the rap party. He was he was very cool, man. And I'm telling you, uh, it was the best guitarist ever, one of the greats. Just listen to his his riffs, and even Ghosty he likes Van Halen. So you know, I guess I'm not the only one that's not really a hard rock guy. I, you know, some people say Van Halen's hard rock. I don't know, but his, his son's paying tribute to him on Sirius XM. It's nice. But I I got to hang out with Eddie, and it was fun because I was even standing next to Eddie and talking to Eddie when Eddie was on the phone having an argument with his ex wife Valerie Bertinelli. <laughs> I'm sitting there listening to all that. Yeah. Uh. Tim says Johnny Nash also sang the theme song to the Mighty Hercules cartoon series in the oh, 1960s. I didn't know that. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I used to watch that show as a kid. Yes. The ring. The magic ring. I always wanted one of those rings. They sold those rings. And Neural says Johnny Nash and Toots, legendary reggae musicians, both yeah. gone. And I want a name like Toots. 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 My name is Toots. Toots. I can't even say it. Why well, have it? But that's a great name. 
Tom Kennedy, American game show host from Name That Tune, Password Plus, and You Don't Say. I used to watch him. Jean Martin, French pianist. Roy Pennington, American country singer and songwriter known for I'm a Ramblin' Man. Dan Baum, American journalist and author. Camille Bizzoni, Italian film director. Sylvia, Sylvie Bellinger, Canadian artist. Jim Dwyer, American journalist from New York Newsday and the New York Times. Brian Locking, English rock bass guitarist from The Shadows. Aaron Wall, Canadian-American operatic soprano. Ruth Falcon, American operatic soprano. Pierre Kesdi, American musician from Naked Gun, Pegboy, and Strike Under. Len Rossi, American Hall of Fame professional wrestler. Diane Birch, English singer. Kent Wakeford, American cinematographer known for Mean Streets, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, and China O'Brien. Harold Betters, American jazz trombonist. Gerald Gardner, American television writer known for The Monkees and Get Smart. John Gibson, American minimalist musician. Eric Assouz, Tunisian born French film director and screenwriter. Conchata Farrell, American actress known for Two and a Half Men, Edward Scissorhands, and Network. Is it Conchata or Conchita? Conchata. Oh, really? Okay. And she was, she was great too. Susan Hendel, American ballet dancer. Kim Massey, American blues singer. Ezra Chavez, American Canadian musician and educa educator. Marissa de Leza, Spanish actress from I'm Not Matahari, Under the Sky of Spain, and Allow Me Daddy. <clears throat> Rhonda Fleming, American actress from Spellbound, Serpent of the Nile, and the Buster Keaton story. Another classic actress. Paul Matters, Australian rock bassist from ACDC. Joan Barnett, American television producer uh, known for the James Man the Jane Mansfield story and The Parent Trap 2. Gordon Haskell, English singer-songwriter known for How Wonderful You Are and musician from King Crimson. Dave Hull, American radio personality from KRLA. Johnny Bush, American country singer and songwriter known for Whiskey River. Anthony Chisholm, American actor. Edith O'Hara, American theater founder. James Redford, American filmmaker and activist. Tasha Nori Kondo, Japanese jazz trumpeter. Benaria Manka, Italian painter. Bob Weaver, American cartoonist known for Moose and Molly. Chet J.R. White, American bassist and record producer. Marilyn Bender, American journalist and author. Gianni Day, Italian actor. Tony Lewis, English bassist, singer and songwriter. Louise Renal, Canadian painter and dancer. James Randi, Canadian American magician and skeptic and founder of the JREF and co-founder of the CSI, also known as The Amazing Randy. And yet a guest appearance on Happy Days and his whole battle with Yuri Geller, who is somebody from the uh, Middle East that claimed that they could bend spoons and stuff in their mind. And and he dispelled all of that, just like the guys that, just like Houdini did when he was showing, there was a lot of fake seances going on in a day. He was after Yuri Geller, but come to find out, they were friends and it was all planned. Yeah. Uh, Sai Bob says, I first saw Conchata Farrell in in Hot Hot L Baltimore can comedy, Hot L Baltimore comedy mm -hmm. uh, series back back in 1975. Yeah, yeah she, she she's been a, she was a character actress for a long time. A long time. It never really got popular to two and a half men because her scene with Charlie Sheen and and it was great. Arena Skovats. Seva, Russian actress from War and Peace, Othella, and Walking the Streets of Moscow. Marge Champion, American actress from Showboat, Give a Girl a Break, and choreographer and model for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Great dancer, wow. Paul LeDuc, Mexican film director. Viola Smith, American drummer. William Blinn, American television producer, known for Starsky and Hutch, and the screenwriter of Brian's Song and Purple Rain. 
Margie Bowles. Hey, you didn't know about that one. I didn't, I didn't know about that. I'm Mar pulling my headphones off because they hurt my ears today. I don't know why. Margie Bowles, American country music singer from the Grand Ole Opry. Richard Virgin, American writer and composer. Joel Daly, American news anchor from WLS. Richard A. Lupoff, American author from space, uh, known for Space War Blues, Master of Adventure and Lovecraft's book. Pierre Oster, French poet and editor. R.M. Vaughn, Canadian writer. Jerry Jeff Walker, American singer-songwriter, known for Mr. Bojangles. One of the great songs of Americana, for sure. Jean-Claude Pache, Swiss theater director. Fred Ulysses, uh, French actor from Raging Fists and Moon in the Gutter. Dolores Abril, Spanish singer and actress. Rosanna Cartier, Italian operatic soprano. Johnny Lees, English actor. Jean, Jean Pierre Offerman, French comic book author. Jacques Godin, Canadian actor. Stan Kessler, American musician, uh, songwriter, uh, responsible for songs like I'm Left, You're Right, She's Gone, I Forgot to Remember to Forget. Daniel Manneker, American writer and editor. Bobby Ball, English comedian, um, actor and television host. Leanza Cornette, American television personality and Miss America 1993. Billy Joe Shaver, American country musician for you, uh, known for You Ask Me Too. Tracy Smothers, American professional wrestler. Robert Fisk, English writer and journalist. Ed Hurst, American radio personality for WFPG. Mark Fawcett, French jazz guitarist. Charles Gordon, American film producer of uh, projects like Field of Dreams, Die Hard, and The Rocketeer. Sir Sean Connery, Scottish actor, Dr. No, known for Dr. No, The Untouchables, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and of course was an Oscar winner from 1988. So legendary and important to everybody who listens to call radio, especially Ghosty. Uh, he was still known to everybody. I like Roger Moore, but to everybody, he was James Bond. He was the embodiment of Ian Fleming's novels. And great person, great sense of humor. He had to have a great sense of humor to see all the impersonations of him on SNL. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then he did that crazy sci-fi movie too, Zardoz or whatever it was. I think it was Zardoz, but yeah, he was, he was great. He could have been, he could have been the main role in Planet of the Apes at Charlton Heston. I yeah. think so. Yes. I absolutely yeah. think so. Oh, my God. Sean Connery. I can't believe he's gone. And it wasn't that long ago we lost Roger Moore and Sean Connery. And now we have other actors have done, including ones that sing in Mamma Mia. <laughs> yeah. Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Neural says, Sean Connery, I almost thought he would never die. I know. Such a powerful man. Yes. Carol Arthur, American actress from Blazing Saddles. Rachel Kane, American novelist. Eddie Hassel, American actor from The Kids Are All Right, Surface, and Devious Maids. Pedro Itraldi, American singer, songwriter, and, uh, I'm sorry, Spanish saxophonist and composer. Hey, you're doing pretty good tonight, okay? You don't knock yourself. Nikki McKibben, American singer, songwriter, and reality show contestant from American Idol. Ronnie Peel, Australian guitarist and singer um, from Thunderclap Newman, The La Dee Da's, and John Paul Young Band. Dietrich Adam, German actor. Robert Sam Anson, American journalist and author. Gigi Proetti, an Italian actor and comedian. Elsa Raven, American actress from Back to the Future, Amen, and Titanic. John Sessions, British actor and comedian, uh, known for Stella Street, Spitting Image, and Whose Line Is It Anyway? Maria Tsien, American actress. Baron Woolman, American photographer, known for his work with Rolling Stone. Neural says it was Zardoz. Zardoz, yes. With the absolutely. red diaper. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you know, he had a chest for those kind of movies, didn't he? <laughs> The bear, um, Harry uh, Chester. Bob says Carol Author was also the wife of comedian Don DeLuise. Oh, really? Okay. Thank you for the information. I didn't know that. Um, 
We we never met Dom, but we got to hang out with his son. His son was cool, yeah. Yeah. Isaac Alvarez, French actor in Mime. Claude Giraud, French actor. Um, Eileen Pasloff, American dancer and choreographer. Ken Hensley, English singer-songwriter, known for working with Uriah Heat, Blackfoot, and Tofat. Naomi Long Magid, American poet. Sergio Mantucci, Italian voice actor and radio personality. Adam David Miller, American poet and memoirist. memoirist. Glenn Berry, American singer known for One, One two, two, Three and the Bristol Stomp. Yes. Jeffrey Palmer, British actor uh, known for As Time Goes By, Butterflies and the Fall and Rise of Reginald Perrin. Joy Westmore, Australian actress. Jim Radford, English folk singer, songwriter, and peace activist. Luke Reinhardt, American author. Ken Spears, American animator and television producer. Candido Camaro, Cuban jazz percussionist. Cyril Colville Justin, French film producer. Norm Crosby, American comedian and actor. One of my favorite uh, old stand-ups from the days of Ed Sullivan. I love that... He, he murdered the English language. I mean, he was, he was so funny. I love that the list that I look up, their, their point of reference is so different than ours. Yeah. Because they listed... Well, you said with Colbert, they didn't mention with Dark Colbert, Shadows. With Colbert, they didn't mention Dark Shadows. You added that yourself. They added winds, you know, the... the, the, the the winds of the war and all the popular stuff. They like didn't. Admit, they did not mention Dark Shadows. Yeah, come on. And with Norm Crosby, they just said he was in Eight Crazy Nights. Oh, come on. And I'm like, really? Oh, okay. Uh, John Fraser, Scottish actress, actor, actor. Sorry. Bones Hillman, New Zealand bassist for Midnight Oil, The Swingers, and Suburban Reptiles. Jean Little, Australian entertainer from the Mike Walsh Show. Cuckoo in the Nest and Beauty and the Beast. Rena McCrelly, Italian screenwriter and essayist. Oscar Benton, Dutch vocalist from the Bensonhurst Blues. Canadian-American game show host Alex Trebek. Oh, that one's hard. Known from Jeopardy, High Rollers, and Classic Concentration. The girl's one of his greatest fans. I mean, he, she used to watch that with her mom. We think about her mom all the time, too. She was one of our, our only audience members that was here inaugurated our studio, but Alex Trebek, he fought the fought, he hung on, and everybody thought he was going to make it, and his, I guess his last episode there at Christmas night, I guess, Yeah. and uh, they're going to start out with filling guests of people that were very known contestants on the show, and then they're going to be getting to some celebrities, they're, they're talking about uh, the guy from Star Trek did Reading Rainbow, uh, Lamar, the Lamar, Lamar Burton, Burton yeah. possibly being a host, I think he would be great. He gets my vote. Yeah, I think he'd be good. Yeah, but yeah. Alex, wow. Great loss. Great, great host. He started out on Radio Canada and a great TV host of Radio Hosts. Yeah, between him and Regis this year. Yeah, two of the greatest TV hosts ever. Right up there with Dick Clark, for sure. Israel Horovitz, American playwright and screenwriter. Gordon Joseloff, American journalist for CBS News. Alec Bailey, American bassist. DJ Spinbad, American DJ from WHTZ. Sven Walter, Swedish actor from The Sacrifice, The Man on the Roof, and A Song for Martin. Michael Mongeau, Canadian actor from How My Mother Gave Birth to Me During Menopause. <laughs> it's a great title. Andrew White, American jazz saxophonist and musicologist. Nellie Kaplan, Argentine-born French film director. Lynn Kellogg, American singer and actress from uh, Hair and Charles. Yeah, she's great too. Wow. Juno Roll, German cinematographer and film director. Jim Tucker, American guitarist from The Turtles. Akira Kubodera, Japanese actor. Helena Kiwatowska, Polish actress um, from Ashes and Diamonds, The Doll, and Along Came Come Tourists. Warren C. Miller, American television producer of the Grammy Awards. Doug Supernaw, American country musician known for I Don't Call Him Daddy, Reno, and Not Enough Hours in the Night. Philip Voss, British actor from Vicious, Doctor Who, and Fish. Jacques Quite a few Doctor Who people. 
Jacques Fournier, a French theatrical actor and director. Des O'Connor, English television presenter and comedian. William Thomas Jr., American actor from Frank's Place and The Cosby Show. Ivan Vandor, Italian composer and musician. David Henblum, English-born Canadian actor known for X-Men, The Sweet Care After, and Tommy Boy. Bill Morgan, Australian-born Canadian journalist and television producer from CBC News. Bruce Sweetian, American audio engineer and producer. Art Wolf, American television director of Seinfeld and The Tracy Allman Show. Kay Morley, American actress from Campus Honeymoon, Six Gun Ser Serenade, and Trails End. Mel Brez, American television writer from The Doctors as the World Turns and Days of Our Lives. Tony Hooper, English guitarist from The Straubs. Draga Altenel Matei, Roman actress from the famous Paparazzo. Kirby Morrow, Canadian voice actor. Michelle Robin, French actor from Farewell, My Queen, The Triplets of Bellevue, and Just a Breath Away. Margaret Ray, American actress from The Young and the Restless and Sanford and Son. James Wasserman, American author. Harold, I'm sorry, Hayford Pierce, American science fiction author. Herbert Franklin Salo, American television producer. Patricia Beatty, Canadian choreographer and dancer. Jean Darnell, French actor and director. June Forlong, English model. Dina Dietrich, American actress from Adam's Rib, Friends and Lovers, and The Wild Party. Merle says, Des O'Connor, wow, we used to love his show. Not sure how we got to see it in the U.S., but it was a great variety show. Uh, Sandy Harbert, Australian actor, director, and writer. Malcolm Marmerstein, American screenwriter and film director known for Pete's Dragon, Love Bites, and Dark Shadows. What, he, what did he do for Dark Shadows? He was an American. He was a screenwriter. Oh, he was okay. the one I told you about that I saw that they posted about on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, Mark and, Malcolm Marmerstein, again, uh, he and went on to do like Pete's Dragon and Love Bites, but he yeah. was a screenwriter for Dark Shadows. Oh, okay. Carlo Asino, Italian film director uh, for Double Game um, don't, and Don't Look in the Attic. Helen LaFrance, American artist. David Moss, American magician, circus performer, and entertainer. Vittorio Catani, Italian science fiction writer. Carl Dahl, German actor from Freddy in the West, Hotel Clausewitz, student in the bedroom. Abby Dalton, American actress from Falcon Press, The Joey Bishop Show. That's where I Tennessee. first saw her, Joey Bishop. What was the last one? Tennessee. Yeah, she was she was great. She she had a, a great tribute uh pastor ghosty from will hutchins and, and she, she worked with him on sugar but she was lovely she just had classy yeah Cy bob said that margaret margaret ray played donna fred's long-suffering girlfriend the barracuda mm, yeah on sanford yeah Sanford's. no she was great she was right up there with Anne esther um Hal Ketchum, American country singer and songwriter known for Small Town Saturday Night, Past the Point of Rescue, and Hearts Are Gonna Roll. Yasumi Kobayashi, Kobayashi, Japanese science fiction writer. Louise Paho, New Zealand actress who appeared in Doctor Who, The Avengers, and Prisoner. Colin. Three New of the best shows from Britain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cybob says Malcolm Mormerstein helped develop the Barnabas character. Really? On Dark Shadows. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Um, See, I find things I don't know every day. How Ketchum. All right, I've read that one. Yeah. Hold on. Um, Colin Newell, British television personality from Storage Hunters and Celebrity Big Brother. Floor Silver. So, so, Vestry, Mexican singer. Camilla Wicks, American violinist. Alan Baczynski, Danish jazz trumpeter. Cecilia Fusco, Italian operatic soprano. Herman Green, American jazz and blues saxophonist. Dario Nicolodi, Italian actress from Deep Red and Shock and the screenwriter for Suspiria. Othello Dallas. Hey, wasn't she uh, Asia's mother, too? I believe. 
I think it's a he. Oh, oh no, it's a girl. You're right. It's Asia, it's Asia, our gentle Daria mother. Nicolodi. Yeah. It might be. It might be. At, at least I do know her mother died this year, and I think it was her, because she worked uh, with her dad, Suspiria. Yeah, she was the screenwriter for Suspiria, and yeah. she was an actress in Deep Red. If it's who I'm thinking of, she looks like uh, the daughter, too, for sure. Othella Dallas, American dancer and jazz singer. Sarah Laland, American Asia, ballet. Or Asia, how you say it? Sorry. American ballet dancer and repetiteur, um, a New York City ballet principal dancer. Basil Moss, British actor. David Prowse, English actor known for Star Wars, A Clockwork Orange, and Jabberwocky. David Prowse, one of the, the original people that brought you Star Wars, of course, uh, also did a Hammer horror film. Because uh, he was, you know, the, the person in the suit for Darth Vader. He was also a bodybuilder. Yeah, yeah. So and then it was one of the Peter Cushing Hammer films. He played the monster. I mean, it was James Earl Jones. It was right, the voice, it was the voice, he was in, yeah. Because he was big. Peter Rapke, German actor and playwright. Ben Bova, American science fiction writer. Peg Murray, American actress from, known for Cabaret. Er Enrico Bertarelli, Italian actor and voice actor. Betty Bobbitt, American-born Australian actress known for Prisoner, Crocodile Dundee 2, Crocodile Dundee, and Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles. Went from the Prisoner to Crocodile Dundee. Ah, yeah. Okay, that's a stretch. Uh, Tim says, yes, Daria Nicolodi was Dario Argento's girlfriend, and yeah. they had daughter Asia, yeah. or Asia, yeah. however you say it. Everybody says it differently, yeah, it, it, she was uh, her mother. Time to take a drink. <laughs> Your voice is holding out pretty good. What month are we in now? December. December. So we're almost there. Uh, Tim says, A Clockwork Orange David Prowse was the muscular butler. Yes, yeah, he, was. he was. Yeah. Yes. And Cybob says, Luis Pajo was in Doctor Who, died on the anniversary of Doctor Who, which was November 23rd. Wow. All right, uh, we have the, the month of December and then a couple of the ones that were not in chronological order. Are isolated categories. No, a couple of them that just were not in chronological oh, order. Right. And then we'll do our, our isolated category All at right. the end. Um, James E. Gunn, American science fiction author known for The Road to Science Fiction, Star Bridge, and The Listeners. Rebecca Luker, American actress from known for Mary Poppins, Showboat, and Not Fade Away. John Outerbridge, American artist. Leslie West, American singer and guitarist from Mountain, known for being with the group Mountain. Uh, West, Bruce and Lang, and The Vagrants. Claude Brasseur, French actor. Stella Tennant, British model. Boris Bushmalev, Russian film director. K.T. Oslin, American country singer and songwriter, known for 80s Ladies, Do Ya, and Always Come Back. Chad Stewart, English singer and musician known for Chad and Jeremy. He was uh, on Ghosty's show, and, and <laughs> Chad and Jeremy were great. Lee Wallace, American actor from Batman, Private Benjamin, and The Taking of Pel Pelham 123. Right. Dame Fanny Waterman, English pianist and founder of the Leeds International Piano Competition. Clay Anthony, American bassist. David Geiler, American screenwriter known for The Parallax View and The Money Pit, as well as film producer on Alien. Rosalind Knight, British actress from Carry On, Tom Jones, and Gimme Gimme Gimme. Eileen Pollock. Northern Irish actress from Bread, Far and Away, and Angela's Ashes. Pepe Salvaderi, Italian guitarist and singer uh, from Dick Dick. Bram van der Vloot, Dutch actor. Peter Lamont, British art director and production designer for films like Goldfinger, Aliens, and Titanic. Alexander Masa Masaroski, Russian stuntman. David Ashford, English actor from Up Jump to Swagman and A Midsummer Night's Dream. Jeremy Bullock, English actor from Star Wars, The Spy Who Loved Me, and Mary Queen of Scots. Jeff Clayton, American jazz saxophonist. 
Stanley Cowell, American jazz pianist and co-founder of Strata East Records. Doug Crane, American animator who worked on He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the Smurfs, and Beavis and Butthead Do America. Tom Hanneman, American broadcaster from WCCO-TV and Fox Sports North. Emil Katkin, American composer. Carl Mann, American rockabilly singer. Rosalie Papadopoulos, Papadopoul, Brazilian actress. Caroline Sellier, French actress from This Man Must Die. Marjorie Dougal, Scottish musician and orchestral administrator. Albert Griffiths, Jamaican reggae musician from The Gladiators. Sam Jane, American rock musician. Paulo Cesar dos Santos, Brazilian musician. Valentin Gaft, Russian actor from Hello, I'm Your Aunt. Bob Caliban, American voice actor and the Tidy Bowl Man. I love the Tidy Bowl Man. Terry Kay, American author. John LeCar, British author. Known for Tinker Taylor's Soldier Spy, The Night Manager, and The Little Drummer Girl. American Hall of Fame singer Charlie Pride. Known for Kiss and Angel Good Morning. Is anybody going to San Antonio? And was, baseball player. Yes, baseball player. Uh, we were in negotiations to get him on the show. And and now we know why he couldn't come. Sometimes they don't tell you. They they just said, not right now. And now we know why. And, and big fan of Charlie Pride because of my dad. Because my dad was a big fan. Big Novelty was the first black artist in country music. He was, uh, there was a great tribute uh, from uh, someone we had on the show recently, uh, B.J. Thomas, who mm -hmm. said that he was just a regular guy. He'd come over to the house and he was so down to earth. But Charlie, see, he was just one of those people I was talking about when I was talking about how everybody's doing production again. Charlie stayed holed up because he was afraid of COVID and then they had a tribute to him on the uh, Country Music Awards. So he came and he did that show and then right after he got COVID, he shouldn't have went. Uh, probably caught it there, I don't know. But he started doing some interviews. That's why we started to try to get him on when he did the Country Music Awards. That was the last thing he did and right after that period. Ann Rinking, American choreographer and actress uh, known for Chicago and Fosse and Annie. She was the main the main girl, and I mean, obviously not Carol, but the one that was the younger girl who was like, we're going to get Annie, that was like the secretary okay, to yes. Daddy Warbucks. Yeah. yeah, oh, the secretary to Daddy Warbucks. Yeah, okay, that, yes. that helped him adopt yes, her. Yes, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and she was a Tony winner as well. <clears throat> Jean Tyranny, American avant-garde composer and pianist. Kenneth Alwyn, English conductor with uh, BBC Radio 2 and London Symphony Orchestra. Nikolai Ivanov. Russian actor, Yves Leferrier, Canadian actor and composer, Malik, Belgian comic book artist, Don Marion Davis, American child actor from the Star Border and Down on the Farm, Tommy Lister Jr., American actor from Friday, The Fifth Element, and No Holds Barred, and he was also a professional wrestler. Yeah, Tommy Lister, the big black man that was like a giant, and, and yeah, a lot of great wrestling and a great actor, too. Joseph Morganfield, American blues singer. Carol Sutton, American actress from Steel Magnolias, Ray, and Monsters Ball. Dame Barbara Windsor, English actress, uh, known for the Carry On films and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Sean Malone, American progressive metal bassist. Alexander Semlov, Russian actor. Jason Slater, American rock bassist from Third Eye Blind. Harold Budd, American avant-garde composer and poet. L.D. Beitol, American musician. Jocelyn Cano, American model. Natalie DeSalle Reed, American actress. Phyllis, Phyllis Eisenstein, American science fiction author. Alexander Gordon, Russian film director and actor known for The Killers and There Will Be No Leave Today. Masayo Komatsu, 
Japanese actor and comedian, Arthur Newman, American film producer and executive, Vadim Petrov, Czech composer and pianist, Howard Wales, American keyboardist known for trucking, Eric Pacheco, American bass guitarist for Babylon AD, Senta Wingraf, Austrian actress from Two Times Lot, Voices of Spring, Cece the Young Empress, <coughs> Robert Castell, French actor from The Tall Blonde Man with One Black Shoe. Adiko Pexi, Hungarian actress. Cliff Green, Australian screenwriter from Picnic at Hanging Rock and Break of Day. William Kittredge, American writer. Francois Leterrier, French film director and actor. Noah Krzyzewski, American composer. Andre Gagnon, Canadian composer and conductor, Judah Lampy, German com German actress, Alison Lurie, American novelist from Foreign Affairs and the War Between Tates, Ron Mathewson, Scottish jazz double bassist and bass guitarist, Scott Marshall Smith, American screenwriter, known for The Men of Honor, The Score, and When the Game Stands Tall. Betsy Wade, American journalist. Warren Berlinger, American actor known for The Joey Bishop Show, Can The Cannonball Run, and The World According to Garp. And also uh, was the one that wound up with Shelley Fabrice in the Elvis film. That, uh, the Joey Bishop Show lost three people this year. Yeah, it's just amazing. But Warren Berlinger was a great, great actor. Spin Out is the movie he was in with Elvis. Ludo Buschatz, Belgian actor. Richard Corbin, American illustrator and comic book artist known for heavy metal and creepy magazines. Franco Giraldi, Italian film director known for Seven Guns for the McGregors. Rafer Johnson, American athlete and actor known for The Sins of Rachel Cade and License to Kill. Kenneth B. Jones, British composer, conductor, and music teacher. Pat Patterson, Canadian American Hall of Fame professional wrestler and producer. Boris Plotnikov, Russian actor. David Sheehan, American reporter. Nino, Nina Vilkoskavaya, Russian actress. Nina Ivanova, Russian actress. Hugh Keys Fine, English Australian actor known for Mad Max Fury Road. Dan Morrison, Australian ska punk drummer. Pamela Tiffin, American actress known for One, Two, Three, Harper, and Summer and Smoke. Danny Hodge, American Hall of Fame wrestler from the NWA. Barry Lopez, American author uh, known for Arctic Dreams. Tito Rojas, Puerto Rican salsa singer. Actor David Lander from Laverne and Shirley, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and Will the Real Jerry Lewis Please Sit Down. I was so happy that we were able to see him. Uh, we went to the Laverne and Shirley reunion thing, and he, he fought the good fight, too, like Alec Trebek, for a long time. He had cerebral palsy. He had multiple sclerosis. Yeah. Such a great actor in person. It was so fun seeing him in person. Saying hi. Juliet Greco, actress and singer. Baby Peggy, um, actress known for Captain January, Baby Peggy in the Elephant Room, and Helen's Babies and Showbiz Kids. Nobuhiko Oba Obayashi, director of uh, House, The Little Girl Who Conquered Time, I Are You and You Are Me. Michelle Piccoli, actor from Contempt, The Things of Life, The Big Feast, and Belle de Jour. Michael Lonsdale, actor known for Of Gods and Men, Moonraker, The Name of the Rose, and The Day of the Jackal. Enrique Irezaquai, actor. Jerry Menzel, director known for Closely Watched Trains, Larks on a String, My Sweet Little Village, and I Serve the King of England. Writer F.X. Sweeney. 
artist and production designer Ron Cobb from Dark Star, Star Wars, Alien, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Conan the Barbarian, Back to the Future, The Abyss, and Total Recall. Boy, he didn't mess around with the, uh, <laughs> the not popular movies, did he? He was in all the great ones. Actor Michael Hall from Dexter. Actor Irfan Khan, known for Life of Pi, Jurassic World, and Slumdog Millionaire. Casting director and producer Sis Corman. <clears throat> Sumitra Chatterjee, um, actor, Nigerian film producer and director Chico Ijiru. I wonder if that Corman was another one of the Cormans, like in the Roger Corman family. I don't know, maybe. British horror writer Guy N. Smith, American photographer and actor Ed Krieger, who worked on The Return of the Living Dead, Alien Nation, Child's Play 2. Kay Purcell, English actress from Emmerdale, Tracy Beaker, Returns in Waterloo Road. Joel Yanofsky, from, uh, it's Canadian, novel Canadian novelist. Actress Sky Aubrey from The Phantom of Hollywood, The Carrie Treatment, The Longest Night, Bollywood and Vine, and A Very Missing Person. Director Kim Ki Duke from Three Iron, Paita, Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter, and Spring. Actress Victoria Racimo from Prophecy, Day of the Dolphin, and Search for the Gods. Writer and actor John Shaner from Little Shop of Horrors and Bucket of Blood and Island of Dr. Moreau. He wrote part of the screenplay for Island of Dr. Moreau. He was an actor in Little Shop of Horrors and Bucket of Blood. He but played, you don't remember he what, played what the he dentist was. in the original Little Shop of Horrors. Really? Yes. And in the in Bucket of Blood, he was one of the beaches. So he was the one that, that Jonathan Hayes kind of offed and took his place when Jonathan Hayes worked on Jack Nicholson. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, hold on. Just a big long list and I lost my place. Oh. Herbert but Salo, screenwriter and producer from Inside Star Trek, The Real Story, Brimstone, and Treacle, and Elvis, That's the Way It Is. He also... Uh, was involved with the production of Killdozer and Man from Atlantis. Killdozer, one of my favorite TV movies. Robert Euro, actor from Ride to Hangman's Tree, Satan in High Heels, and The Shakiest Gun in the West. Don Knotts. Sandy DeVore, graphic designer um, who worked on The Partridge Family, Blackula, and The Dunwich Horror. Wow. George Sasaki, actor known for Varan, The Unbelievable, Planet of the Apes, and Star Trek II. See, these are the ones you don't hear on TCM or anywhere, CNN, anywhere. These are the ones that we cover, that we make sure get in. Beverly Bonner, actress from Basket Case yeah. and Frankenhooker. Janet Ann Gallo, actress from The Ghost of Frankenstein. She was the little girl in Ghost of Frankenstein. Yeah, I never imagined she'd still be alive. She was a little girl in Ghost of Frankenstein. Wow. Actor Ken Jones from Phantasm. Uh, game show host and announcer Don Morrow. Harlem Globetrotter Fred Curly Neal. He was another one we both had personal contact with. I met him back when I was a teenager going to the, the games at, at the local high school. And you met him at some convention or some whatever we went to and he taught you how to spin the basketball on and your he finger. he didn't teach me anything. He did, it, <laughs> he did it himself and then he threw it on my finger and told you to hurry up and take a picture. Metal Ark was pretty good with the kids, but Curly Neal was the best with the kids and, and big fan of the great cartoon series of the Harlem Globetrotters. And he, he was so great. And then there was the Harlem Globetrotters on Gilligan's Island. Okay? Yeah, yeah. But Curly Neal was so good with the fans, especially the kids. Actress Andre... Melly, who was in uh, Brides of Dracula and Horror of It All. Actress Pamela Lincoln from The Tingler. A lot of old classic B-movie horror movie people. Actress and glamour girl Monique Van Van Voren from Tarzan and the She-Devil and Flash for, Frank Flesh for Frankenstein. Andy Warhol. Producer Lee Mendelson, who produced The Peanuts. Yes. Lyricist Herbert Kretzmer. Uh, who was the lyricist for Les Miserables. Producer and screenwriter Larry Kramer, <coughs> who worked on <coughs> Women in Love. Carol Serling, the widow of Rod Serling. And the mother of Rod Serling's daughter that we had on. Now she's went up and, and joined her husband. 
She was. She kept the plane going. Yeah, she did. She did. With the Twilight Zone, the magazine. All right, we're contributed down. to the the movie Twilight Zone, the movie. We're down to the uh, the last section here. So this is the rough section. It's, we, it, it's all rough, but this is rougher for us because of personal connections. These are. Uh, we want to take a couple minutes to pay tribute to the celebrities from 2020 who we lost, who were guests on Cult Radio. Yeah. Jose Mojica Marins, a uh, Brazilian film director, also known as Coffin Joe. He was an original. Uh, that was an original, believe me. He was so unique. And we had to get an interpreter because we couldn't talk I to know, him. I know, I <clears> know. <throat> Cartoonist Gene Deicht, American-born Czech illustrator and animator uh, who was responsible for Tom Terrific. And a, a slew of other, including Tom and Jerry, including Tom and Jerry, and which he, we didn't know until yeah. then. I he was a great old guy. He he would come on, and I'd be talking the praises of, of Max Fleischer, who did all the Betty Boop cartoons, and he'd be like, "Ah, he wasn't so great." <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, wow, Gene, and he lived a good life, and he lived in like Norway or something, he or lived Switzerland, in the Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah, and and. The way we got to talk to him, we got lucky because he came to the United States to visit somebody. We right. didn't have the long distance call. But a great old guy and God classic. I watched Tom Terrific on the Captain Kangaroo show. And it was very simple line art drawing, but it was incredible. And and Gene Deesh is one of the great old animators. We don't have great animation anymore. It's all shit. Yep. Okay. And Gene Deesh was one of the ones that brought us good animation. And, and definitely a staple of... Uh, you know, even shows, you know, on uh, TBS and all that. They do a lot of Tom and Jerry and stuff because they were MGM. And, and he was so iconic and controversial. Maddie Simmons, American Magazine publisher of National Lampoon and film producer, Animal House, National Lampoon's Vacation and more. He joined us not too long ago. Uh, it was like maybe a year or two ago. Uh, we worked with Jewish Life TV. Yes. And <laughs> And he, they got us a group interview with Maddie Simmons and Anthony Michael Hall, which Anthony Michael Hall found great humor in through the entire thing because Maddie was full of piss and vinegar and would not shut up. And every time Anthony and, and Michael and Hall was like, would "Go talk, ahead, Maddie, you go ahead, yeah, no, you go ahead." Interrupt <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall all the time, and we probably wouldn't have got Anthony Michael Hall on. <laughs> he had a court date the next day because he got in trouble again, and, and he was there in tribute to Maddie. It's so nice to know. That Anthony Michael Hall, that did all those great movies and stuff with Molly Ringwald and stuff, paid such homage to him for, for Maddie for starting his career. Yeah. Because, of course, Anthony Michael Hall was in the first National Lampoon's uh, uh, vacation. vacation films. Was, Thank the you. original Rusty. The original Rusty. And the best Rusty. And, and, and Maddie said that during the show. But, but thanks to Jewish Life Television, who I imagine will probably never work with us again because he was really the only celebrity they had. They got things like old Jewish ladies with cooking shows now. But Which could still be entertaining. Could I don't, be. I don't know what the problem but, was. But, but it was great having him on and, uh, you know, with National Lampoon's magazine starting out with and then into the movies and uh, him with Anthony Michael Hall was magic. It was brief, but it was magic. Spencer Davis. Welsh singer and guitarist from the Spencer Davis group. What a great interview. He was another one that was a pistol in a car. He was a great rock legend. It impressed him. Tim was like, wow. Because, man, what a great contributor to classic rock and pop of the day. American actor John Saxon from A Nightmare on Elm Street, Enter the Dragon, Joe Kid, and a ton of other stuff. He was yeah. a big character actor. And, of course, did that movie with Bruce Lee. You know, Enter the Dragon? Yes. Yeah. Sid Noel, who was known as Dr. Morgus or Morgus the Magnificent. Sid Noel at the time hadn't been heard from in like forever. And we found him and he couldn't believe that we found him. Oh, find me. If you just watching this video, this is part two. There's a part one because we went over our three hour limit. So uh, before you see this, go back and see part one and then see this. This is part two. Hold on, I have to share it. Yeah, you got to share it on the uh, cult radio fan page. Facebook sucks, you know. It's... First, our friend Steve can't get on and do live because he's only got three friends. 
And now they're telling us there's a limit? You only be on three hours? Well, thank God it's three hours. That's what our show normally is. I don't even know what time it is. I can't see a clock. It's 10.30. 10.30, yeah. We're, we're over. We're an hour over. Um, Diane Thorne, American actress from Ilsa, She-Wolf of the SS, Chesty Anderson, and Hellhole, which... Hellhole was a great film. And she the, was the erotic great. adventures of Pinocchio. Diane Thorne was yeah, what about Diane the, Thorne? Perfect, the perfect example of how what you see on screen is not even close to who a person is in real life. Yeah. She was she played this evil, maniacal, torturing character when she played Elsa. Yeah. And in real life she was the nicest person. She and her husband Howard Maurer would hold weddings for people. Yeah. They were ordained ministers. They did and a they wedding threw, service. They threw wedding services for people. I mean, the complete opposite of what you would think that she would be if you put any stock into her character at all, but that's how good of an actress and she was. And because of the German Nazi thing, I'm not sure if she was, but her husband was Jewish, <laughs> and she's going to play a Nazi. And he was a little upset about that. When he got the script, he threw at the wall and dented the wall with the script because he was so pissed off that he didn't want her to do it, but she did it, and it was legendary. And it was one of the favorite interviews that Joe Kane got from us for Video Scope Magazine. He loved it. He loved it because, it, it, okay, one of the people we've had on call radio you never hear from or never heard from, her, Chesty Morgan, uh, 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 the Tempest Storm, people that, that you don't see interviews with, that's the ones that we love to have. And I can't believe she's gone. Wow, and the Elsa movies will live on forever. And I like the erotic adventures of Pinocchio. <laughs> Welcome back to part two, everybody. I see you're 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 all there. American actor John Carlin. Oh. From Daughters of Darkness. Yeah, excuse me. Cagney and Lacey and Dark Shadows, of course, as the second best Willie Loomis, and John would have told you the same. Jonathan Prynne. And uh John Carlin was the heart and soul of Dark Shadows. Jonathan says, I mean, John Carlin says Jonathan was the heart and soul, but so was John Carlin. And those two together were Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing, and even though that wasn't his character, he didn't try to kill Barnabas. He was just his minion, if you will, his servant. But they were so magic, and we were so lucky to, to meet him at the convention and hang out with him, but then we got him on the show, and he was willing to come on the show even though he's watching football at the same time. <laughs> baseball. It was baseball. baseball. He was cheering for the Dodgers. And the he was so funny. I, I brought up uh, that vampire movie he did with Sisters of Darkness. Daughters or of Darkness. Daughters of Darkness. And mentioned John's nude, nude scene. And he was like, oh, well. <laughs> but, you know, you don't really... There's quite a few Dark Channels members left. And he was definitely one of the important ones. And they talked about him during, they had that revival on YouTube and talked about how much they missed Johnny Carlin. I guess he was really close with, with uh, Laura. Laura Parker and they went to the zoo and held hands when they were going to the zoo. And, and she gave him the money. He wanted to move back to New York and he didn't have the money and she gave him the money to get an apartment. And there was somebody that played Willie before him. He wasn't the original, but he was the best. He yeah, John Carlin was the best. And he would have told you he was the best. He would have. He would have. Uh, and he was so humble there when he was he was in a convalescent nursing home towards the end. And, of course, fans always send him gifts. But his favorite thing was, was uh, orthopedic socks <laughs> because that was him. And, and he, he got a little heavy for a while and lost a lot of weight. We saw him at the convention. And that whole thing... You should have been there. The whole thing with Jonathan Fritt was there. And he kept teasing people. He's like, Jonathan Fritt is Barnabas is in town. Everybody better look out. And they did the whole thing. And they unveiled the curtain. There was a coffin. Jonathan Fritt's in the coffin. And he redid the whole scene with Jonathan where he first found him in the coffin. Jonathan didn't look abused, though. <laughs> <laughs> the, the coffin but, was different on Dark Shadows it was built up yeah. so he could get out easier and it was a deep coffin he couldn't get out because Jonathan was old so John had to prompt to pull him out of the coffin but I'm so glad that I got to meet two of them Jonathan Fred and John Carlin and so glad I got John Carlin on the show 
because that to me was a special thing. I just remember getting to chat with John. Uh, before he came before on, Before right? he yeah. came on, like outside, Arranging outside of the convention <coughs> and talking to him. <coughs> Excuse me. Talking to him outside and he loved Dark Shadows, but he didn't want to just talk about Dark Shadows. No. He wanted to talk about sports. Well, he even when you approached weather. him at the convention, he was a little standoffish yeah. because fans were always on him because he wanted to smoke a damn cigarette. Right. You know? Right. And a uh, little grumpy. But it's okay. a fun grumpy. He was a fun grumpy. He was... I went to the bathroom with John Carlin, okay? <laughs> I had the otter standing next to the stall. Yeah. And go to the bathroom with John. Cy, How many people can say that? Cy Bob says that even James Hall knew that John Carlin was the best Willie. Yeah, absolutely. And there, that show really, that show is Barnabas and, and Willie. It, it, it really is. I mean, yes, Angelique too. I love Angelique and, and you know, but even when they're not Barnabas and Willie, Jonathan and John together were the best. My favorite, it was right after... Uh, the Eve and, and Adam thing is when supposedly Jonathan was dead, Barnabas was dead, he was in the ground, and, and Julia and Willie had to bury him. And he did this emotional epitaph because I think that wasn't just acting. He really cared. I mean, Jonathan was alive back then, but he really cared about Jonathan. He talked so great about him. And there really was, there was that Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing friendship there. There was. Yeah. And, you know, there, there's a lot of classic actors left. David Selby, who I wouldn't give two cents for, <laughs> even though he's supposed to come here. But John Carlin was one of the really, really important ones, like right up there with, with the three people, Grayson Hall and Jonathan Fred and John Carlin, were a fucking team. Yeah. And just the screen lit up when they were on there. I mean, Jonathan was at his best when he was in his scenes with John Carlin. Yes. And, and the only character you don't like that John Carlin played is the one you're doing now. Although I've started to kind of like <laughs> it because he, what's it? What's the character? He was a Collins. I forget his first the, name. The goofy brother of Quentin. He's Quentin's brother. Uh, Cy Bobble, know who Collins. we're talking about. Cy, yeah, Cy Bobble. Tom Carl? Cy, Carl Collins. Carl, yeah. At first I was like, Wow. He's a little over the top. But then now <laughs> I'm starting to like it. Like, it's just, yeah. it's because uh, that was the thing about John Carlin is that he just completely devoured every scene he was in. He chewed up, chewed up the scenery, swallowed it, vomited it back up, and then chewed it up again. Like, it was just insane. He was so good because John Carlin in person had that same mix of emotions that Willie Loomis had. And the fact that he was caring but also aggressive he had an aggressive side to him he had a, a maniacal side to him yes he had fits of anger that even the other dark shadows cast members you were never about. quite sure where which Depressing way he was gonna go no yeah uh he Cy, was a loose screw Cy Bob says that burial was at the end of the dream curse arc there you go there you go and of course he uh, received an emmy for Cagney and Lacey yeah the, he was a really good actor. Him and Jonathan Frid were both amazing actors. There, there was very few Dark Shadows actors that really hit it big. And, and David Selby did Super Cops, the movie, and a few things. And was it Falcon Crest or something? And John Carlin did Cagney and Lacey. There wasn't a whole lot of them that, that did well on their own outside of Collinwood. Yeah. And, and that was a big thing for me when he passed because it hit as hard as... You have to excuse me. It hit as hard as it did when Jonathan Fritz passed. And I know damn well Jonathan Fritz said hello to him at the gates. I mean, if you want to be corny about it, because they they were the team for me that I saw in, in Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. Yes. I'm sure Jonathan was there to greet him. They made that show. They made that show together. And and John Carlin would not admit to that. He would say, no, Jonathan Fritz was heart and soul for sure. But every together, Laurel yeah. has to have a heart. Yeah. Every... Doctor Who has to have, you know, a companion, and every Sherlock Holmes has to have a Watson. Yep. And they were a team. It's a great loss. The next, the next name on the list is not technically somebody who was a guest on Craig Live, but it's somebody who's been heard on Craig Live. Yeah. And it's somebody who was responsible for Terry because Terry was kind of his protege. And that is, uh, 
AM and FM radio owner and operator of WLUV, Joe Salvey, passed away this year. I hadn't spoke to him since I left Rockford in 84 and was shocked to find out that, that as of last year, he was still alive, damn near 100 years old, and still on the air and sleeping at the station in that little cornfield. He's the one who got me started doing what I do. And I got two people. They're both named Joe, and one was the radio side of me, and the other one was the magazine side of me. And I wouldn't be who I was if it wasn't for this Joe and then another Joe we talked about a little bit. Joe Salvi was an icon and a pioneer of radio broadcasting. And believe it or not, we do our WLUV shows here. We were shocked because we don't often look at stats. Stats mean nothing to us. Once in a while, we cheat and we look and see the ratings. This and you found out that on the podcast, Mm-hmm. That the WLUV shows are really popular. They are very popular. I don't know why. But I don't. You said a lot of lot of subscribers. Yeah, and, a lot of listeners. subscribers uh, on the on podcast service that they a lot of them are just like through the roof. I mean, you got stats for each show, and the highest rated podcast is a WLUV show. Yes. Yep. I thought there was just Ghosty and Rob. <laughs> you know, Joe was hard to work for. He screamed at me good many times in front of guests I brought to the studio. And he fought with his girlfriend on the air and didn't realize the phone was broadcast over the air. He probably wouldn't care. But but he was a character and, and a pioneer. And if it went for him, I wouldn't there would be no Craig. There would be no Craig Radio if it wasn't for him. It was a combination of the two Joes. We'll explain that later. Well, and that brings us to the last person on the list. You know, you guys you you have family and friends and a lot of celebrities that we care for, but it's hard when it's it's a celebrity or somebody that, that has something to do with the genre. But they were your personal friends. Arthur, an editor and publisher, and the self proclaimed Phantom of the Movies, responsible for the magazine, Videoscope Magazine, and originally coming from a slew of other magazines, including working for the New York Daily News. Mr. Joe Kane <laughs> of Videoscope Magazine passed away this year on uh, November 2nd. I know I'm making an idiot out of myself. I mean, you guys don't know. It's a great shock. I couldn't believe it. You were sitting there at the desk one day, and you went like, oh, like that. And I thought, like, the cats did something. And you tell me, because here we were preparing for our next issue. going to be Karen Allen from Raiders. And it was something that nobody ever expected. I guess he had an illness, uh, and it wasn't disclosed to anybody. Because Nancy Naglin, his his great wife, who's his partner in, in video school, said that it was an underlying illness that he'd been dealing with for a long time. He never said anything to us. About him being ill. I didn't know he was sick at all. Like it, it was completely <laughs> being blindsided because he was, and and we've said this, and other other friends of his have said this that he was an incredibly private person. Yeah. And uh, so he reminded me of Lou Reed. If you see his pictures, he was that kind of New Yorker. Yeah. So um, we had no idea that he was sick. Apparently, he had been battling with a host of health problems for a while, but. Um, talk about being completely blindsided. We had just heard from Joe. The latest issue had just come out. I literally, a week before, had just sent him our next assignment, which he had asked for the Karen Allen transcript. And then... And we had several more that was in the works that were going to be in video scope. And then two days after Halloween, we get an email from Nancy that just said that the first line of the email that Joe Kane had passed away. You had known him for, I mean, we figured it out. <laughs> I don't remember now. <clears throat> it was something like 20 some years. I yeah, literally, I years. literally known him. When I started I out, like, you were a kid. Yeah, since I and, was like 12 or and 13. Then you, you wound up working for him too with me. And he coined the phrase for Tiffany and I as the dynamic duel, the father and daughter dynamic duel of the cult genre. The dad and daughter duo. Yes. Did I get that alliteration in there? He, he made a big deal about everything we did, and he treated us so well. And I've written for a lot of magazines, and I've written for a lot of editors. And he was the only one that I would 
admit that that I would have done it for free, and I almost did because it was only seventy five dollars an article. But I would have done it for free because I knew where his heart and soul was. His heart and soul is the same place that our heart and soul is. He was there. Uh, he is right there. He was seventy three years old. That's all. I never even knew he was that old. I didn't know he was that old either. And and Nancy had said that video scope is is done, and she's not going to continue. Maybe she'll have a change of heart someday because I would work with her. But we announced that our writing career for other people, we might write for ourselves, but for other people is over because I would not work for anybody else ever again. So Videoscope closes its legacy with issue 115. And he just celebrated his 100th issue and, and sent the writers with a plaque that we probably hang on the wall. And it now stands at 115, which was our uh, interview with Jesse Lee Vince, the very last one that we'll be doing for anybody other than if we put out a book of interviews of ourselves you know, but I'm not working for anyone because there will never be another Joe Kane. No. And he was a super fan. He, he talked about movies day and night, and he lived movies. And we have an article that we want to read for you because we got a hold, uh, John Huff got a hold of us. John Huff is uh, an American writer and, and a director, and he did a couple movies. But more so, like I said, he was a writer. Uh, writing for, for hit shows like Kolchak the Night Stalker when they worked with Universal. Uh, and I believe Night Gallery as well, definitely Chips. And he lives over in Ireland because he married an Irish woman. And he lives in Ireland and he's sick now too. He's battling stage three cancer. And he turned around and contacted us and said that he wanted to do a, a tribute to Joe Kane because he knew Joe. And in fact, Joe gave a bad review of what his films. But there was that great respect there, like what Vern Langdon had for Don Pulse. I mean, they fought, uh, but they had great respect for each other. And he had asked us to help him, and we helped him all we could. And then we found out later that he worked with Nancy Naglin, Joe's wife, on the article to the point that she was being real particular about her husband's legacy. And he had to do all kinds of rewrites because she wanted to make sure it was done right. And this is the first time I want to hear the article. And hopefully Tiffany can be strong, get all your support, she can get through this. But... This is John Huffs, and John, I hope you're, you're hearing me. You said you're going to try to listen from Ireland, fight the fight, because there's too many of our people, our monster kids, that have left. We need you too. This is, uh, this was posted on, hold on, I'm trying to get the whole URL. We knew it was coming out, and it came out. Reviewgraveyard.com. Uh, yeah, reviewgraveyard.com, which is a site that John Huff writes for. It says, the Phantom of the Movies has left the Bijou. 25 years of genre thrall, aesthetic tabulations, and insider interviews, horror, act, action, Asian, cult, animation, indies, exploitation, author, film, redactor, entertainment journalist, publication editor, industry historian, John Huff looks back at the career of the great Joe Kane. <clears throat> the 3rd of November came with the wake-up news that Joe Kane had died two days previously. Quote, Joe Kane has died. It didn't commute, compute. He is such a standby in my routine movie consumption, it didn't seem possible. Being the impossibly complete reporter that he is, the Phantom of the Movies video scope page 5 obit orbit is the first thing I always turn to in the Phantom's pulp page portmanteau. The Phantom is always good at giving me a fresh vocabulary word or two in every issue. You may know what portmanteau means. Uh, applied to this associative semantic, semantic context, I didn't. Fall, autumn 2020, number 115 was already out. A movie-loving friend of mine stateside had sent me a photo of his issue as if to taunt me. So I knew the Phantom had put it to bed. That very phrase hurt. Bad. It meant no more obit orbit ritual of the famous and barely known. Victims of the Reaper's furiously swinging scythe in variable phrasing. With explanations about their niche of fame on the Big Rock Candy Mountain all blanketed with the same comforting epitaph. Fortunately for the rest of us, their accomplishments can be assessed and relived far into the future, variably paraphrased. But now there is no more phantom to phrase it. 
and it is the phantom phrasing I'm going to miss. So let's stroll through a few pages of number 115 through, through those phantom phrased phyla of fantastic reviews. Social Media Madness, The Cleansing Horror, The Cleansing Hour 2019, D. Damien Levesque, Ryan Guzman, Chris Liu, Kum Hoy, Death of a Vlogger 2019, Graham Hughes, in a, a Ghost Killers vs. Bloody Mary, Fabricio Vitar, Danny Calabrese. Uh, Mondo Lasso, American Licorice, William Stanick, Joe Zumba, Benny Rockman. The Phantom's Joy of Sets, The Phantom's Noir Gang, Film Noir, The Dark Side of Cinema, Volume 3, Abandoned, 1949, Joe Newman, Dennis O'Keefe, Gail Storm, The Lady Gambles, Michael Gordon, Barbara Stanwyck, Robert Preston, The Sleeping City from 1950, George Sherman, Richard Conti, Colleen Gray, plus a half dozen more that fit into this shadowed category. This reverie of reviews is followed by the best of the fests, wherein Joseph Perry Prize opened the Arrow Video Fright Fest in Glasgow, then a reverse time warp into hyperpolitics as Nancy Naglin takes us reeling back into Mr. White's Washington with Kisses for My President, 1964, directed by Curtis Bernhard, Fred McMurray, Polly Bergen, and Seven Days in May, in 1964, directed by John Frankenheimer with Burt Lancaster, Kirk Douglas, and a Mobius political backflip like I've never seen before. But then I've learned to expect the unexpected from Nancy Naglin. I think she has a box by her desk labeled unexpected. Reeling back has to be a book in information. You heard it here first. Next in John Seals is John Seals column. They came from the basement focusing on Jigsaw from 1979 directed by Claude Pinoteau with Lino Ventura, Angie Dickinson, which features what is surely one of Lino's most grim visage morose performances uh ventura never cracked a smile in his whole career so i think maybe just maybe john seal is trying to tell us something about jigsaw and tucked into a corner a complete change of pace with tim ferrante's column the truth from the booth Confession confessions of the film projectionists R reminding us there is a world behind the projector window where can we go from here Father-daughter duo Terry and Tiffany Dufo sharing with Scope readers their interview with drive-in hero Jesse Lee Bent from their internet platform cultradioagogo.com and drive-inmovie.com. See the links below. It's about this time that I start jumping around. I don't read. Video Scope as much as hopscotch through it, everything gets read and reread sooner or later, but the mayfly of my consciousness has a flight plan for now. The Phantoms I Wake Up Streaming, of which I highlight only two of the Phantom 6 YouTube picks. YouTube, by the way, should have a candle lit for the Phantom for all the traffic that he's dealt them. Here, he notes the splendid prints of the rarely seen Seven Thunders from 1957, directed by Hugo Frigides. Stephen Boyd, James Robertson, Justice, is contrast to his real-life persona of gentlemanly courtesy as an insidious poisoner and the three cases of murder from 1955 directed by David Eady and voluntarily Orson Welles with Welles Alan Badel where the Phantom advises if nothing else this may be your only chance to watch Orson Welles rumba madly while belting out a bicycle built for two during a full-blown parliamentary production number that tops Hal's famous rendition of the same tune in 2001. Onward to the Phantom's Doomsday Theater with Kino Lorber's Blu-ray debut of The Day the Earth Caught Fire from 1961, directed by Val Guest, Edward Judd, Janet Monroe, Leo McKern. The Rest of the West, Yuzana's Raid, directed by Robert Altrich, Burt Lancaster, and Bruce Davison. On and on. Digital debuts, Phantom Bookshelf, and on the last page, a final catch-all column. Phantom Flashes, taking us to cult scoop. Coming in Videoscope number 116, Winter Chills Edition, genre maestro Luigi, The Black Cat Cozy, Best of the Fright Film Fest, Hammer Horrors, new DVD and Blu-ray reviews, all that, all the usual, much, much more. Including part two of Scott Boyson's continuing insightful interview with character King Larry Hankin from Breaking Bad, on his days navigating treacherous waters of Seinfeld and friends before scoring Bing on Breaking Bag, and the next chapter in Rob Fries's deep excavation into the Al Adamson Masterpiece Collection 14 set disc, seeing its first ever HD presentation, wherein Fries freeze frames 
the whole Al Adamson story, right down to the auteur of Gross own, Gross's own murder and decom. Oh, you didn't know about that? Disc one of that Mammoth 14 HD disc collection was straightforward forensic documentary and viewers are forewarned. Al Adamson in his basement floor is no practical effect. Freeze's piece here in number 115 ends with the teaser. That's not Al, folks. And I gotta tell you, yeah, the Al Adamson article would have been the first thing I read in Videoscope 116, like an effing ferret. Then there's a little box reminder, stay Stay in the digital know. Subscribe today to the Phantom of the Movies video scope. But below fans, none of this is going to find life on those wonderful dinosaur cult pages because the phantasmagory of the, Fanta of the Phantom has left the keyboard. What we have here in fall 2020 number 115 is an artifact fit for placing under a glass dome. The last chapter in a 25-year run. But hold on. Puffmeister is being too gleepy and weepy. Nancy Naglin, Phantom S, informs me, quote, a permanent home for Joe's writing and the Videoscope Archive at an academic institution is in the works. The last 10 years of Videoscope are digitized and will be available as a research tool. Plans are underway to digitize previous year's issues. Kane can be concentratically assayed by the talent he attracted. The utmost comment is, comment is Nancy Naglin, his partner, wife, co-editor, and editorial mate through all seasons cinematic. Author, cinematic analyst Naglin delves into past film past and present, continents away always with the parabolic threading of the needle that can bring blood with the simultaneous satisfaction of knowing super, superficiality has been punctured. She is the most tough-minded intellect I know in film criticism, which makes her pairing with Joe Kane all the more stimulating. But what of the rest of the Videoscope team? Terry and Tiffany Dufault, peerless peers with the Scope Enterprise operating 24-7 with their own platform. I predict they will be a future perennial fan info source on all things Videoscope, having interviewed and written with Videoscope for over 20 years. Call RadioGogo.com and Drive-InMovie.com. They have two. They're good reporters, and anything that happens with the dispersed Videoscope team will be newsworthy. Contributing magazine writers undergoing the shock of their lost platform are to be consoled. Tim Ferrante, Rob Fries, David Elijah Namad, Joseph Perry, Paul Reisker, Debbie Rashawn, Bill Tilmany, and Scott Boysen, plus cover designs by Kevin Hine, Tex Coordinator Tom Barnes, and of course, Spiritual Advisor Roman. And Dan Saminski, who died this year, too. What the hell is Roman, you ask? It's a respectful nod to the Phantom's roots and appreciation of some of the lowest plankton ever to slither to the genre ocean floor. Robot Monster, 1953, sometimes in 3D, but always starring George Nader as Roy, and a monster that's a piece of crawling carpet with its minion, a man-shaped humanoid in a gorilla suit and a diver's helmet over its head, and a skull peeking out the faceplate. Watch it now. That's my command. And the Phantoms. You say Huff and Phantom with all due respect. We don't have the time. We say now. Music by Elmer Bernstein. Don't be lame. Out of respect to the Phantom, give this belly crawler a minute or two. You have nothing better to do with your life, and it would make the Phantom happy. The romance symbol, a circle with cow horns, is in the best I can describe it, a, is a nod to Robot Monster's helmet. It's divvied out to evaluate films. Four couldn't be better all the way down into the pits, which is zero to one. The Phantom was influenced by Robot Monster at a very impressionable age. His odyssey of cinematic discovery is shared in his autobiography, Found Footage, How the Astro Zombie Saved My Life, and Other Tales of Movie Madness by Joe Kane, the Phantom of the Movies, available on Amazon. Kane's Masters of Midnight, Interviews with Cult Arturs, Volume 1, is an aesthetic biography of the most vital auteurs in the history of genre art. He demonstrates a friendly method, never adversarial, reaching the individuality of each personality. His ability to do this through decades delivers a priceless trope of lore, pure how-to information, and biographical detail. The apex of his biographical artistry is, of course, his study of George Romero and the startup genre, The Night of the Living Dead, chronicling the circuitous path of the picture the corporation which generated it, and the artist who kept working at it until it returned to full copyright ownership, ownership and sprang back at us with myriad sequels and a popular series. 
Kane's history is priceless with primary interviews and legal skirmishes as bloody as the zombies themselves. It is a must read for anyone fascinated by franchises and the corporate walking dead. Ironically, the book is out of print and hard to find. Searching used bookshelves is the only option, but well worth the effort. Art House Video, 100 Messy Videos from Under the Radar and Around the World, Cult Film Confidential Volume 2 by Nancy Naglin, is emblematic of what a world-class journalist does in her own right. Thank you, John Lennon. See, you owe me an answer, Salvation Army Tales. Naglin's talent blooms exponentially in proximity to Kane's. A loving, creative workplace is like that, especially for writers. Not enough is written or taught about the architecture of a creative environment, living and working with a genius editor. Cult Film Confidential Volume 3, Art House Video, revisited again by Nancy Naglin, who has been nicknamed the Phantom S for good reason. Naglin is a world-class literary for sure, but her best became even better living with Joe Kane. Love is like that. She has shown his this humble reviewer, solid words of strength and his own valley of shadows, but at the same time shared with me that losing the companionship with Joe has left her at a loss for words. She will fight this in only, the only way she knows. She will write, and it will be carbon, carbon arc bright, as she put it, library or rare, to work is to pray. Joe's prolific scriptorium was not limited to film. The world of Bare Knuckles 1920s baseball is a tour de force in the saga of Six Finger Pike, where John Artunas meets David Lynch in the Twilight Zone, a serial comic lightning-paced baseball novel where rules are made to be broken. The book is a liter literary curveball. Kane's talent was so great and his generosity so bountiful that he provided a safe anchorage for other writers. Okay, for the first time, I've done it here and spoken of him wistfully in past tense and not historical present. But then the Phantom held firm that we live on through our work, didn't he? He ended every obit orbit that way, didn't he? Does the Dufo team need any inspiration in this department? Of course not. Or Scott Biosen or Tim Ferrante or the great actress Debbie Rashone or her issue 115 interview with World War Z author Max Brooks is not to be missed and reminds us of Brooks is our talent pantheon fantasy writer for his humanistic intellect and scholarly acceptance in the world of think tanks. Or Rob Fries's Drive and Delirium article that Sky Palaces may be on the comeback. Who knew a pandemic could give us that? Or on the basement shelf of Universal Horrors that Shout Factory could release in Blu-ray a four-disc deluxe set with Buku extras? None of us would know that unless David Elijah Namid told us. And what about Lisa Petrucci, boss lady of Something Weird Video? This company is in the midst of a trans transmogorifying as detailed for us by Rob Freeze. And don't forget Viva Video with Jack Henry Robbins on VHS straight out of Sundance. And then there are scattered gems. The Phantom encouraged scattered gems. Tim Ferrante covers the Blu-ray debut Trailer Trauma 5, 70s action attack compiled by Harry Guerrero for Garage House Pictures, wherein Ferrante tells us about a dynamic trailer he's seen, a su superbly edited trailer for a French director, Eddie Madelon, a textbook example of you don't want to miss this movie, creativity. It's not Bertolucci, but I agree with Tim straight down the line. Hey man, Jim Mitchum stars. This is the kind of loving detail that occurs under the late great Joe Kane influence. Tim Ferrante didn't have to convince Kane to run this story. I can tell you that for sure. Full disclosure, I'm privileged to have swapped Percy Helton and Sid Melton riffs with the Phantom. Sid Melton's death by Triceratops in the Lippert Brothers Lost Continent 1951 was unavailable or I would have posted it in this article. Only one person alive whom I love, has the distinction of Sid Melton or Percy Helton appreciation. Sending the Phantom a Percy Helton clip would get a prompt reply, ah, my Percy Helton fix for the day. Thanks, John. It always made my day. Okay, I've maybe been a little excessive, too emphatic. On second thought, no, no, I haven't. The end of Videoscope signifies the end of pulp, the end of anth anthological worldwide reviewing, the end of Grindhouse bulletin boards, the end of the reign of Joe Kane, the best genre reviewer the world has ever known. However, his work endures and his legacy continues with those who love cinema. I want all of you reading this to think about something. If you've gotten down this far, you're worthy of what I'm about to ask you to do. 
Go to the magazine official website. Look it over. By fall issue number 115. Nancy Naglin told me Joe was in fine form putting this last one together. He didn't know it was his last one. See? It's called going out with your boots on. May we all be so lucky. He was at the top of his game, she told me. Assemblage of graphics, ads, narrative surprises that make it a page turner, all the while bolting us to the floorboard with reviews for 80, for 80 new films. The last one, fall 2020, number 115, and they give payment information. Uh, buy as many issues as you can. It's a 25 year encyclopedia of world film. Sooner or later, every culture is represented in Videoscope. Do you know about Iranian feminist horror films? Encyclopedias never grow outdated. This film encyclopedia covers the end of the 20th century and the first fifth of the 21st century. It subsumes film's first centennial and the fins, wings, and legs of its second century. It spans modalities of nitrate and acetate film, videotape, DVD, Blu-ray, HD, 3D, 4K, and streaming. It covers in detail the revolution and the devolution of the theatrical experience. It maps the relativism of Hollywood as now being just one production capital among many, many others. Joe Kane loved print and the pulp that bore it. Stored, it, stored it in a cool, dry, dark chamber. It will still be legible in a hundred years. The genius behind it is gone, but his legacy remains. Damn, but I miss him. My favorite quote is, uh, you live on in your work. That's what we're trying to do here at Cult Radio. That's what Joe did. And I'm so proud to have been a part of his legacy. We should probably go to the song or something. I need uh, to pull myself together. Because this, this is hard. And the first thing that I decided, uh, I, I was... Uh, being a, a moderator of the video scope forum, which I had no connection with Joe Kane. He wasn't a part of the forum, but it was a fan thing. And I left there because it's like, the king is dead, long live the king, you know? And it is true, it was an encyclopedia. It wasn't just a fluff magazine. And only there at Videoscope could we be as detailed as we were to where we had word for word transcription from some of our favorite cult radio interviews. And it gave me respect in in the land of videoscope for known as great writers. <laughs> Anybody else would be who the fuck are they? But there, we were part of a respected legacy. And and here's to to everybody. I mean, through videoscope and, and working with with them, you know, I made friends and I made enemies. I wanted to mention because we didn't mention it before, but one of my my great foes that I, I fought with because there was a whole thing over the Rondo Awards and everything was Ted Newsom. He died this year, too. A uh, friend of Frank Deese, who was out at the house, and we had Kath Coleman from uh, Land of the Lost and everything. And there's been a lot of uh, us people that have passed this year. And, and whether I like Ted or not, which I didn't. There's been a lot of monster kids. There's been a lot of monster kids. Was, and we yeah. shared that one thing in common. Was, we couldn't yeah. agree. It was Dan Stravinsky. Yes. With, with Ted Newsom, we couldn't agree on, on points of view, but we could agree that Christopher Lee was the best Dracula. You know, and that, that makes... A connection and I couldn't believe when I heard it Dan Sinsky I couldn't believe of Ted Newsom even though we didn't like each other he, he tried to make amends but in an asshat way to where it, he really was politically uh, he was socially retarded he didn't know how to talk to people but I never expected to hear anything about Joe Kane. Joe Kane was eternal and, and like I said uh, Nancy is digitizing the articles to make digital copies of videos called available and I didn't even know this, that, that his work is going to be archived in, in uh, an exhibit at college. So that will be the second college exhibit that I'm part of because I'm in a Frank Capra <laughs> college exhibit too, where Frank Capra went to college for my It's a Wonderful Life article from a long time ago to uh, Orbit Magazine, I think it was. And now you and I, now you're going to be part of an honored, esteemed college exhibit to where writers from that college for years are coming up and learn how to do it, can can peruse his work and, and learn from one of the great genre masters of all time. And you live on your work, and I hope that we do the same, and I hope that when something happens to us, that people will give us the same kind of tribute that 
our great friend, John Huff, paid homage to us as much as he did Joe in his article. I appreciate the article very much. Uh, get a hold of John Huff. Uh, he's on Facebook because he's sick. Okay, he's, he's fighting cancer. And uh, tell him how much you enjoy him and tell John to fight. Because it's rough to lose those people. You lose those people. And you lose the great things that we grew up with. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to carry on and do what Joe did and remind everybody that, hey, this fucking movie's cool. This <laughs> actor's cool. It's all shit now. And we're going to remind you of what we saw at the fucking drive-in, okay? Whether you like it or not. This is important for the future. It's important to tell people about the original Dark Shadows so they don't watch the Johnny Depp Dark Shadows. It's important for people to know who Vincent Price and Peter Cushing was, Christopher Lee. It is important. Cancel culture is trying to take it all away. And we're going to make sure we do everything we can until we drop like Joe Kane. Tiffany knows i got to do the show. It's the only thing that's keeping me going because I'm, I'm so ill myself that the only time that I'm alive is on Saturday. We're going to go on a song or... Right. We're going to start. We we'll end the show. We'll come back and wrap it up because at the at the top, the, the middle of the hour, we will have been five hours. Five hours. Facebook chopped us in two parts. And, and thank all of you, especially those of you that comment tonight. We appreciate you being there for us because it, it's hard talking about a celebrity, but when they're somebody that was your boss, the two Joes that we worked with all these years. I mean, Neural knows was like to lose a friend and a boss who's one and the same, a friend and a boss. It's hard. All right. Uh, we'll go to a song and we'll come back and uh, wrap up the show. Stay tuned. We'll be back with the rest of Pride Life. Thank you for being here, everyone. I hit play. Hold on. It's delayed. It's the spirit of Joe Kane laughing his ass off. He loved call radio. He really, really did. Here we go. I have to pee. Yeah. You got enough cue? I have one song cued, so I have to hurry. <laughs> Don't fall down.
You're good. It's not done yet. Get it right in. There's new messages up there, too. Tim says he gets too much anxiety from the pandemic without worrying about anybody else dying. Uh huh. Tim says he gets too much uh, anxiety from the pandemic without worrying about anybody else dying. I know. And Neural said, I feel for you. I know how it feels. She does. So I almost forgot, and we still have from our extended five hour show, we still have like eight minutes left. So let's try to close out the show on more of a positive note. Just read those two comments first. Tim had said that he has enough anxiety from the pandemic without worrying about anybody else dying. And Neural says, I know how, how I feel for you. I know how it feels. Yeah, for sure she does. Uh, but let's talk about the shows and the guests that we've had in 2020. Oh, yeah. And we had a member, too. Joe had three categories. Not only did we work for him, it was a friend, but he also was a guest. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. But Joe, was, Joe wasn't Joe was a friend. Joe was family. Joe I, was I've family. I've known Joe since I was 13 years old. Yeah. Okay. And, and Nancy's tough. Nancy's going to carry on in whatever way she can. She, she's a tough bird. She's not real emotional. She's, and we've kept in contact with Nancy. We write her at least once or twice a week. And, and we're keeping contact with her. All right. So January, uh, well, let's talk about the guests that we've had. And then we've got to wrap this up. But right. uh, for 2020, Craig Live uh, was interesting. So we started out in January of 2020 with Lucy Dreyer. Um. And then uh, Tim Corwin from the Ohio Express. And Lucy Dreyer was a kid. I'm laughing and, and did a lot of stuff as a kid. And uh, our next guest was what? What was it again? Tim Corwin from the Ohio Express. Ohio Express. I've been after somebody from the Ohio Express for a long time. Ronnie Shell. Yes, he was great. Uh, Don't repile. Then in February. Good uh, morning, world. Terrence H. Winkless, who was Bingo from the Banana Splits. We had a Banana Splits on. I couldn't believe it. Uh, let's see. Jesse Lee Vint was at the end of February. Never realized that'd be our last article for Vivian Spill. Uh, let's see. Ron Thompson from American Pop. Melanie Chartoff was at the end of March. Gilsey and I fight over who's going to get to marry her next. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a book out. Look for it. Uh, it's on audio book and also uh, hard copy. Wayne Nelson from the Little River Band. Yes, that was great. And people liked that interview. It was great. It was very honest about the battle between him and the original Little River Band, the Australians. Ron Dante. Archie. Again, interviewed him several times. Joby Baker. Joby Baker. Good morning, world. And uh, I love that interview. He was girl fun. happy. He was. A, he was from, we got two people this year from Girl Happy. And two people from Good, Good morning, morning, world. world. Yes. Yeah. Um. Let's see. And then uh, Robert F. Lyons was yes. the end of May. I have to scroll through because we did. Hold on. We. We it, it we alternate with W L U B so yeah. and Coop Show. And Coop Show. Uh June thir or no. Uh June thirteenth was Steve Carver. And then June twenty seventh was Karen Allen. Yeah. That would have been our next interview for video scope. We've got it done and 
might put it on the internet someday. I used to have all my interviews on the internet and people started stealing them and putting them in their books. And then we took like a big break in July for some reason. No. We were tired. Apparently. Um, then August, uh, we did a couple of retro media shows. John Savage was on August 22nd. From hair. From we were hair. very excited Oh, about I was that. so excited. And then we had your birthday show. With messages from people like like from the Bugaloos and, and Twin Peaks and then Mitzi Capture Mitzi oh my God I still talk to Mitzi and she 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 was begging me for the It's a Wonderful Life poster and I couldn't give it to her because we had a winner in fact it's crazy the winner of the poster for It's a Wonderful Life was the kid that was in I think the video called Snapshot he worked with Madonna he was one of her dancers he was like twelve years old and he went on a world tour with her and he was in a lot of the video music things that Madonna did on stage with her. I think it was Snapchat. is him dancing, but he won the poster, and Mitzi wanted it so bad. Then October 3rd was Don Lynn. Don Lynn for My Three Sons. And then October 17th was the Coop Show. Yeah. Uh, then You say that in great disgust. Yes. October 24th was Bruce Glover. Bruce was a little off the wall. He was. I can see where his son gets his, uh, what do you call it, his uniqueness, or I, I won't say craziness. Uh, our Halloween show was Carl Stryken from Twin from Peaks. Twin Peaks and Hamstand. Um, and then uh, we were joined by B.J. Thomas. B.J. Thomas, finally. Finally. We tried so hard to get him on before it fell through. Then Jimmy Hawkins. Jimmy Hawkins, our second person, Girl Happy. And, of course, from It's a Wonderful Life. And then... Um, of course, last week, what brings us up to last week, which was Joey Mullins. Yeah, Joey Mullins from uh, Jimmy Hawkins. Badfinger. Jimmy Hawkins was watching our video on Facebook earlier. Oh, really? I didn't tell you because you might have freaked out. Yeah, I might have freaked out. <laughs> he, he's in, in constant contact with us, too, and he sent us a call sheet from It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, I got to be taking pictures of that yeah. stuff. And he writes to you in It's a Wonderful Life first. He's like, hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> and on that note... It has been a long show. It has been an emotional ride. An emotional ride. It has been a long and emotional year. So we'll hand it over to the driving guy. And we'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a happy New Year. Uh, when is New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve is Thursday. 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 Uh, this coming Thursday. So it's Thursday's New Year's Eve. Friday is New Year's Day. And then we will see you on Saturday, January 2nd, uh, which is going to be a retro media show. And this is the beginning of the rest of your life. Just stay true to uh, the restrictions of your state. Dance in your pants inside your house to celebrate hey, the new year. Remember, don't go outside. As much as you don't want to have to be on lockdown or be in quarantine, yeah. it's awesome because you don't even have to get dressed if you don't want to. No. You can be in your pajamas. Hell, if you live alone, you can walk around naked. And, okay? and it's important that, that, you know, it's so sad that people like Joe Kane left us because he was one of the people like us that tries to keep pop culture alive. But you know something? You know what's equally important? Because without you guys, we'd have nobody to listen to us. You need to take care of yourselves for real. Okay. So this is serious. There's never been anything. I'm all emotional tonight. There's never been anything hit this world like this goddamn pandemic. And like I said, the, the serves here and, and just got to be patient. Got to be patient. It'll be better. It'll It's going to go back to normal. So thank you to everybody yeah. for sticking with us tonight. It was a long show. The end of the year show usually is. Uh, so uh, now do what we're going to do and sit on your butt on New Year's Eve and eat lots of junk food. I got to get out of here. I'm in a lot of pain tonight. Maybe I can pee. I don't know. I'll try. <laughs> I don't know where it's going. And uh, we will see you guys in 2021. Yes. We will see you guys in the future next Saturday, January 2nd, 2021. Brand new year. And uh, hopefully next year, I hope 
hope some year, I hope some year our final farewell show only has to be like 30 minutes. Yeah. That would be great. That's my wish yeah. that some year that'll happen. And, and kudos to you for always getting this list together. It's the most comprehensive list anywhere. I'll and post it on Facebook. You're going to try to post the whole I'll, list on Facebook. Yeah, what I have to and do the is... the video, we should put this video on YouTube as well. Yeah, what I'll do is when we put the... Well, the video's on YouTube, but it's... A, well, I have to edit it together. Um, but when we post it on YouTube and I'll uh, post it... I'll post it on Facebook, too, with a link from the YouTube video. Yeah. And when I do that, I'll include a link to the list because the list is massive. And thank you to John Huff for that great article and mentioning yes. us. That was very nice of him. Yeah. Uh, he said he was going to mention us and I, I was very stern with him because I made it clear. I said it's about Joe. We don't want it to be about us. Do not overshadow Joe's legacy with us because he's the one that's important here. Right. And he did a very good job at mentioning us and still not having it overshadow the main subject which is the great Joe Kane. Yes. So that's our show. Thank you to everybody for hanging in there with us tonight. You know that this is very important for us to do, and I've heard that it's important for other people, too. So um, thank you. And Says a lot to anybody that listens to this show. Yeah. It's hard. And uh, have a wonderful New Year's, and we'll see you next year. And like Joe Kane would say, keep watching the screens. That's right. Good night, Good night. everyone. What's that little blue thing at the bottom there? Messages. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't know there was a three hour limit. Four hours. Four hour limit? Okay. But it didn't Tim just says, it was just too long. Tim says, Ronnie Shell, the voice of the cat from outer space, was the voice from one of the guys on the G Force of the Battle of the Planet cartoons. Yep. Uh -huh. And then Neural says, see you all next year. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night.